Welcome to Dog Pound D and D. Whoever's here, I've got this selecting the wrong screen for some reason, so that's probably fine. 
why it swapped is beyond me but i mean it is what it is come on there we go properties don't know why you changed your display on me but that's fine how? now we're fine we're fine we're back in it i'm gonna keep it real with you how the hell did you break okay there we go <laughs> what did i break i was like whoever put their character on the screen and dragged it around rapidly your character wasn't moving it was just oh. sitting there and leaving the lines there never to disappear oh my god like, mm. oh no it's gone now but that was um oh. yeah. <laughs> so you guys all start waking up on this boat in a single cabin but so you guys can throw yourselves there but we're going to introduce real quick what we're doing here today today marks one year of doing this campaign with the very first day being well actually we have all the original original cast here don't we yes the three original yep. players are here yep. jordy didn't join till session two yep yep and so, because nostalgia and because this is all a celebration, it's all been, a lot of shit has happened. I don't want to go over a lot of the shit that's happened because of what I have planned here today. Um, we're at this lovely, look at this lovely map that I found for this. Isn't it beautiful? It's really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice map. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like an amusement park. Medieval amusement park. Yeah. I like the church. Where we need to find the candy corn. Where is Welcome the to the Magic Kingdom. I wish yeah. you join in the archery tournament today. <laughs> Yo, thank you for the follow, Frosty Clips it. Clips it. I'm a uh, yeah. Something that whoever you are, you like to make clips. Um, so we have our original three members here, and let's start with. You know what? Because I I, I want to. Let's start with what you guys thought this adventure was going to be after one session. Wait, you mean the entire campaign as a whole or what we're coming into this one? No, like after after your first session. A slaughter fest. Like what, what did you think this campaign was going to be? Uh, uh, let's see. Killing Rorschach because that was the group that we were originally fighting. We didn't <laughs> even know Rorschach existed. I don't. Yeah, I don't think point. you no, knew we, it that. Well, yeah, you no, did. Yeah, no, Rorschach was introduced. Well, yeah, we, early. we knew. Yeah, we knew that they were the fall. Like they were the cult. Oh, the cult of Rorschach. Yeah, but yeah. they were wearing the sim an all modified symbol of the Nova Stand. Correct. Yeah, yeah, because uh they were at least there. She wasn't around yet, but they were there. And she wasn't even female at that point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've heard the low class in. Yeah. Yeah, West threw up everywhere in the low class in. Oh no, we didn't. <laughs> we weren't at low class. We were at middle class. Yeah, you were in. No, the no, middle... no, no, no. It's the chaos and cupcakes in now. Yeah, that's that was oh, the we... middle class. Yeah, we're in the middle class. You now. never. Uh, nobody ever went. I don't think. In, I think West is only is the only one who's ever been to the low class in. No, I think we scouted the low class in, but um, like when we were first looking at rooms. And then we decided to just bark up the money for the middle class. Yeah. And. Oh, the graveyard. So much fun times. Yes. And Dragonheart, where did you think we would be with this campaign? Where did you think it was going? Um... We not, was, were we going for a week, a month? Or was this going to be something that you showed up for with three separate characters at this point? Three times a week? I, didn't, I don't exactly know where it was going, like how long it was going to yeah. go, but I, all I knew was um, it was that whole situation of I don't know who I am or where, where <laughs> why I'm here or where I'm at. All I know is I must kill in this situation as it's time to destroy the church. Yep. And from such humble beginnings where Rokoge was the only thing in the world, there was no world map. There was no larger plot. There was no overarching anything. It was, there's a cult in a town. And they should probably try and stop it. That was that was my, my prompt, for lack of a better word, for this campaign. Cult, in town, party thinks it's bad. They gotta get it out of here. 
second. I was a criminal investigator coming to see what was going on. Yeah, and you didn't even know you were from Safe Falls at that point because Safe Falls didn't exist. Yep. And I was there just trying to find the books of Borden, which I have yet to find one of. That's true. I'm very sad. I thought there was going to be one because that's... Um, no, it wasn't... Was it the church that I got the wall power? It's possible, but I've completely... Yes. It, yeah, yeah, it was. I, that's I, right. It was in the catacombs. That's right, because there was the... Because one of his walls was already down there, and we basically busted through another part of the wall yeah. to get through it. Let's Jordy be Mills, honest here. I completely inside. forgot those books existed. <laughs> Jordy Molester of Doors was session. Oh yeah, three or four. Uh, three. I think three. It might have been four. He got his title. Yeah. And so that brings. Because I remember he was. We found him basically strapped down to a stretching table. Yep. It was. It was session four because session three we was what where we fought uh, Trogdor the Burninator. Trogdor. That's right. Oh my God. So we have with us here today as we begin what will be my first ever one shot. So fingers crossed. Um, Riley. Yeah. Dragonheart. G'day. Matthew. Yo. Puzz. Hello. Other Matt. Sup. And Rosario. I forget what Rosario's name is. <laughs> Other Matt. <laughs> Other Matt. I'm so used to that. The secondary Matt. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Too many Matts exist. Back up, story. Matt. Too many Matts. You Maybe. can just call me Zath. Maybe there's not enough Matts. It makes Matts. it easier. Yeah, what if all of the yeah. people you meet today are named Matt? <laughs> oh no, this is hell. Oh no, that's this my is goal. No. Just get a D and D oh, session where everyone's called Matt. Also, no, th no. Now I just imagine this entire town being the Fallout. Uh, was it the Fall Three Vault? Gary, Gary, Gary. Just all <laughs> Garys. God also, damn it. <laughs> also, you can bring as many or as few characters that you want as you want into this. What? Well, good thing I have only the one character to keep my sanity. Yeah, I, I would like to bring uh, one of my horses. <laughs> what? No. I already bring you all the horses now. Uh, I'll bring both of mine. Why not? And, um... Hey, let's get Cormall in here. Let's and, uh, Ikarath will be joining us. Apparently, he's watching his landlady's house, and her cat's knocked over literally everything. <laughs> and he is in the process of cleaning said everything. As cats do. Oh, yes, I know. So... You have cats, too? I have three <laughs> cats and three dogs. Oh, my God. Okay, calm down there, animal shelter. Do you still have the birds? We do not. We ended up rehoming them. They were annoying. <laughs> so, here we are. This ship just floats empty into shore. We're going to pretend it's in shore. And you see people bustling about, going about their days. And you guys have no idea where you are. It's almost like you've woken up from a dream the last thing you guys remember is sleeping on the ship in emir okay i swear i did not get the putter d drunk enough that we'd have a blackout what moment the, the hell what am i doing here i was in my cabin i don't expect you to get us uh drunk enough to end up here out of nowhere, Thalrak, especially due to the fact that I don't think you would try to have Cormal drink anything. Yeah, but Icarath could have done Not anything. Not yet, so. anyways. <laughs> I That's swear a big map, if, by the way. I swear if Icarath <laughs> drugged us, I'm gonna be pissed. So as you guys are talking, you see... What is that bastard? He doesn't look like this. He looks... He's got the same face and beard and, like, general appearance. But instead of what he's wearing there, he is wearing a business suit. 
And he walks out and says, What brings Odd? new travelers here today? I have no idea. You, well, you didn't know this person, Wes. I say, oh, What was this guy's name again? Here is. Yeah, he got us across to Fendel like a while ago. Yeah, his name was like Kronos or something. I think it was Christopher. I think it was Crawdad, maybe. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so we don't know why we're here. We're just here. Yep. It's Wait. So... Little... Sorry, one sec. <clears throat> I I uh I spoke to this guy recently. I uh, sent him a sending spell. Sorry, sorry. I am back now, but I missed that. I got a call. Wait, well, this it... this guy was gonna be our captain, but then uh, we happened I upon don't... a much better captain. What are you talking about? I don't believe I've ever seen you before. I what do you seen... mean? We met at your uh, your ferry service. How did you get here? Wasn't your boat broken? I your ship ruined. I grew up here. I've always lived here. What ship? I'm just the harbor master. I run Where a great business. Here? Is Alvin, he gaslighting did, us? Alvin, <laughs> did, did, Alvin, did we? No, we didn't go through time. We're not that stupid yet. Huh? Can we make an insight check to see if he's lying? Right, um, idea. Yeah, sure. Have we done? Have we done what now, Dalrak? Gone he through says, time. He says, "I've always lived here on Koholan Island." Koholan. Koholan. Do I believe him? Oh, you absolutely believe him. You guys, I think oh. he's... I don't know if if it's true, but he's completely convinced that this is true. He's not lying to us. Immense oh. Google... Intense Googling commences. <laughs> Wait, what where is, is the it? whole island? What? Yeah, I don't see this on the map. <laughs> I don't remember... Uh, I could say this with absolute certainty. If you're talking about falling through time, time wouldn't cause anything like this also i don't remember ever reading anything about an island named that uh in my studies so i mean did we somehow uh drift super far west like i don't know did we go to another island uh, like is there a whole other continent that we don't know about no nah, i can't be that'd be ridiculous Maybe not Look, I didn't expect to be engaged to a Kraken at some point, but here we are, so another continent <laughs> would be the least of my worries. I mean, I've Stop heard about point. this whole, whole theory about the Gramuda, the Gramuda Square. The Gramuda so... Gramuda Square. <laughs> Gramuda Square. God damn it! <laughs> no, the Gramuda Square. Gramuda. Not Gramuda Square. Triangle, it's Gramuda Square. Um... <laughs> Uh, you know, it was just a theory of, like, a place with strange reality dilation. I don't know. Wait, you so... guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Wes. No, go ahead, Callian. Well, I was going to say, you guys, uh, there, there must be some explanation. Like, what do you guys think? We're living in some fantasy world where some person just draws things on a map randomly? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That'd be a bit ridiculous. Yeah, this yeah. isn't a fake fantasy world. I mean, occasionally I feel like someone's rolling dice to choose my uh, the current uh, result of this reality, but it, it, I guess it's just a figment of my imagination. And at that moment, you guys all hear <laughs> in your heads. <laughs> what is that? What's that rattling noise? It's 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 a snake. <laughs> Fucking bees. Maybe it's a snake, you guys. Watch out. Do you, have, these? do you guys have some weird bugs that sound like, I don't know, like dice shaking together? It's weird and I don't like it. I'm, I'm seeing snake eyes right now. It's so weird. <laughs> oh no. I feel like I rolled enough. I Wait, snake like... eyes. Snake cultures. <laughs> <laughs> it's that rattlesnake like again. just got a, a 20. I don't know why that's important. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, what are we doing on this island? Cro Krolos, or whatever your <laughs> name is. 
Croilus is, that our, is the What's name. there to do here? How did you know my name? I, I'm a very smart person. Mm-hmm. Also, you have, have a name tag. I, I, I cast <laughs> prestidigitation on his shirt, and it's showing him uh, has a uh, a name tag that says, Hi, my name is. <laughs> <laughs> he just kind of looks down strangely and looks up. He looks down. Damn, Betty must have been at my clothes again. <laughs> Betty! One second. You guys talk amongst yourselves for a second. I gotta find what I'm looking for. Oh no, is this, is this the Betty that... that we... <laughs> Wait, so is the boat out in the water? Is that our boat? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it is our boat. Okay. How did okay. I end up on a boat? Guys, look, I was sleeping. I, I was at home working on my alchemist supplies, and next thing I know, I'm on a boat? Yeah, Nexus, you weren't even with us. <laughs> yeah, wait a second. How the heck did you get in here? Okay, so <laughs> when does the uh, when does the little band come out with their lyres singing I'm on a boat by the Lonely Island, but their like, rendition of it? <laughs> and you see this lady come out of a side door and go, <laughs> What? You dead? <laughs> I am. Why would you call my wife dead? How disrespectful! Ixnay on the Ed Day. We understand Pig Latin. We're not that stupid. (laughs) What's Pig Latin? What's Latin? Well, we know who the hobo is. Even in this continent, I'm a hobo. Don't you see my vest? I Where's, shower now. <laughs> yes, one of my spare it's, suits. it's now. You see nah. that that modifier that it had to be said that you shower now. Once a hobo, always a hobo, right, Croilus? I don't. Are you off your medication again? So <laughs> Aren't you wax just... him over the head with the staff? <laughs> so is it just? Does she break me? a leg? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Is it just me, or is that the person who had an accident? Yeah. What I'm pretty sure of, it was. What kind of accident are we talking about? Remember that fire in Rokoge? Oh. You mean the one that we started in the church? No. <laughs> The other fire. No, you remember the, the one how, that we didn't start. Remember how the her like one of her followers turned on her and uh, it messed with the Roll chemical cre- creation and uh, it caused a great burning flame in the house. Remember that? Oh yeah, yeah. You could probably just blame it on Jordy at this point. He's dead. Hey. He won't mind. <laughs> Jeez. How many fires did Rokoge have? How wait, many of them were started wait, 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 by wait, wait, party wait. one? <laughs> no, no. Two. The real question is, what do you mean how many times? It's still burning. Is it? <laughs> how is it burning still? That's a joke. Oh. <laughs> it's burning itself to the ground. It's in an endless cycle of church radicals versus uh, high class nobles. Except for now they both have figureheads. Yeah. And they're both here. <laughs> so the inside uh. joke for those you guys all get Croilus, but great old Betty was an animal doctor in the town of Rokoge. Um, it's a burnt down building is what everybody else found except for party one. But um she was po- She was rude to them. They didn't know anything. They just came to her for medicine for the kraken because it was dying from arsenic in the water when she was the animal doctor. And she was rude and slammed the door in their faces, so they decided they're going to barge in, and then they, like, knocked the door into the lady. She fell over, broke a hit, and started hemorrhaging internally and then died on the counter. And then um, they wanted to make it look like an accident, and they didn't want Thalrac to know that they had just killed oh, this old right. lady and all of their her special needs no, assistance. 
Um, and they went and they rigged her arsenic producing machine to blow up and to set the entire place on fire and framed it so that her assistants looked like they had tried to kill her. There were even some assistants that they like positioned on the porch as if they were trying to crawl out of the house when they died. Um, also that Falarak wouldn't know that they went murder hobo on her. Yeah, no, I remember. Well, I mean, the murder hobo only happened after like four bad rolls. Well, yeah, I'm not yeah. gonna say that dice rolls don't make the murder hobos a lot, but <laughs> so it yeah, and that was that was when Alvin was off doing his thing with the high class people, talking to them and figuring out what I needed to do with them, and Jordy and the rest of the party went down to the old Betty, and I think it was just me and Jordy. I think Thalrak. Oh was yeah, with Thalrak you. was. Oh, Thalrak was with me. That's right. But uh, he Jordy... waited outside because he wanted nothing to do with this. Jordy yep. did. Uh, the The reason why she ultimately did bleed out was it wasn't just her wound on her hip jordy stabbed his his dagger into her into her leg as well oh yeah i forgot as about an that. intimidation tactic that and then and then rolled didn't a, work yeah he rolled a four yeah on the intimidation and didn't so it didn't work so I don't remember. <laughs> early days so go ahead guys and the whole rigging was uh, Alvin and Alvin alone because I, I was like, with my investigative and magic knowledge, would I know how to rig this to look like an accident? And I rolled high enough to know yeah. how to uh, sabotage it. Because if you can, yeah, the only it, person who roll. can freaking roll is. Oh, oops! One second. I'll be right back. One second. The only person who was able to roll anything above a five. It showed up. Oh look! I know how to destroy this machine. <laughs> and hello, John. Hello. Hey. Around the island, you can choose as many characters to put on the island as you see fit. The only reason why not is he's here at this point is because he's Ochi. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Go ahead. What are you guys doing? We wake up Ikrath from the ground. Oh, hi, Ikrath. Oh! Also, you're allowed to take as many characters as you want with you. That's insane. So, okay. yeah, you're allowed to have as many characters as you want. I think I'll just stick with Icky. There we go. All right. So... You guys are here, through a quick recap, you guys are here, you guys woke up on your boat, you sailed into dock with nobody staring, steering it, we pretend that it's over here. Um, you guys got out, you met Croilus again, except for he, he doesn't know anything about you, and he doesn't dress anything like himself, and you met his wife, right, old Betty? Who's supposed to be dead. Well, I mean, the Betty, the great old Betty they knew died. This is this is remember we're in the we're in the Gramuda, Gramuda Square so <laughs> so Icarath you are seeing what looks like Croilus who you have met but he looks absolutely nothing like he did before except for like his facial feature like you can tell it's him but he's like he's he's like he's like got his hair taken care of his beard straightened he's wearing like a like a three piece black and white suit. Like, long as I and he talks so very cleanly, like he, it, it, like, like he's a multimillionaire. He kind of talks like that, like he's a he's a master of commerce, um, which is nothing I'm like the Croilus you know, who's a weird, weird old man. And continue. That's where we're at. Uh, do you guys think we are in like some alternate reality? Like a plane of existence. <laughs> what, what if Rorschach never happened and this is... <laughs> but wait, <laughs> why, wait. This is the what if series now? Yeah, oh god. Oh god, what if I'm actually here, a part of the church? What if, what what if, if I never what left? What if this is the no. real world and the campaign is the dream? <clears throat> what if Troilus... Oh, I think your ass was right! <laughs> 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 Igrith has validation. 
<laughs> what a strange place we've come, upon, I've come across. Are you... So, what are you guys doing? You guys are here. You guys don't know how to get back. You guys, all you know is that you're in uh, Koholin Island. Koholin? I don't know. There's a way to pronounce it. Do you do you actually know the reference? If so, then I will defer to you on the pronunciation. Um, Koholint. I don't know. Wait, this For isn't Koga? the island from Lost, is it? No, but it is from something. This is a very meany, meany one shot. Um. Oh, Link's Awakening. Yep, that is what it's from. <laughs> hey, Karath, are you sure you didn't give us stuff before we went to sleep? <laughs> Never sure I didn't give you stuff before we went to sleep. Here's the thing, if Ikarath gave you guys stuff, why the fuck am I here? Mm -hmm. Well, you could be a figment of our imagination. <laughs> You're right. Oh, wait, are you saying... Wait, wait, are you wait, saying wait. That's clever, stuff? one loop point wait. for Nax. No, if Nax was, if you actually disappeared, I'm going to give you a loop point for that. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> like, you can keep them and not get the loot point, but I thought that was so genius, you deserved one. You know what? Yeah, but, I'm gonna stick with it. <laughs> but wait. What's to say that he isn't above uh, slipping a drug into your drink? I mean, it's, it's that's just what we're talking school. about. You do drugs or you do drink. You do not do both at the same time. Icarus, you do both... All the time. Yeah, that, no, that's I, I, I alternate. I, I double fist it, if you will. Uh, drugs in one hand, drink in one hand. Oh, the awesome. one hand being the other hand from separated. Uh, the, Are you drunk right now? Finger. All right. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking confused. away all your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> Are, are we not going to talk about not the drug before that just, that just dis that just dis that dis dis what dis disappeared? What, what drug important? <laughs> oh my god. You guys are mean. Timing was so good. <laughs> just without thought. Look at that dice. That's amazing. I'm clearly just standing right here. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's, there's, yeah. Only, there's only Alvin and, and Cormel. Yeah. Marks is just like he, his hands are in his head. Like, what the fuck's going on? The the only two dragonborns that we need. I'm glad Cormal's here. I love Cormal. <laughs> you guys, while we're here, we you might know well tricks go, about when people are doing drugs and want, don't want to be doing drugs, or well, however the logic works, right? Look, I don't know if we're on drugs or not. I definitely didn't take any, but I mean, while no, we're I don't here, we might as well go look around because y'all get very, very peculiar. When that happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about that. But you guys want to go check out what's going on over here? Yeah, might as well. Hey, uh, Crawdad, anything we should be doing on this island? His name is Coilus. That's very disrespectful, young man. I oh, mean, I'm sorry. I'm bad with names. People live here? What, what are you looking? It's a very vague question. I don't know. Is there anything to do on this island? I mean, you've got some inns, you've you've got uh, the town square and the market. Uh, if you want, you can go to the great church of something or another, whatever the fuck the fish god is supposed to be. So what do, fish what, do tourists, oh, no. what do tourists usually do, though? Like, do you happen to notice what tourists would usually go to? We don't often get tourists you're probably the first in the last 50 years and most tourists just end up living here wait what <laughs> yes oh, time to move in we've been here any for houses for sale uh we generally end up building normally they people th those that come they spend they spend a few months struggling against it but Trying to find a way off the island, but it's best for those of us like us who accept it and make the best of our lot. And he gives great old Betty a kiss. Uh, you guys, yeah, Callie's going to whisper to the group. You guys, I think these people are under some sort of spell or something. 
What if we're the ones under the spell and don't realize it? I'm pretty I sure I'm not. Crazy. I didn't cast a spell either. What if we're being uh, interrogated by like some big wizard guy? Should we just try to get on our boat and get out of here? No, no one used their real names. You're right. We could be in the Fae. Goddamn Fae. Well, I guess we have two options. Why don't we... We could get on our boat and try to get out of here, or... We could explore further and see where the fuck we are. Yeah. That's a that. good idea. East Eagle Fall? Eagle Rise? <laughs> East. <laughs> East. East Eagle Rise. <laughs> All right, so you guys getting on the boat? I don't think so. Or are we going further into town? Well, yeah, what are we doing? Yeah, I think we're going into town. I mm -hmm. Yes, am... uh, maybe there's more people like these two who are like brainwashed or something. And I'm whispering this so these people don't hear us. All right. Well, I guess Hi. we should go find out. All right, let's go into town, then maybe get food if we need food. And watch Elrond run back and forth like a gymnastic. We Honestly. never need food. I got us covered. Nice to meet you, East Eagle Rides. I am, uh, normal. Lamb, Lamrock. Lamb, Lamb, Lamb Rock. Rock. Mad nose. Who <laughs> 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 so cute that was too. <laughs> My name is Samuel Harvestna. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, I think the the fake names aren't oh, shit. so necessary, guys. I, I was muted. I, I, I wish I could say the same, but you guys were rather rude for most of our time together. And you see a hey, little girl only, only playing some with of the a tiny was little rude. snake in the middle of the town. Is oh, that girl yeah, playing with a snake? A little marionette snake. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mark says no reason to assassinate her at the moment, so. Oh, God. Hello, little girl. What's the name of your snake there? Trogdor! Oh, God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trogdor was a man. Wait, he I definitely never heard about Trogdor before. Dragon man. Dragon. That you have, okay. yeah, and it was in the Alvin book. Just I have it written dragon. down. <laughs> oh, wow! In, in the book about Alvin, it said that Alvin the hero went in and crushed an evil <laughs> snake. <laughs> Alvin put silence on Callion. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I allow it. Is there a wisdom save or something for that? I think? No, it's no, just that just 20 foot radius where he can't, there's no noise going in or out. Okay, let me draw that real quick. Oh, so none of us could talk. <laughs> That's not how you do 20-foot radiuses. <laughs> <laughs> can somebody measure 20 feet and I'm just going to match it? <laughs> when is it around just, me? I could just yeah, put a radius on, it, on just me. Turn on, a, turn on an aura. Just leave it. No, no, we feet. got it. Just, just march it out to 20 somewhere in the top left. Oh, that'll, that'll work as well. Jesus. Oh, wow. oh, yeah. Get the fireball off. Fireball's uh, yellow aura is 20. I think that's a, oh God, what, for the scale, yeah. I think that's way too big. No, stop it's making things. <laughs> it's probably like for us, what would be like a five foot. Yeah, it's probably about five feet on this map scale. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this, this is, this is the silence. Yep. <laughs> We're just going with it. Okay. I'll turn off, I'll turn off mine. Shush. Shush. He can't hear you though. <laughs> yeah, but he can see that I put a zone of silence over him and I immediately drop it and I'm like, No! What a strange group you are. It's been so long since we've had visitors. What do you mean? No one comes here to visit? Well, they literally just told us that. Yeah, I yeah. mean, once every 50 to 100 years, but they normally become residents. Wait, oh. 50 to, how old are you? Oh. Only let me uh, talk to her. How old am I? And she kind of like looks down at the snake. The snake, like she does a thing where the snake looks like it's chattering back at her. And she goes, "I'm 872." What the? What? I was I only seven 70. or eight when I came here, but I haven't changed since. 
Okay, so... I shouldn't expect to get older. Got it. Oh. Now, when people live here, is it by choice or can they just simply not leave? I just... I woke up one day on a ship as it, a little rowboat as it drifted into shore. I nobody everybody tells me I can never go home. Why not? They say there's no escape. But o o there's only one person who nobody knows about. The great lord in the castle. And who would that be? Oh, you don't want to meet him. But what if I did? Then you'll probably die. Hypothetically speaking. <laughs> is he uh, looking for an entertainer uh he mostly takes us for entertainment and we show up on the boat the next morning oh and she shivers it sounds exactly like how we got here <laughs> sounds like we've got our target i thought we did drugs to get here no we didn't do drugs in Iraq. <laughs> Well then, why is everybody mad at me? Everyone's just trying to figure out why we're here, but now we know it's not drugs. I say we go and pay this lord a visit. Yeah, where is this lord? Tall, are you? Who? Yeah, Karath is. I want to say five eleven. Yeah, he's five eleven. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna be able to do what I wanted to do then. Never mind. Can we see the castle from here? Is Alvin the yes. tallest person here? <laughs> How tall is Alvin? Alvin's a dragonborn. Six foot five. Oh well, yeah, I think he is. Isn't it? But if you really stack tall? three cormals on top of each other, <laughs> it is three cormals tall. <laughs> <laughs> Are we just going to start measuring everything in Cormals? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that call, you know, silence is uh, four Cormals in length. <laughs> it's uh, ten Cormals in length. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, my God. It's a ten It's a ten Cormal radius. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. How many Cormals per hour do we travel on the boat? <laughs> <laughs> this is different. Are we talking about his walking speed or his swim speed? No, oh, shit. You got, no, no, you guys, you, you travel three Rexes a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if you're flying, it's three Dexters. <laughs> it's my creatures! <laughs> oh my god. Because we got Rex, <laughs> the shark, Dexter, the bird. Oh my god. <laughs> and uh, Abigail, the spider. There's your climbing uh, speed. <laughs> six Abigails. I move at six Abigails. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, there is a castle off in the distance over here, but this, uh, contrary to what it looks like, the drawbridge is in fact closed. Is that where we gotta go, the castle? That's where this guy is? I mean, that's where a castle is. Is the gate open? No, no it's, it's, it's closed. Well, uh, we should at least walk up to the gate. Yeah, there must be guards or something. Uh, can can we like not start off our journey as murdering people here? <laughs> oh, nobody said we're murdering, murdering people. people. Said we were going to murder them. You know, we said uh, we're gonna pay him a visit. Uh, you know, that sounds huh. very like on the verge of, especially coming from you, Elrid. The last time I heard you say we're gonna pay them a visit, I just remember coming back and cleaning up a mess. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, is that so? Well, Alvin, it sounds like from this old little girl, it sounds like um, we're guests here, right? <laughs> that this <laughs> lord or whatever. Wait a second, I know that this that she's, person. She's just floating across. Player that never showed up. I remember I had to take you to the fort. Take me? Ooh, me? Take me to church. Yes. I didn't go to church. <laughs> I'm... 
Take me to China. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Like Sorry, miss. I'm very strange, apologize. Strange people always showing up. Well, I need to figure sound... out real quick, though, so you guys can remember for me. What is the god here? Please tell me he wrote it. He, God damn it. He did not write it down. Well, whatever god that the fish guy worships. He put Liverpool. Liverpool. Liver yeah. Liverpool. Yeah. Or, yeah. Liverpool. It sounds like Liverpool, but it's, yeah, it's Liverpool. fucked up. Liverpool is the god of this church. The drunk person saying Liverpool. Oh, no. Liverpool. Let's the drunk go. child saying Liverpool. <laughs> Let's go see. Where are you from, on. sir? I'm from Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might as well go check it out. And as you guys are walking past between the trees, you see. So go back some. It goes too fast. Oh. Where? Right here? Yeah. Um, in the trees. Oh, we completely got rid. Wait, no. Here. We... Is it here? No. Okay. You see. Is it the heck hound? Nope. This guy. Having a picnic with. Uh, fuck, where's the city? <laughs> you don't die, you just get sent here. <laughs> oh my god, we're all dead. Uh, I don't know, but there's a Minotaur that I uploaded at some point, the other Minotaur that's brown furred, <laughs> and they're, they're just having a nice picnic together. By the way, I sent you a message on Discord, oh Meta. Oh god. Huh, right. look at these people having a picnic. Yep. Fair. It's what they do. I guess so. I mean, I guess picnics, picnics aren't so strange. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's the other Minotaur. Yep, there he is. Holy. <laughs> and they're just, they're just chilling, having a picnic between the trees. Okay, so one of those Minotaurs yep. looks awfully familiar. Yep, yep, yep. It does. I can't Is it... that Minotaur of... I don't remember any Minotaurs, but then again, my memory is shit. N no, okay, so you remember how I told you I had to go to the Sarish Mountains? And how yes. I got I got the 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 hit with demon the, the demonic Ica? Well, that Minotaur was suffering the same thing as I was, and I had to get a frost flower for... Uh, Miss Lippy, myself, and him. So... Why are they called Minotaurs when they're clearly not miniature? They're no, like a... Bigotars. See, you're getting, you're getting it wrong. <laughs> if they're Actually, kind, these if... are super small. These are like gnome-sized Minotaurs. <laughs> oh, have... in that oh. case, Icarath would just be like, I get it. <laughs> I get it. See, that's the whole thing. Bigotars are actually stand about twelve feet tall. Minotaurs are about seven feet tall. Those right there are mini minotaurs. <laughs> mini minotaurs. Wouldn't they be like minuscule or something? Oh, mini minotaurs. Mini minotaurs. Mini minotaurs. There's, there's, there's a whole song about it. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Sing the song. <laughs> <laughs> no, we need to get to the gate. I'll see it for you later, Ikra. Damn it! <laughs> All right, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> the gate is locked and it is guarded by. Give me a second here. Talk amongst yourselves while you're walking. Alvin, what, what do if you we... do with the? <laughs> Alvin, what if Drink we secretly died and this is just our version of hell? Yeah, we're all collectively in the same hell. That would make sense. Well, actually, I don't know why Callian would be here if we're in hell. Hell, I don't even know why Callian's gonna... ever done anything wrong. I'm pretty sure that being near Sees me for the rest of eternity would do it for me. <laughs> 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 I, got in for... I got in trouble for enabling you guys. Dude, I see the dwarf. Does anybody remember what her name was? Oh, uh, started with a T. No, I ha hold on. I have this <laughs> no, in my notes. Sir, oh dear, why is she here? Um, it was so, uh, something pretty hammered. 
We're going to say it's Miss Pretty Hammer. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, this bitch. Oh, no. Are you guys who are these people? Um. I don't know. I don't know who the dwarf it was is. Slip, it was Slip Pretty Hammer. There we go. I don't know who the dwarf is. <laughs> I know the <laughs> other one. Mm -hmm. Alvin, we don't want to be hit with that. Sorry, just hit that. Who goes there? Sorry, just like we wish to speak to the Lord. I don't believe <laughs> I have a reason to let you beyond these gates into his private manor. Well, we just arrived here. We assumed. I mean, it seems that like we're guests of him, right? It's that's what everyone's telling us. So we My lord we'd meet is our host. not accepting guests at this time. I would like it's to hug him. Thank you. Ah, one second. Uh, insight. Um, new believer. Well, we were accused of being rude when we got here, and this seems awfully rude back. <laughs> well. I mean, what do you expect? The Lord and his proclivities. I would not I would not think you'd want to go there and be first to offer yourselves. Sorry, say that again? Offer ourselves what? Oh, just... It's just the... I cannot speak of it. Wait, but we're, we were told that no one comes here... No one's been here in like 50 years, so... Wouldn't... Your lord want to meet people who arrived after 50 to 100 years of nobody showing up? He, uh, and this door says, He rather prefers the hunt. What? <laughs> oh, I don't like that one. I don't like that very much either. Uh, no, Gar just walks up to Alvin, puts an arm around him, and he goes like, Look, I don't know the other one that you know, and you don't know the one that I know. Let's just say that they're probably both bad news for the two of us, and we probably shouldn't stick around at so, all. So what would you... make it worth it for us to let you through? Um, Can we go back about this hunt thing? <laughs> oh, you'll find out soon enough. Uh, and can, can we find out Ooh. sooner, please? Wes, you received What's that. in it for us? Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll we'll, we'll think about it and, and come back. Casting to you. suggestion. No. Uh, it does not work. Yeah, guys, why don't we um? Why don't we just Natural think about media. it and uh? That's how we're playing it then. We'll just come on back this later. and this because of the way I'm gating it is a one shot. Fair. Think of it like Super Metroid. You gotta, you gotta follow through. I, I have it laid out so I can add and drop pieces as we go, depending on how quickly we. Go. But, 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 but I'm trying to do Z skip. <laughs> no. Um. So what would make it worth it for us? Well, if we gave you fifty gold. Do you have any gold? Yeah, of course we do. You guys look, and you guys have no gold well wow. wow. it is oh, all gone we've been yeah. robbed. even damn in the it. bag of holding even in the Jordan. bag of holding oh god damn it. in damn fact the bag of holding is missing jordy's ghost got the bag of holding is missing the bag of holding is missing yep jordy jordy robbed us <laughs> <laughs> all right where's my lucky platinum point i'm gonna i'm gonna lose it I don't have my lucky platinum coin! You guys, I don't have the bag. Wait, what do you mean you don't have the bag? You always I don't know. have the bag. I, I, I kept a lot of stuff in there. It's nowhere on me. I always have it. I'm gonna check. Do I, Am I missing anything, Meta? Like, do You're I have all my weapons and stuff? Have? Just missing all I had? Okay. Anything that would be related to, like, another dimension, though, would be missing. Related to another. Like a bag like of holding? Bag. Oh, okay. Oh. <gasps> like, because have that means your mushroom bag, bag is missing. Oh no! No, oh, his, his mushroom bag is fine. The the party. interdimensional party bag. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the mushroom bag just cold. That's right. 
I just thought like the mushroom bag was a lot bigger than it was like, in, inside than outside, which would make it like a bag of holding type bag. But nope. How okay. far is this up? Um, you're going to try. To... We're gonna go with like twenty four feet. No, like from the top of the roof, because oh. we can climb the stairs. We'll go like ten feet. <laughs> That's not bad. Maybe we should go somewhere else, you guys. Yeah, let's, do, 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 do. let's think about what? this for a second. What? I don't like the, what can, she was saying. Can we this get island's on, pretty can, small. Can we have a discussion? Like, not right here? Yes. Yeah, let's go let's find go. the place to talk about it. Perhaps if you come back with that 50 gold, we could make a deal. Oh, what, do we have to go get a job on this island? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Oh! No, I can I make. Quest. No, 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 no. I can make the gold, but we need something of equal value. I mean, I can just do a performance. I, don't Look, know I wasn't saying that you should in, sell but... your body for the money, but if you're going to sell your body for money, are you that's being fine. loud? No. <laughs> 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 oh my god! That's not even why you're no. laughing. But a slip go a slip starts chuckling when you're t right as you start talking about your uh, making the making the gold. <laughs> a Selenia chuckles a little bit, almost like she didn't need like she surprised herself with the chuckle when you talk about selling yourself. <laughs> hey you guys, guys, maybe we should get out of here yeah. and talk about this more quietly somewhere else. Yeah, and we have a lot of ways to make gold. We're pretty t talented people. Mm -hmm. Going off of their reaction, food. I think it's going to be a little bit more difficult than we initially assume. Yeah, we need to get more I'm information about where we are. Away. Yeah, oh, anything made out of gold, of course, wouldn't also be here, but I don't think you guys have anything else made of gold, do you? I don't think so. Not really. All right. Uh, Icarath's loot, but he's not giving that up. What? What is he? What does he have? The golden it's loot. loot. His golden fucking loot. He's no chance in hell is he giving that up. Yeah, that that's an integral item that can stay with you. But for some reason, it is rose gold now. So it's prettier. <laughs> um, and it will remain is... rose gold after this. Like you, your character will find that out. So oh, wow. write that Where... down somewhere that that is a thing because I will forget by the end of this. But. That's Where's the about. nearest tavern? Um, mm -hmm. where does it look like there's a tavern? I don't. Um, right. I mean, this one right here looks like a tavern. Yeah, it looks like an inn. All right, one second. That's that something. Like where they something keep the horses. What are you guys talking about? Mm -hmm. That doesn't look like a tavern. What this one by the the square? Oh, I thought you were talking about the one right below us. Oh, uh, that looks like no, a farm. No, that, that one I wasn't going to select, because that one... There's a tree coming out of the roof on that one, by the way. That one's awesome. Yeah, I noticed that before. <laughs> I think the person just didn't layer it right. Yeah, yeah, they probably didn't, but that's just, I just find that hilarious. I think this one might also be an inn. Because it's the same building, just copy and paste. there's a chaos and cupcakes inn. <laughs> chaos and, chaos and cupcakes There's an inn right in. there. Oh, oh my no. god. Alright, come, come, let's find the spot where we can discuss things, come. Let's yeah, it looks like there was an inn back by the center of the square. I have a funny feeling that we won't be able to discuss things in private we, on this island we, at all. When we get to this, <laughs> when we get to this inn, Thar just is staring at the sign, and as Alvin tries to pass him, he just like, lightly taps him <laughs> with his hand and just points. <laughs> no um, way. Alvin, I have many questions that just keep popping up in my head with no answers. <laughs> if, you're asking, if you're wondering if I'm the lord of this place, that is incorrect. This isn't safe, Pauls, so we're fine. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, no, no. Well, you guys walk into the Chaos and Cupcakes and you can see cupcakes laid out on the countertop. Um, but they have a different face on them. 
Uh -oh. How is this possible? They oh, have... I forgot, Marcus is the faceless one. They have this face. Oh my on god! Them instead. No. And you see books on the table titled Rowlin and his assistants. I know what I must do! <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna start spreading those ones, aren't you? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Who's like... is gonna pick up one of the books and starts reading it. Yeah, it's really? basically everything that happened to you guys, but instead of Alvin being the lead character, um, it was Rowlin the whole time. I'm gonna pick up one of the books I have in my bag. Okay. Is it Alvin, still about do you Alvin? Have a nickname? It is still about Alvin. I'm going to swap one of the books. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, just, uh, do, do you tell Alvin about this? Because he absolutely wants to work with you and make him around the <laughs> in, in, this, in the other world. <laughs> and this uh, well, he, he's not being stealthy a, about it. So. I'll allow that as a completed swap. So just mark it down as permanent. Some things will travel, but I, anything that I only things that I say travel will travel, and that will. So, <laughs> Marks must have a collection of books of stupid bullshit. <laughs> you know, I felt tense coming in here, but seeing the changes to this place, I feel almost uh, like a a weight is lifted off my shoulders. It feels quite um. nice. Dar just walks up and taps out, like puts his hand on Alvin's shoulder, and just looks at him and goes, "You know that this isn't gonna be the end of it, right? You're gonna, <laughs> you know that we're gonna go back, and you're gonna eventually be the leader again." And the Thalrock, hero. I, just... I, I I I step up to Thalrock. It's like, if the events of the book is true, then we should probably not eat. If we do eat, you should probably not pray if you want to avoid a fight. No, no, no. That's only at breakfast. This is what? Lunch? It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everything seems to be a little bit off here. A little bit off? There seems to be off. some liberties. You're in... Uh, no, that's I'm, a way I'm, to I'm... refer to a fucking establishment you just walked into? No, 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 not you, sir. Our situation. We, we're new to the whole island as generally can be, and we honestly have no recollection of how we got here and we're trying to figure out why it's very strange we're sure we did not get blackout drunk and we are sure that our prohibitor of a good time did not give us anything to have us forget shit we we really need to watch oh you don't know for sure it's not drugs okay i start speaking in message to thalrock Okay. Just, so, just don't re recreate the situation in the book, is what I say via message. That's fine. I'll send it. Like, I can message back, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm not plotting on it. Therefore, we sit at this table so we can't recreate it. <laughs> no, no, this time we sit at the bar. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what can I do for you? Is there anything you're here for in particular? There's quite a lot of you. I, I would like to start off by apologizing for the misunderstanding. It's all right. You seem new. I haven't had your first hunt yet. No, we haven't. What oh, you don't hunt? know, and he kind of puts his hand on his mouth. I cannot tell you. Well, I will be next for the hunt. Oh, God. Why? Why can't nobody tell us what's going on here? The guards mentioned the hunt, so, and they didn't say what it was. And, if you haven't yeah, you been through just... the first hunt, we cannot tell you about the details of the first hunt. So, that's the first you, rule. You cannot the tell hunt. us the details. You cannot tell us about the hunt, otherwise you become the hunted. Correct. Do I understand this correctly? Correct. That okay. That is all we can say to get out of such situations as these. We have reasonable rules at least. <laughs> I mean, 
Are you allowed to say when the next hunt is? Well, now that you're here, I'd imagine any day now. Wait. So, Marcus, how can we go about getting into the Lord's Castle or making 50 gold? Well, how can we always... learn about this hunt? <laughs> Before it happens. We cannot tell you about the hunt. Well, no, I'm just asking, how do we get to the Lord's Castle or make 50 gold? The only way that I know is through the gates. I wouldn't try and climb them if I were you. And what about making 50 gold in the, on the island? There's always people around town willing to hire somebody for an odd task here and there. Is I'll there anybody on. who plays what with is in their cards? Like, like playing cards? Yeah, that's a good question. There is one, but I believe she's playing cards inside of the gates these days. I don't know what that's a euphemism for, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna steal it. Yes. She goes by the name... Icky Girl. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait a second. But that's not a real person. <laughs> you tried Aww. telling her that! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait. Bowser no, slowly, <laughs> slowly leans over to Alvin and whispers in his ear, are, are we going to let Ekrath and her flirt with one another? Because that would be kind of funny. Absolutely. All right, at least, I'm, at least someone else is on board for this. <laughs> A message from uh, Mark saying I'm in. The most treacherous tournament. <laughs> Icaratha. Now, I'm pretty sure that's what I said when I swapped Icaratha personas during the wedding. I th I think I know I I know I had another name for her right. as opposed to just calling her Icky Girl. Yeah. For the for the sake of, of a little bit of clarity. <laughs> no woman would want to go by the name Icky Girl. That's true. <laughs> yeah. So how are you Wait, guys liking on, the uncanny valley that is this episode so far? Oh, it's, I'm loving it. I'm great. loving it. <laughs> Wait, so Alvin, um... Yes? Wait, so... Because Al, when you typed in chat, Alvin says oh, that, right? Oh, I know! <laughs> is anybody here to cocaine? <laughs> this is not the time, Icarath. <laughs> so, Alvin, what do you think we should do? You think there's gonna be some kind of tournament we have to participate in? Either we get the gold, or we prepare for a pun. A very, uh, well, it's not going to be a most pleasant event. Yeah, it doesn't sound like we have much choice. I don't think, I think even if we get the gold and we get inside the castle, I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference. I'm pretty sure then the, then the event occurs inside the castle. That's true. So what should we do? Should we try to find some work? Some odd jobs and get some money? Yes, I think that might work the best out. It work out the best in the end. Okay. Excuse me, bartender. Uh, or innkeeper. Have you His really done it this time? Huh? Did you break your parole to have a good time? <laughs> break my parole to have a good time? What? <laughs> are, are you just sitting here talking to me? Broken on the run? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Wes, I think he thinks you're some sort of criminal. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. So oh, I mean, we've all been Out, there. out of oh, character. That's, that's a given. Out of character. Oh. It's a song called Bartender by Rehab. And if you haven't heard it before, oh. you should really listen to it because it's really good. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that one over my head. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, com I had committed it's... at that point, though. Um, I don't know who you think I am, 
but I'm just wondering where we could find these odd jobs that you were talking about. Well... One second, I know what I need, I just can't find it. Um, let's see, we'll go back to here. And... Crazy Lady Poppin' Tart down the road was looking for some help gathering some eggs. Oh, okay. That seems a lot simpler of a task than we're used to doing, but I think we could do that. Well, she hasn't had a volunteer for a couple hundred years, so we can see how that goes. She is paying ten gold, however. Per egg? Per egg. Uh, it may be interesting to bring more than one. Okay, this is getting weird. But sounds like... Sounds like we could get 50 gold pretty easily, guys. What do you think? I say we go and check it out. I have a bad history with eggs. Well, then, Icarus, right, you can stay here. With the eggs? Last... Uh, uh, not staying here with creepy people. The last time we, I, I was on the, a wild goose chase for eggs, we, di we, we discovered vampires. Oh, it's funny you say eggs. that. It is, in fact, geese eggs. Oh, wait a second. I feel hey, like... Guys, we've, we've gone to an alternate dimension. <laughs> I what? think we've, uh, didn't we have an experience with geese and, or oh, giant, that giant duck? <laughs> that dude was ripped. What is it going to be, a, <laughs> uh, a warlock geese hitman? No, we fought this, like, giant goose or something. Yeah, it was just like an angry duck. <laughs> it had, like, huge muscles, I remember. <laughs> Yeah, I think we crushed one of his eggs or something. <laughs> hey, I didn't. It was you guys. That's true. Okay, what was your... Can I just ask the question, why is your first action when you see eggs, why don't I smash them? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... I was I hungry, just... too. We could have kept them to eat them. Yeah, I don't think we meant to smash them on purpose. We just That's... ended up smashing them by accident. That... One loop point to Icarath from Matt. Matt one. <laughs> well, thank you. Matt one. That was, uh, you know, it because uh. ninety percent of the time, the creature that's whose egg you smash, you're basically pissing off a parrot, and they're just going to wreak revenge upon you. Maybe there's like a very small chance where they would suffer heartbreak syndrome but it was a complicated situation yeah if i remember correctly i didn't see the egg before yeah, the it eggs were broken. hidden in the sand yeah oh, it was a a weird uh momentary lapse in uh our travels also kelly and just you, nobody else is claiming i got a million so here you really i feel like you, this needs to go to you uh-oh <laughs> Go Is it another uh, point and click game? We're going to take a five second break here while <laughs> Callion redeems this live on stream. Okay, let's see what it is. <laughs> Wait, I have to open up Steam. So <laughs> oh, that's okay. going to be a long freaking drum roll. <laughs> I got that kind of energy. I'm old, guys. Okay, I'm activating it. All right. It's the sequel to the game. <laughs> Phantasmagoria 2! Phantasmagoria 2! Oh my god. That's so okay. funny. Oh, that's real. And right here, we gotta give Icarath this game because he's here. Did I get a game? Yeah, everybody's getting free games. Here, you could have this mm -hmm. one. Oh my god, this is so heavy! The Steam <laughs> store page for this is ridiculous. The <laughs> screenshots. <laughs> hey, this one came out in 1996. Yeah, it's, it's a, a little sequel. more modern. And Icarath gets the police quest collection. <laughs> Which, according to this, walk the thin blue line in four of the most realistic crime games ever created, packed with complex storylines and real-life mysteries that only a handful of real police officers ever face or solve. Pro released September 7th, 1987. 87. Holy... <laughs> <laughs> Does that even run on Windows 10? Yeah. 
This game has nudity? Oh no. <laughs> We can't speed run this. This space it, it required 480 pixel. megabytes. <laughs> <laughs> oh Are you sure you've got enough room for that? <laughs> uh, well, I actually don't because I was considering downloading Warzone. So... You need to. You need to. We're going to play Warzone. I know I do, but I don't know if I'll have enough room for the <laughs> Quest collection also. We can get you a flash drive to run it off of. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be fast enough. I think USB 3.0 is faster than floppy disk. Oh boy. Alright, back to reality. Oh, Corball doesn't have a rabbit, does he? No, I don't have a rabbit. Why? Why, why would I? I mean, I could turn Keely into a rabbit, but. <laughs> All right, so we're back here. Um, you guys already finished downloading. Fuck you! <laughs> you guys have been told about Pop and Tart down the lane. Who wants some goose eggs? Well, we may as well get going. See about this egg. Wait, what? I just, I just realized. Why does a rabbit matter? <laughs> because the Easter back bunny? to reality. <laughs> Snap, there goes gravity. Oh. <laughs> See, we all get it. <laughs> oh, there goes gravity. Won't give up that easy. My brain. So, I'm just going to say this right now. You have no idea. This entire thing is just giving me serious SCP-4000 vibes. I don't know what that is. So FCP four thousand is is called taboo. It's a reality where you're not supposed to say certain things to the people there, and there's like a whole like three hundred page pamphlet that you're supposed to read before you go into the taboo realm. If you say or respond to things incorrectly, you will end up being a permanent resident of taboo. Oh my! Don't give him ideas. <laughs> yeah, Pop but that takes lives a lot on the of farm. effort to learn that. By the water. No, the house by the water. House by the water. That makes the most sense. This one, right? No, nope, right here. Right here. Perfect. It keeps moving. Yep. There? Yep, right here. Right here in this house. Right here. That's what, That was the most closely accurate to making this work. Where are you? There you guys are. So you guys are walking across town. And as you walk across town, you just see a pirate stumbling by and he's just stumbling around drunk I think we should get that guy to help us <laughs> yeah. I think we might be able to convince that guy to tell us what the hunt is I'm sure he's very helpful that's a good idea and Ikrath will run after him going sir excuse me it's <laughs> the sir this is a pirate, this is a pirate, I'm a pirate, you're a pirate, everyone's a pirate, pirate day. Oh. Ikarath, make well, a deck you. save. Wait, what? <laughs> make a deck save. <laughs> oh no. Ikarath, oh. you get puked on your boots. <laughs> this cat's a scared snap, vomits, and what is other You got something to wash it down with? Get the mouth out of my taste? Get the mouth out of my taste. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> Icarus, like, wait, what? I don't like this so much. I do wanted to ask you a question. Do you know anything about? And he kind of looks over his shoulder and says, "I'm not quite sure, but the." And he says the c word because he's confused. Oh, like my great lady back home. She is hell of a cunt. I mean, Such I a guess bitch. everybody else is all worried about it. Oh my god, you won't believe her, but the ass on that woman. Oh. And he describes his wife. <laughs> that sounds hauntingly familiar, and also I feel like this was a bad idea. Thank you very um... much. No, we're... <laughs> Replace that C with an H, please, <laughs> as uh, Samuel walks up. 
Hunt? Oh, hunt, the hunt. Oh, your first hunt can tell you about the hunt, the hunt. They got you on the hunt. And then the hunt. Yeah, I mean, you, good, you, have you don't want to be the work. good hunt. If you're a good hunt, it's not a good hunt for anyone else. Oh, but he's just... the only one who can get you free, get you free, win the hunt. But nobody's ever won the hunt. Won the hunt with oh. me. Ikarath, make a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> And you jump out of the way, and then Samuel make a make a death save. <laughs> that is some and high you jump velocity out of the way vomit. It's, it's just projectile vomiting, and he wipes. Sorry, sorry, good you missed. So, Captain, are you able to Captain, give us a little? Captain, listen, my oh. Captain, have you heard of me? I've heard of me. <laughs> I just assumed by your oh my hat gosh. That you're the captain. It takes one to know one. This is brilliant. <laughs> That's what they say about one, assholes. He's heard of himself. It's true. It's true. <laughs> so can you tell us what we can expect with this hunt? Well, I can't tell you about the hunt. I don't want to be the next hunt. I give. He said last time I tasted like booze, and he didn't want me. I drink all day. I no get hunted. It's great, and I guess go drinking now. Got to get back to my wife before she locks me up again. Last time I wasn't released for a week. He kind of stumbles over the back and work. falls over the fence. <laughs> I guess it was worth a shot. <laughs> well, you learned something. Well, you may or may not have learned something. Depends on how well you followed his drunken ramblings. Uh, all I made out of it is, if you drink a lot, he won't hunt you. <laughs> Karath took from that that <laughs> this guy is a pirate. It takes one to know one. And we know he's a pirate, and that guy claimed everyone's a pirate. So therefore, Ikrath is now a pirate. And he only approached this guy because he thought a pirate would be ha good to have along. So that ship has solved itself. Okay. Are we shipping Icarath with Captain Scourgeneck now? <laughs> I mean, he would ship out with him, but we're not... <laughs> you forget that Icarath himself is here in female form. If we were going to ship anybody That's today, it's... Icarath it's, and Icarath. I mean, we could also ship somebody else. I think it would be funny if Callian had confused feelings for him, because Callian <laughs> hates Icarath. But That's female true. Icarath, on the other hand, you know... I think that would be the worst case scenario for the party. Yeah. Wait, Icarath, <laughs> can you still transfer into your female Icarath version? Why would I do that? Well, they believe that person belongs inside the castle. We could have you transform and try and get in. A person. The person with the cards. Oh yeah, no, there's some gambler with a name similar to mine in there. Yeah, I'd love to play it. Hmm. I like cards. I don't get a chance to play very often because I'm usually high off my ass and I forget. I forget to. I forget to try. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just elf stuff, bro. That is not just elf stuff, as uh. Samuel looks over at Icarath. <laughs> <laughs> Calling you on your shit. I was waiting for somebody to be like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> and he Sorry, just... I'm eating and muted, so it might take me a second to respond. <laughs> <laughs> now, I don't mind a good hand, hand of cards, but the whole high thing... Uh, Elred, you see somebody in heavy black paint mail swinging in that tree, just from branch to branch. Like, it's not the monkey, is it? Do you look closer? Yeah, definitely. You just see a probably 12 year old size version of this just swinging through the <laughs> trees in what looks like cardboard with like black paint on it, but it's not cardboard, like whatever they could like, <laughs> Then wooden sheets or something, I don't know. Plate mail, it's, and just swinging around, having a good old time, being like, like I said, 10, 11 years old. Got a little, like, little, like, wooden sword strapped to his back. Alien! Alien, come look at this! Wes! Wes, come look at this! This is amazing! What? What is it? <laughs> it's Baby Cyrus! Oh my god. Look at him! 
He's so little and edgy. <laughs> Cyrus, is that you? He's, Don't talk to me. <laughs> oh my God, it is Cyrus. Darkness. <laughs> and he just yeah. keeps swinging around. Definitely Cyrus. You all are beneath me. <laughs> Quite literally, in this case, since you're up in the tree, that's pretty clever. No wonder you turned out to be so formidable. <laughs> <laughs> you cheeky little blighter. Cyrus, is us. Don't you remember us? I don't think don't you remember us. This is him before he met us. This is, this is baby Cyrus. True. How do you know my you name? You knew his spell that ate people How do you know my like name? 30 years. Oh, you're famous, mate. We're oh, famous my... Death Knight. I'm famous? Of course I am. Of yes, course you I'm are. Famous. Let me tell you something. You you slew the giants of the Klaskow Mountains. Of you... course I did. Well, of course you did. It wasn't task. even hard for you. You just smack, smack just around one with your sword. with my great sword, and he pulls out his little wooden sword and brandishes <laughs> it. Aww. Cyrus, you That's also right. eventually dye you your hair. A whole bunch of other stuff. No, what color do I dye my hair? Like blonde. No, like blonde. no, I would never sell out like that. Yeah, me and you look very similar. Oh actually. God, perish yeah. the thought. <laughs> well, uh, it was you did it. You did it on a secret mission to destroy the Church of Novastean, and it was part of your undercover story. And in the end, you defeated the invasion of Saifols. It was horrible. There were hard beasts that attacked the town, and they were all defenseless. <laughs> and I think. You died. Maybe I shouldn't tell this. Maybe I shouldn't tell this part of the story, but I do believe you did do a strip tease for a bunch of women. Oh, he yeah, that jumps out away. and runs away, <laughs> screaming. Okay, Cyrus. maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't have included that last bit, but it was funny as hell. <laughs> Incorrect. I think he's a little too young for that. <laughs> I I did severely misjudge that yet, because usually, like, if you tell a dude, like, hey, I know you, and he's like, oh, really? How? And it's like, yeah, you're famous for doing strip teases for horny women, and they <laughs> love it. Usually they're like, oh. Yeah, he looked a little too young, but... I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess he'll grow up someday. <laughs> I hope so, because otherwise everything I just said was a lie. <laughs> well, apparently no one's growing up here, so... What if you altered the timeline by telling him that? <gasps> He's 12. He's not going to remember anything about this conversation except... Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> 12 year olds can easily remember the stuff if it scars them enough. And you may have likely scut it. Yeah, but with strip teasing... And it's not like... I like to point out, I didn't strip tease, okay? I simply told him that later in life, he does a strip tease. So that's well, scarring, yes, but like I was not exposing myself to underage boys. Well, if so you did expose yourself, up. yeah, that'd be a problem. But, uh. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Where are we going? To someone's house? Yes. No, we're just waiting for the hunt to start. Yeah. They're gonna hunt us. I read not so Should we like hide, you guys? That makes it feel more fun for them, to be honest. Anyone else see great. shapes forming on the sand? <laughs> yeah, there's just ruins down there. Don't worry about it. And, and you're at the house. <laughs> Oh, I thought I was going to say Elrid knocks down the door. Right? <laughs> Elrid knocks. Who is it? We are here because we've heard through the grapevine that you uh, are in need of some helpers to get some eggs. So the door is open and this really tiny little dryad uh, pops out. Elvin, you, you probably know this. Oh no! Yeah, I know exactly. Personality. <laughs> yeah. Why is there so many people that I've seen before? <laughs> You're not the only one seeing ghosts of the past. Oh yes, and I have been looking for help with my with my with getting retrieving my eggs. The the keys have become most unruly lately. How many uh, eggs do you need? I, I, it's not just need one. 
One, one egg. That's, that should be enough. It's going to be quite hard to get anyways. They're rather large. Okay, would you be willing to pay 50 gold for it? It's 10 gold. Just add 10 gold. Just 10? Yeah, she, hold, she holds out you? her hand and shows you 10 gold, but it's rose gold, not regular gold. God, I wish I had some of that. <laughs> Ikareth, Ikareth has not noticed his loot changed color yet. <laughs> you, is it on your on your person or in a bag? Oh, yeah, no, he keeps it strapped to his back, and since it's magical, he doesn't even have a case for it because uh, if the strings don't break and it doesn't dent or scratch, he just polishes it every once in a while. So it is literally just like Johnny Cash style strung on uh, his back at all times. You it, guys have been staring at it this whole time, and you would notice that it's a it, different color. Ikareth? <laughs> That would look, be me. Look at your um look at the look at your loot. What what why? Is it out of tune again? Wait, how would you know by looking at that? Are you some sort of psychic? I have a hat! And he grabs, grabs his hat and pulls it down on his head <laughs> and just looks at Alvin terrified. <laughs> Ikarath, you do realize that I'm also a bard, so it wouldn't be um <laughs> It wouldn't be out of this world for me to notice if your loot was out of tune, but you said you wish you had some rose gold. Look at your loot. And he, he very gingerly, one hand still on his head, pulls his loot to the front, and when he sees it's rose gold, he just goes, oh, It's beautiful. <laughs> and he immediately sits down and starts tuning it so that he can play, so play a song on it. And, <laughs> and Papa Tart says, I suppose if you were to bring back two eggs, I could throw in a little extra bonus for you. Here, I think we can agree on that. My son, my son makes them. They're, Make, they're great. Makes the eggs? No, no, no. The bonus, not the eggs. Oh. What kind of, what kind of, what kind of children like? What, where do, <laughs> do you know where children come from? So what kind of son makes an egg? I'm I'm just gonna go over here because I, you see I have her nothing to do with these out. people. One second, I gotta go and find what I need here. Come I'm on. very concerned on what's all happening here. I just have to find what I'm looking for. It's a very specific sprite. March just thinks he's in a nightmare right now. <laughs> oh my god. Ikrath uh, at this point assumes he's in your guys' nightmares, and he's probably not real. <laughs> Where is the basic... I'm just... Oh my god. Come on. Is it in characters? Yep, it is. And her son walks out. Oh no. And says and, and says, Hello, strangers. Where have it's what a what a surprise to see so many varied individuals. Yeah, oh, we get that a lot. Yeah. The craft is shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Elred kind of like puts himself in between Ikrath and Doro. <laughs> <laughs> Ikrath, why don't we go for a walk? Come on, follow me, Ikrath. This is gonna be fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. One last okay. thing before we grab the eggs. Can you just point us to where they are so that we can get them? Oh yes, they're in the ruins down by the by the water there. Oh, perfect. I just need just two eggs is all. Oh, that sounds sure. easy enough. Well, uh, we'll be back in a jiff. We'll give you one of my son's charms. He says they're great. Spends all his time in books. Just can't get him out of it. Reading all the time. Wait, Doro reads? Uh, yeah, he's implying that my child is stupid. I mean, he's a bit of a dunderhead. It's true, but in terms of smarts, he's Far smarter than you, obviously. Well, that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a. Do I come to your house and insult your children? Let's uh, let's all just calm down and we'll go and get those <laughs> eggs. 
refrain from saying things like that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> Some things even on this island can't exist. <laughs> Mr. Callion, I understand your disbelief, but you have to understand that if, if you want to make sure that we don't have an angry mob coming behind us, let's not insult everyone we meet! <laughs> okay, okay, fine. <laughs> I mean, Evan's got a point. Well, let's just go to the beach then. Can we like just go down there, or is it like a steep cliff? Um, you're going to teleport down there. By which I mean, I got a map. Give me a second. Is this the beach episode of the campaign? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Oh, wait. Everybody got their swimsuits picked out. Yeah. Let's wait, go. wait, wait, wait. Do we all need to be like Baywatch at this point? <laughs> beach <laughs> episode. Let's go. You must gather your party to venture forward. <laughs> And then it becomes Dark Souls-esque. I didn't bring my sunscreen. <laughs> Chosen left. undead. <laughs> oh no, it's the same map. <laughs> this is the duck map. We're dead. <laughs> oh my god, it is. I remember. Wait. <laughs> when we... No, no, my mind just went... Are we in an M. Night Shyamalan movie? Yep, we were the villains all along. Oh my god. <laughs> We've been seeing the whole campaign one way, but the truth is the Church of Nova Stain is trying to stop us from committing evil and atrocities. <laughs> I wouldn't blame them. That's how it feels like, because I, I think we've insulted 9 out of 10 people that we've encountered so far. Hey, we, just because we're heroes doesn't mean we're not rude. To be fair, a lot of those insults were misinterpretations. That's true. Yeah, but it's it's our assumption based off of the person, and then they get insulted off of that. <laughs> Elroy, anyway. you are right here because you didn't <laughs> stop, and you fall oh, in a touch. twenty foot hole. And how, how? What's the falling damage then? A d six oh per every ten feet. Okay, so two d six plus the uh, spikes at the bottom. Oh God, Callian, doesn't this look kind of familiar? Uh. Fine. It looks Eight. very familiar. 17 damage, Elred, as you tumble 20 feet and land on some short spikes on the bottom of the pit with sheer sand walls. Ouch! Oh. Hello? You okay over there? Well, I seem to have fallen into a trap. Have you fallen and you can't get up? <laughs> oh, okay, so what else be the life alert joke before I think that damage? Life cleric alert. Life you, cleric alert. You fell for yeah. it, Yugi. You fell for my trap card. <laughs> I'll banish you to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Where's that voice coming from? <laughs> Sorry, Jimbo. It's me, <laughs> Kaiba. It's me the Shadow Realm. <laughs> I love his voice actor so much. Hmm. All right, hold on, Alred. I think I got a rope. I'm gonna lower my rope to Alred. Alred will use it to climb up. Uh, you gotta do athletics. Athletics? Because you don't have a climbing speed. <laughs> well, he has rope, so rope helps. Does it? Yeah, really... you make it up fine. It's not too hard. Because at least okay, he has cool. rope. So you see two ruined buildings off there. In the Everyone, watch your step. And this is water. <clears throat> it gets down to around 10 feet in the middle. It descends rather quickly. Oh, wow. So it kind of looks like... That. Okay. Yeah, guys. So Ik Ikarath will tap Wes on the shoulder and be like, let's mm -hmm. see if we can't clear... Clear a safe path, and he'll he'll gesture to your staff, and he'll mm -hmm. start just whacking the ground as he walks forward, trying to find out if there's more holes as he goes around the water. Okay, yeah, Wes will, for once, follow Ikra's uh, lead. As as we're going and we're whacking the ground in front of us, Ikrath goes, "I have no idea if this will work. I just need to hit something right now." <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Worth a shot. I mean, I guess it's a good idea. Be careful though. <laughs> Remember last time we were he, uh, in an area like this? I think we no. and crushed eggs. Cormor. Right. Looking for eggs. Yes. So we just like, what? Made omelets? Oh, no. <laughs> What's your armor class? 
22. So, one wow. second, I gotta go wow. get a thing. What? What? 22? Crystal Armor! Almost, almost yeah, normal. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> crystal Armor! The power of the Crystal Armor. Cuomo's just a little ball of danger. Yeah, yeah. A shark grabs you in its teeth. But the, oh, no. but the armor protects you. And everybody roll initiative. Red. Is that a shark? It is a shark. I Isn't thought this the was the beach episode. Come on. We're on the Yeah, Josh is on the, on the beach. Line. Yeah, we're all on the Ooh. beach. Ooh. Net 20. I like that Icarath is going before the net 20. Oh yeah. my That's god. Hot. Right. So I, and... I think I think only Wes and Callion were there when I first played Ikrath, but mm -hmm. I made I designed Ikrath as a war mage with a high uh initiative mod yeah. to yeah. uh initiative specifically because Ikrath is the kind of person to think way after he's already done something and to do things <laughs> immediately upon things being needing to be done. Mm. Alright, what did so. Elrid roll? 13.14. Well, 13.14. Okay. Everybody's in? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, Icarath. So here's a question. Do spells work here? Uh, yes. Not they. It's not necessary that they will all work exactly the same. Some may be slightly different, but they function. Okay, uh, then Ikrath will see what's going on, and he'll simply uh, pull his cards out, and he'll cast Magic Missile at level 1. Alright. As the shark takes... Nine, uh, 13 damage as the uh, sharp cards lodge themselves and cut through its body, and the water starts to turn red with blood. I should draw on some more sharks, which will give Gormwall a chance to escape. Which enemy are you uninspiring, <laughs> Viking Meow? Is it the shark? Because some of you are actually redeemed something for your benefit. Uninspire one enemy. Wow. You've been uninspired. Shark has been uninspired. Okay. <laughs> and Elwer gets a loot point from John. Oh, thanks. I understand. If Icarath, you have other things to do. Uh, he's going to shout and wave his fist at the shark. The shark winks back at you. What do you think this little uh, Icarath shark? stops and is considering his life choices. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think this little land shark is going to come up there and attack you? <laughs> Stranger things have happened in other people's dreams. Who said we're in a dream? Thought you did. Somebody. This is reality, Icarath. <laughs> Oh no, my reality is being in other people's dreams. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right. Oh, God. Nothing I do matters. And it's Wes's turn. <laughs> All right, uh -oh. Wes is gonna uh, take out the sling since I know that's deep water. I'm just gonna attack the shark with the sling. Deep, deep water. <laughs> water. Oh water. my God, you deep, get it. Deep, 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 deep water. Oh my God. It's now strange and dangerous. Most <laughs> of the people in here probably don't remember this. <laughs> 17 hit? Yeah, 17 hit. <laughs> it's water. Six damage? Six damage to the shark as you lodge the, the sling bullet inside of its flesh and another wound sprouts blood. Nice. I'm going to hit it again. Ten. Uh, you miss. Oof. All right, I'm going to skips off the water, bouncing off of Cormall's hard shell. <laughs> My bad, Cormall. I'm gonna run around to to here to be like near Cormall to kind of assist him out when he comes. Um. Okay. Um. You fall into a hole. <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Nobody's checking for traps just because I I warned you guys just about these things, but nobody ever listens. Okay. I already fallen into one. Yeah. Jeez. So you take 
I don't take any damage. It's a trap. Well, the it ground is, less... is pointy, so. Oh, oh, I guess from the pointy. I so would. you would take six damage, but not the ten falling damage. So you'll take six damage okay, as cool. you land softly on a bunch of really pointy sticks in the bottom of a in the bottom of a twenty foot hole. <laughs> Ow! I don't remember size. these being here. Ah, uh, all right. Um, <laughs> that was some of my movement. So mm -hmm. I still have. I, I rolled a net twenty, so I have a lot more. I was right next to Icarus, so. All right, that was 15 feet. I'm gonna climb out. Uh, athletics can't yet. disadvantage. Okay, I can't yet run up walls as a monk. Uh... Oh, <laughs> five. Uh, you try and you scramble and you scroll and the sand just keeps coming down around you as you try and scramble up. You just keep sliding back. Oh, wait a second. I just remember something I've had for this whole campaign. I have a climber's kit, I think. <laughs> I do. I do have a climber's kit. You gotta well, equip your boots. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, I think that I have two. On a nat twenty, I have like two turns, right? Yeah. Okay, so I think that would be one turn. So yep. this is my second turn. Yep. Uh, now I'm gonna try the climber's kit and climb out. With All my right. My climber's kit. Can you roll a climber's kit? Is that a thing you roll? Not really. Um. Let me see. I anyway, just. Uh, Probably survival. Let me see if I could, uh, climbing kit includes special pitons, boots, gloves, and harness. You could use it as an action to anchor yourself. When you do, you can't fall more than 25 feet from the point where you anchored yourself. Oh. So I don't know if that necessarily helps me yeah, in this situation, I don't think actually. Yeah, help. Especially down in the sand. Yeah, um. You could yell for help, or, I mean, it's very shadowy in a hole. You could probably yeah, I want to try to shadow... This. I'm going to try to bamf myself out to the top. You'll need to do acrobatics. Acrobatics? Yep. Oh, I, that's true. I guess I can't see. Well, you can't get all the way to the top because the hole, because, I mean, there's still light in the top bit, but you can get oh, pretty fair. close, but then you need, need to do, like, some serious ninja level shit, just, like, kicking off the wall or something to grab onto the ledge. All right, let's see if this works. Okay, yeah. so you're able to, you're able to bam up Not near shit. the top, kick off to the wall, and grab onto the ledge, but you need to make an athletics check to pull yourself up. Huh. And you pull yeah. yourself up and flop onto the ground. Jeez. Okay. Guys, check for traps when you walk. There's a lot of these sand pits, apparently. Um, all right, and then I'll just continue to shoot the shark. All right. You hit in that one. How can sand have pits when they don't have arms? <laughs> Jeez. Nine, Nine damage as another pebble lodges itself into him. All right, and I'll do it one more time. Hit. Another eight. Eight damage again, just peppering him with the rocks, but he's not going down, but the water is getting very red with blood. Jeez. And you All right, can I'm see going to start to thrash more violently. Okay, I'm going to check to make sure there's no other sand pits next to this sand pit cuz I want to walk around it. There are not. Well, roll your thing. I guess it would be an investigation yep, check. Investigation. 13. There are not any. Okay, so I'm going to make my way around and uh, as you make your way around, you see this a glimpse pit. into here. And okay, you see some eggs and a tiny little foot. Hey guys, I think I see some eggs over here in the, the for the this old structure. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna move anymore because I still want to help. Uh, Cormal. So I'll just make that's my turn. I'll just stop right. there. Cormal. It's a very rude to just show up on top of someone. Um so let's see here. And I cost that. What the hell? Okay, um I was gonna attack it. <laughs> 
So that's a 17. You hit. 12 slashing. 12 slashing damage as you cut open the roof of its mouth and blood starts pouring out all over you. Really? That's very rude. <laughs> 17 again. You hit. It's a strong shark. 12 more damage. Yeah, as you cut open into its head and the blood gushes out. And then, for some reason, the shark and the blood all suck into your armor, which now has a rose quartz tint to it. On top Woo! of the prismatic effect. What did you just do, Cormo? This shark, my armor can absorb sharks! <laughs> I'm sure that won't come back and bite us in the butt. <laughs> yeah. And there is a permanent how? effect, that coloring. Okay. And Cormo steps out, <laughs> out of the water and just like... I got rose color now. <laughs> I am so confused. I am very concerned over the evolution of that. Oh! Bless you. Bless you. you. Crystals and sharks will fear me wherever I go. I feel I'm... bad for Rex. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rex is nice. We don't hurt Rex. That's Cormel's turn. All right. Valrak? Oh, uh, that arc is going to carefully bypass this whole crap down here and go along this bit if it wants to let me move. There we go. And then I'm going to cast a whole lot of blessing. <laughs> So, uh, Wes, Formal, nice. and Elred, for now, are the ones that are going to be blessed. What does it do? Uh, whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, as long as I maintain it for concentration for a minute, you can roll a d4 and add the number roll to the attack roll or saving throw. Is that like every time? Yep. 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 Every attack, every saving throw. Yep. Oh, as long as he's concentrating on it. Nice. Oh yeah, if I was an angel. Angel wings. Yeah, usually we note it by putting the little angel wings on your character mm -hmm. like West. So, I just, so mm -hmm. I just found out you can upload your own icons for some, for like status effects. Oh, oh no. Cool. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, like if you go into the compendium on roll 20, there's a thing that says uh, your icons, status icons, and you can create your own sets oh my god that's awesome and my old dm had a massive amount of custom ones it was super helpful all right so i think we're on sam mm -hmm. matty boy matt I, I forgot I was muted. Sorry. Uh, I'm just gonna start walking over. Mm -hmm. Bonus action, cutting action, dash, just to catch up to everyone and uh, hold my action just in case uh, anything hostile decides to show up. Yep. All red. Hostile okay. Alright, it's going to walk up, kind of following Wes's footprints. Mm -hmm. And fall in the other hole. <laughs> and you'll fall in it perfectly! <laughs> I think a five foot step, but like prodding at the ground with his axe. Yep, you don't goes. fall into anything. And then I'll hold the action in case something comes out and need some leaven with an axe. Okay. <laughs> so you see this wall explode open. Holy oh, shit. Not this again. Here. <laughs> Not this guy again. Um, 
boom! And uh, the four of you need to make deck saves thing? from Shrapnel. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's Donald Duck. Wait, all of us? Uh, the, the four, four people right there. Uh, okay. Samuel, Wes, the other... Gormal, and Elrid. You guys get to add the D4 hour. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I don't know I if it's going to help. I got this. Oh, okay, thank you. There you go. I rerolled and I won. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> wow. That not awful, though. The bless is good, though. Oh, Elrid. Yeah, that bless is good, though. That bless is tight. Oh, wait. Elrid, you have to, you have to roll wait, a D4, too. Both those were rolled as Cormal, though. Cormal's the one that's standing there. Mm -hmm. Why did you roll two, though? Because, because I got to re-roll one. that one. Oh! In the chat. Got it. Now I got it. Yep, didn't catch up to that. All right, if you got below a 15, you take 10 damage. If you get under, <laughs> if you get oh, over a 15, you take half of that. Oh, an evasion, I take zero. And since the shrapnel shatters past you, and then... Who invited this guy? One loop point to West. Being West has perfectly dodged us. everything. Nice, yeah. <laughs> oh, loop point, yay. <laughs> Clearing the traps. <laughs> Punts Cormall. Holy shit. Across the map, but he lands and bounces on the crystal armor and takes no damage as he stands back up. Can I, like, attack as he's doing that? Because he's in range. Sure. You know, I will, I'm supposed to fly on my dragon, not be you, thrown by people. You hit? I'm actually in range for an attack as well. I honestly can't believe that this encounter is happening all again. <laughs> Go I again forgot ahead. about it until like yesterday. 20 Do feet. Get... I'm... Do I get my two attacks or just one? Just You get two. Yeah, there you go. And if you're ready in action, you get Thalrak all of them. from Dragonheart for the bless. <laughs> Hooray! Oh. Yeah, when you're when you're taking your 19. attack. 19? Nineteen. Yeah, you miss. Oh. Yeah, when you're taking um, when you use a readied action, you get to ready you ready the whole action. Uh, attack of opportunity is just you get one attack, not mm -hmm. a full action effect. Okay. And. There's another and she opens her mouth wide. Jesus Christ. And. Yep. Mother Goose, no. All West, Sam, Elrid, Alvin, and Callion. Oh my god. Dexterity saves. Wow. Ugh. Don't forget your D4s. Oh my god. <sighs> mm. uh, oh god. Keep rolling a one. How did I get the highest? That's awful. Right? That's a nine. Fourteen. Damn. So if you got above a fifteen, you uh, take half of this damage. If you get yeah. below a fifteen, you take all this damage. If you get in that one, you take double this damage. <laughs> Which is one second. So that's I needed one more. Also, don't forget, for the saving throws, you can add a d4 to that as well. Yeah. That I don't think it matters. That was, that was just Al Alvin's. Yeah, 25 damage. 50 Oof. if oh my God. you are Alvin, basically. And then 12 for half damage. What kind of damage mm -hmm. am I taking? Okay. I get half because evasion. Thank electric God for Oh, yeah. Electric damage as a giant lightning bolt comes out of her out opened mouth. I don't remember this no. happening last time. The one time Noxus isn't here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I forgot Noxus was here at the beginning of this, <laughs> of this game. And yeah, Al he just poofed. He poofed. Alvin's unconscious. So funny. He passes out. Oh my god. Alvin? I don't know how you people wake up. Uh, it's a DC 10, so... Yeah, you can wake up. That was very rude. 
You're a little bright. How was your nap? I didn't use half my move with the stand up. Oh. How was your you nap, called, Alvin? You called that a nap? <laughs> that wasn't shocking. a nap. It was a shocking nap. It was a pain in my ass. That's what it was. Um, Alvin will use. How's everyone over there looking? Um, I'm a little bit hurt. Alvin's pretty hurt. Thirty-two out of fifty is what I'm at. Since you're 30. right up there. Thirty-five out of eighty-seven. Oh my god. Alred, yeah, take, 14, take 14 healing. Oh, thank you. I am not hurt so far. Uh, and then... Wes? Mm -hmm. Wes, you're tricking all the traps! You can only go up from here! You get an inspiration <laughs> from me. <laughs> nice. Uh, I guess. I mean, I didn't expect lightning ducks. Neither did I. And Alvin will move over there, right there. Oh, that's Alvin's turn. All right, Kellyan. Cool. Have you been uh, recently hold lightning up. bolted? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh god, that was bad. Uh, maybe I should line up in a nice straight line in front of Alvin. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh! Um, I'm <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys are all close. Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm going to use my uh, holy symbol to heal. All right. uh, who's the most most hurt? Sorry. I think Alvin. 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 Oh, Alvin's got 13 HP. HP of 63. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he is he is absolutely hurting. <laughs> okay, Alvin, you heal for uh how much you want? <laughs> um, how much you want? Let's go off of the fact that it was twenty-five was the base damage. Um, so a little bit higher than twenty-five would be appreciated. Okay, I'll heal you for twenty-six. You, you, oh, you want to just give me thirteen so that I I'm at twenty-six, or are you healing me for twenty-six? No, you can heal for twenty-six. Okay. You heal for twenty-six, and then I still have four plus five. Uh, still have nine left, so I'll oh, give wow. uh. Five to Elrid and four to Wes. Nice. Okay, so Elrid kills for five, Wes for four, Alvin for 26. And then bonus action, I'm going to summon my spiritual weapon. Nice. And I will... Crikey! Crikey! I don't know where... It, uh, I guess I'll hit the... The big goose. Which big one? goose? <laughs> They're both pretty big. Uh, the original dude. Okay. Oh, I just realized. Uh, what should my spiritual weapon look like, you guys? Uh, what's a predator of, of geese? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, a bigger geese. Bigger <laughs> geese. Yeah, but my geese will be small. I'll make it look like an egg. Abyssal chickens! A chicken. Abyssal chickens. Fine. A duck. My, my spiritual weapon looks like a chicken. <laughs> I'm gonna smack him, so I'll make an <laughs> attack. Peck. All right. Um, uh, let me just roll for it. Yeah. Peck. Twenty-four hit. I'm assuming it does. Spiritual chicken uses. Oh, peck. five points of damage. Awful. Peck. Force damage. Smack him with a chicken. Um, is that magical damage or? Yeah. Uh, it's it force. bounces off of him. What? Okay, well, I'm upset, but I will. Uh, uh, <laughs> so I will walk a little bit uh, <laughs> closer to Cormel. You have to do physical against him and then magical against the mob, maybe. Okay, my turn's over. Oh, interesting. It was force damage, by the way, but yeah, it's a yeah, magical if it, weapon. It was, if it's yeah, if it would be ma considered magical in nature, then it would bounce mm -hmm. off. Yep. Yeah, I'm done. Sorry. Yep. Icarus. So that was done on him. Yes. You guys see my chicken smack into him and just bounce off. <laughs> so you can't use magic on this one? Yeah. Yep, in one second, I'll be right back. Muscle yeah, man. I think so. That little square is my chicken. Muscle man. You can't use magic on muscle man. You gotta use muscle on muscle. 
so this one's probably the opposite. Magic on magic. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Spiritual chicken. <laughs> That's too big. <laughs> spiritual, spiritual chicken. Spiritual chicken was not effective. <laughs> spiritual chicken. Spiritual chicken. You there we go. I made muscle, a little spiritual chicken. Muscle duck is unaffected. I wonder what the season's like here. I wonder if we're a spring here for summer. Craze out. All of them at once, I suppose. Oh god, what would happen if that was the case? <laughs> Absolute chaos. All of them at once. <laughs> How would that work? <laughs> Well, it happens all choose. the time in Canada and Michigan. You would choose which uh, season you represent. Yeah. Because again, remember, you don't. You're uh, eligible. No, I know it's follow the season. For... They can choose a season. No, I know for that front. I'm talking about the other front. Because the other front is is based off the season. Which one? My item. Oh. Rainbow. <laughs> Rainbows. By the way, you guys, if you get the ducks into the water, I can cast a whirlpool and suck them down. Oh my god. Now, uh... I mean, ducks can breed in the water, but... They'd still take damage. But... Ducks can swim. But technically then, the muscle duck wouldn't take damage because muscle duck's immune to magical effects. Eh, but it's not really magical. It's, uh... You're taking physical damage. Well, like, see, the water is what's hurting you, not the... Not my spell. Okay. Eh, forget that idea. They're ducks. That's an awful idea. <laughs> <laughs> if they were anything else, let's put them sure. in water. We're yeah, what's the duck? The territory. duck will just fly out or swim out. We're fighting on their turf. Maybe you should. Freeze. I wish I could freeze the water. That'd be cool. Okay, I'm they back. go in it and I freeze them. Mm -hmm. I can freeze hey, Matt, what's the season on this mysterious island? Perpetual summer. Okay. It's always summer. My favorite time of the year, perpetual summer. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fifth season. <laughs> I would have been really conflicted if you would have said all of them. <laughs> will never be winter and never be fall and definitely not spring. <laughs> <laughs> We're on some like Caribbean island. <laughs> so check in real quick. How, is everybody having a good time with this or am I way off the mark? I've never run a one shot. Oh, this no, is fucking fun. great. Are you kidding me? It's awesome. <laughs> okay. Making sure, because I have no idea what I'm doing. We're going to fight every villain we ever beat. <laughs> <laughs> In one episode. <laughs> I can't wait till we go against dark versions of ourselves. Oh, oh my god. Oh Shadow, god. I can't wait until we have to fight dragons again. Oh, we no. have to fight oh, a god. revenant. Shadow Alvin is the boss. <laughs> Shadow Alvin. No, Icky Girl is no, the one. Uh, yeah, Dark. surprisingly, <laughs> nobody has asked anything about who the Lord is, just about the hunt. Dark Icarath. <laughs> you gotta fight, you gotta fight Nivla. <laughs> Dark Icarath is just John in real life. He's not all that scary. <laughs> no, no we, well, no, no, we did ask about the Lord, but they were like, oh, you don't want to meet him. You don't want to meet him. That's true. Like, they, they, mm -hmm. they, they were a lot closer to the Lord, though, than some of the townspeople. Like, they're, they're, they're employed by him directly, so... I think he's a vampire. Um, Icarath is going to cast Chromatic Orb Probably at the Trevor. mother looking duck. Okay. Mother duck. And it will be uh, acid damage. It hits. Twenty one damage as her feathers start to melt and she balks and screams, and um, roll a dexterity save. Oh. Clicking a button, but nothing come out. 
Here we go. There it is. It has, she flings her wings, some of the acid catches on it and returns back to you, dealing one quarter of the damage you dealt. Oh god. 21. So that'd be six damage. Six damage. And it whips it back like a curveball or a grenade. Craft starts going bleh, 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 and uh, wiping himself off. And that's his turn. Wes. Um, okay, well, if I take a bonus action to get a five foot step here, that would put me in range to attack this guy, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm going to do that because then I'm going to um, let me do that first. Okay, so five foot step bonus action. Then my movement to switch out my weapons to take the quarter staff to stiffness out. And then I will attack him with my quarter staff. So. Oh, it's rock solid. Yep, you hit. And, well, you uh, get rock solid, then you get to roll your hit. <laughs> but that means you're going to miss, right? Isn't that normally how these Probably. things go? Add a d4. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought I would add it automatically. Well, it was a 21 to hit. Does that hit meta? Yeah. Just yeah, roll a d4. <laughs> yeah, I don't get need a 25. A yeah. All right. That, that hit. AC's either 20 or 21 then. 13. All right, you whack big chicken man across the shin and he hops up and down on one foot for a little bit. Nice. Okay. I'm going to hit him again with the staff. Hey, it's still hard. Yep. Uh, hold on, meta, hold on, hold on. At the D4. Uh, 20. Uh, you hit. Nice. 18. 18 damage as it hits him in the other shin and he bounces up and down on that one and squawks angrily at you. Nice. Um, and the, the, the two, uh, turns is just first turn, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's it. Cormal, you just got punted across the room. Very rude. Uh, Cormal will uh, switch out to his bow and shoot the duck. All right, which duck? The muscle muscle duck. <laughs> and since I've got someone next to the duck, it doesn't hit. Um, at the. I did. It auto rolled. Yeah, I missed. Oh. I, t I have it turned on so it automatically rolls no matter what. Mm -hmm. oh, how do you do that in the settings? How do you do that? Um, you so you have second. to, if you look you at, need a bless. you need to turn on global attack modifiers, and then they'll set up a bunch of a extra bonuses you can add to your attacks. Oh, that's just beyond me. Oh, uh, I see. You need, yeah, you need to go into your settings. That's 11 piercing damage. 11 piercing damage is an arrow lodges itself in one of his pecs. And he goes, Tis boss touch! That's what he you pulls get! pulls it out. Um, and then, and for you! As he looks towards the mom. I got something for you as well. Pepper breath! <laughs> 28. And do you attack Ooh. the mom? Yes. I got okay. so far. Yeah, away, you that's hit. Crazy. Fourteen fire. For fourteen fire damage. As you engulf some of her feathers in flames. Take that. And it's Delrex's turn. I click show spell yeah. description. Sorry. Cormal, take one crystal point every time you use that. Okay. I mean, you don't know you're taking it in character, but out of character. Take, yeah, so go down by one? No, okay. like, go up by oh, one. Oh, go up by one, all right. Yeah. All right, I moved 15 feet, and they are within a range, so I'm going to do... Wait, how, how far am I there? Oh, yeah, they're within range. Speed. I mean, you can always walk right next. No, 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 I'm going to stay behind. I'm going to stay behind the people that I gave blessings to. Smart. And, uh, I think we're going to go with Spirit Guardians. 
Nice. Oldie but goodie. Press us. Come on. You would lose. Oh, yeah. oh wait. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. Yep. Them. Never mind them. I want to keep Bluffs going. Dual concentration. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, so, um, that's why they're so good spells. They had to nerf them. Too bad you can't pass on concentration to someone else. Right? <laughs> Just pass it to me. <laughs> pass it to me. Uh, you know what? I we'll, mean, do sacred, we'll do sacred flame on uh, Mother Hen there. All right. So they need to make a dexterity saving throw of 14. They make it. Damn. Okay. No damage done. Oh. Uh, Samuel. Okay. I'm not muted, right? Nope. No, you're, nope. you're not muted. No. You're good. Okay. So Samuel is going to use a uh, Misty Step. It's bonus action. And uh, Big Mama takes um, my charisma. Yeah, uh, she takes three three fire damage. Okay. And then I'm going to get flanking on Big Boy. Mm-hmm. And twenty three to hit. Um, you hit. There'll be uh, 23 piercing damage. For 23 damage, as you continue to pincushion his hide. Do you have anything else? That'll be my turn. Elred. Okay, just gonna move up a little bit. And now that Sam gives us flanking, he's gonna swing his great axe. On advantage. 23. All right. Reroll. <laughs> can't reroll it again, though. Oh, you can't? <laughs> no, once you roll it, one. Yeah, you, for once eight you roll damage, it, one, you as you cut into off. him, and he growls at you, and you can see his eyes flash red. As you, and, yeah. And I'll swing again. Okay. Miss. Oh no! He oh, bounces off of his. He's got a D4. Oh. Twenty-two. That hits. Still bounces off of his leg now. Oh. His eyes are oh. glowing red. Oh what? AC has increased. I'm gonna Damn. action surge. Mhm. Mm and swing again. Hit. Oh. AC went up by two. Now three. 15 Ten damage teams. as he begins to bleed and his feathers are turning red. And another swing. Uh, I missed me too. Ah! Damn, the AC went up a lot. Um, That'll be that. <laughs> All right. Uh, armor class, uh, Elrid? 16. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Thirty-eight damage and make a dexterity saving throw. Holy shit! Oh. And an additional. Hey, it's not gonna do anything. Nine damage. 
as he wails into you with two punches and then a kick and boots you into Jesus. the tree over here. Welcome to the Flying Away Club. <laughs> Where you are dropped down. <laughs> so flying Away Club. You got all that damage? 47. Yes. Holy shit. And make a con save, of course. Which would be... What would that be? 18? 18? 24. Which is it? Even, even with a d4, it's not going to help. Yeah. You are unconscious. Yeah, because it's, it's half the damage. Total damage. Damn. Ugh. Igrath, Alvin, Thalrak, West make deck saves. Is it a spell? Yeah. It is a spell. Uh, I don't think oh. so. Because, uh, hmm. uh. I was going to do that. Counter nice. Spell. Yay. The best spell in the game is the one that doesn't let people cast spells. No spells Absolutely. today. So does that cancel out our need for dexterity saving throws? It does, however, Ikarath needs to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> what? Um, is it a spell? Uh, yes. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> Alright, then Kalyan needs to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> what? Is it a spell? No, I'm joking. <laughs> it's a spell, yes. I'm joking. I'm... There's a video on YouTube I need to find. It's just like a lich trying to cast magic and... Um, How many spells has this thing got? That okay, so what happens is... Kind of so it casts the spell, and Alvin casts Counterspell. But as Alvin casts Counterspell, you see the magic stream over to the goose. The mother goose spits it back, and at halfway through the air, you see it turn very quickly into a shark and then disappear as he counterspells it. But then out of his hands, <laughs> that then you see it start to go towards Kelly, and then it turns into a shark again, which then grabs onto him and pins him to the ground. What? Land shark. <laughs> oh, my God. Seven damage before it stands up on legs. What the fuck? <laughs> a shark -ator. Is it going to start yelling out that it's King Shark? It's just land king shark. Shark is king shark. <laughs> king shark is a shark. Is a shark. <laughs> it has been an honor to swoop, so fight with you. You've got to be kidding. <laughs> and I it love is that whole scene. Alvin's it's Alvin's turn. Um. So uh, a lightning turned into a sh what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Fucked up reality are we in? Um, alright, fine. Uh, well, uh, I guess the. Uh, Callion, how are you holding up over there? <laughs> you just got oh, I'm fine, don't worry about shark. it. <laughs> <laughs> um,. There's... Don't worry, when I heal people, it heals me back, so... Oh. <laughs> I'll be fine. Uh, how's everyone looking? I know Elrid's kind of messed up, isn't he? Elrid's at 7 out of 87. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. <laughs> yeah, right. he was the one I was gonna try to get to. I'm gonna send time. a little bit of healing over to him as well, so I will... give Elrid... Elrid, you get 12 points of healing. Cool. And then I'm going to send an inspiration over to Cormo. <laughs> and there's a very specific reason why. <laughs> you will all find out when it gets to Cormo's turn. That's my turn, though. All right. Kalyan. Okay, um, first I'm going to get up. <laughs> Didn't expect the land shark. Yeah. Nobody it's like, expects land shark. It's just in front of me, or it's like it's standing up on like on legs. Yeah, you know, like the SpongeBob episode where you got the little drawing guy, those legs. Yeah, yeah, basically. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, what, what, what fresh hell is this? We're in Latandra. <laughs> Knock it into the pit. Um. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. I kind of need to kill people. <laughs> That's true. 
Well, first I'm going to make my spiritual chicken bonus action. Spiritual chicken's going to go hit the mother goose. So let me just roll for that first. Eighteen, does that hit her? I'm going for the mama goose. I apologize, I missed that. Um, that's a miss. Oh, my spiritual weapon went to go no, hit I'm, the I'm mo meant, mother I'm goose. My yeah. On. yeah, I got. Sorry. Jeez. Unclear. You miss. Okay. And then, uh, for my action, <laughs> this stupid land shark. I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, let me just look at my spells real quick. I'm sorry. <laughs> Because I, I don't think I can make it to Elvard, right? You'd have to dissing you'd have to take an attack of opportunity from Land Shark. Well that's that's fine, but can I make it over there? Um yeah. with your half your movement you would make it to here, then you get your five foot step, which would be Well, he there. doesn't get that because he, he doesn't get a five foot step, oh. he uses I'm a cleric, I'm attack. slow. Oh that's then fine. no, you wouldn't be able to make it. Oh man. I'm just I'm just looking because I have cure wounds but I have to touch him. Uh I could I'll just use my uh, spiritual. No, not my spiritual. I'm sorry. I'm not going to move. Instead, I'm going to channel divinity again. Uh, and uh, Elrid. What's Elrid's max hit points? 87. 87. Oh, that's good. So half of that, you're you're fine. So I can heal you for uh, 35. So as you present your holy oh. symbol, you see oh. a... A... Uh, ethereal uh -oh. image of Lathandra in glowing yellow light, just kind of like kind of like fly forward from your symbol into Elrid, and you <sighs> see all the wounds heal. A full heal? Yep. Oh, oh my! Oh, oh, oh my God! God. Lathandra's grace. You guys, we have Lathandra on our side. We cannot lose. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll I'll end my turn next to the land shark, I guess, because if right. I move, it's gonna hit me. Ikarath. Well, there's a land shark and there's a bunch of geese, but we all know that geese are pretty close to ducks, so Ikarath's <laughs> going to focus on, on, on them. Um, so he is going to, I think... What will he do? Um... I think he'll cast Chromatic Orb again on Mama Duck. All right. You hit. And it'll be lightning this time. All right. Make a deck save. So that was almost one. you cast the chromatic orb and she catches it in her beak and chomps down and takes 14 electricity damage. You see her shudder before you see her open her mouth back up and you take one quarter of that damage. Dude. Jeez. Krath will then back a little way uh, away from the land shark. And that's right. his turn. <laughs> back away from the land shark. Probably a good idea. Wes. All right, I'm going to keep hitting this thing. Hey, and I keep getting the... Oh, wait, no, you're stiff no, no. at least. Yeah. And you have advantage. Yeah, and I have bless. Uh, here we go. Um, uh, That's a rip. That's a miss. Damn. I was just trying to see if, if bless would help that. You have a D8 plus one if you want to use my inspiration dice I've given you. Oh, it's a plus one on that? A D8 it's plus D one if you want to use it. It's D8 plus one if you want to use it. Oh, it's a D8? Oh, yeah, I'll use that. Yeah, it's a D8 plus one. Uh, okay. Just roll eight and then add one to whatever the result is. Mm -hmm. You hit. Oh, nice. 15 damage. For 15 bludgeoning damage as he falls to the ground unconscious. Nice. Um, should I keep whacking it? Should I just murder this thing? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, you can. Tenderize I mean, the meat. Night, night. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna hit it again. 
You're uh, waking up from that. All right. <laughs> uh huh. I gotta make That's my staff. That's one failed death saving throw if you hit. It's two. Actually. It's two, I think. Oh, two. It's two because it's a, you auto crit on mm -hmm. unconscious creatures. Okay. So roll the yeah. hit. Let me just make sure my staff is stiff. It, it is. It is. Oh. Oh, it would be. Oh, right? God. Yes, it would. That would be. Oh, you You just. You, you cave its skull in, and the mama goose falls to the ground, wailing and crying. <laughs> Fuck this duck! And just bats the skull in. <laughs> Not the duck. Come on. Well, well oh, yeah, I still have movement, oh, actually. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm just gonna move into to the eggs. Okay, one second. Mark's well, just gonna look at you very concerned, wondering why the hell would you kill something that's just unconscious at this point. Long story, we've met this duck before. <laughs> Clearly we're the villains. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> My ethics are low, but they're not that low. Hey, this is a peculiar situation. Plus, we're in a dream or something, so it's fine. I, I don't know if we're in a dream. I wouldn't call it that. <laughs> I don't but know. It's good to practice ethics, even if the environment is a dream. I mean, this this goose was slapping around all of us. Almost killed, almost killed us. So hey. I mean, what do you think would have happened if it woke up and saw that we took all its eggs? That that's not our problem. All right, I'm back. Probably, it probably would be our problem. Probably come after us. What are you guys debating? Oh, about if it was if it was right that I just murdered this geese, this goose. <laughs> Does it feel right? Yes. No. This time it does. Even though I also encountered the goose on a different character. Oh, yeah. Right. You know. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that, my turn's definitely over. All right. That would make it Cormal's turn. What is... You got a goose lying on the... Mama goose lying on the ground crying and sobbing inconsolably. You've got a goose that just had its head smashed in. Um, and a land shark. So I can either be helpful and make it so everyone's healthier... Or I can try to tame the land shark. So, you know, it's up to you guys. <laughs> what I do here. Get this land shark, please. I'm kind of wanting to tame the land shark, but if you guys want extra health, I can do that. Oh, this there. thing's freaking me tame out. Tame the land shark. What? I'm taming the land shark? <laughs> <laughs> and Carmo runs up to the land shark with a little bit of meat, like, Come on, buddy, let's be friends. I'll even cast speak with animals so it can understand me. Um, animal handling. Yeah. And I get to add um, uh, I get to add this too. So let's fucking go. Shit. There we go. What? Is this a monstrosity? Is a shark? Oh wait, no, it's a beast. I, it's a beast. I also get advantage. It is a beast. Well, yeah, so fuck. I mean, just take the first natural twenty. Um, just take just take the natural twenty. Um, <laughs> oh my god, it eats so the it, meat. That was the first result. Is natural twenty? So yeah, oh god. it eats the meat, and it shrinks into the little teeny figurine of it. <laughs> and oh you can God. feel a little bit of magic inside of it. One second, I, I need to. I need to do this. I imagine it looks like the shark puppy. Oh no, no! You're you're gonna have to tokenize this because it can come out for one round, uh, once a day, uh, as a bonus action to roll of to attack for a D8 of biting damage. <laughs> And it's called Amulet of the, of the Land Shark. Amulet of the Land Shark. <laughs> and this does carry over. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I 
What is up? I got an amulet of the land shark king. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> and what else is going on? Well, that's all I'm doing. Thank Whatever you, Cormel. Whatever anyone else wants to do, go right ahead. But I got my land shark. Darek's turn. All right, so I don't want to attack the goose that's already wailing uncontrollably. <laughs> we already bashed in one spot. I ain't bashing in another. Okay. Dark is going to go past her, though, to go look at the eggs. As you get closer, she starts crying and wailing even more. <laughs> God. I wish, wait, uh, can I cast? Calm emotions on the duck? No, because that would... <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> no, that'd make it worse. Um... Oh no, I... I'm not going to be that mean. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to hold my turn uh, with a spell ready if she tries to get offensive. Alright. Uh, Samuel. Samuel's going to walk up and just start petting the duck. <laughs> but in reality, I'm putting it to sleep. Wow. It does not go to sleep. Damn. Let's come on with 39 hit points. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That'll Who's be my ready? turn. Who's ready for the meteor swarm? And Elred. God. Okay. Uh, con so is it a saving throw to wake up or a regular throw? It's a con save. Yep. Roll D4. Because you make it. <laughs> it's there DC we go. 10 to, it's DC 10 to wake back up after going under shock. Yep, so you oh, wake okay. up. Alright, then I use half my movement to stand up. And feeling surprisingly good knowing that I just got punted across the map into a tree. <laughs> and I wake up with no injuries whatsoever. <laughs> I walk. Praise Lathandra. Can... Lathandra shines bright on you today, Alred. <laughs> oh, was this you? Uh, no, it was actually my god. Well, you can say thank you on my behalf. Uh, no problem. <laughs> Just make sure you say a prayer later. <laughs> I guess I'll Daniel. use my turn to take the rest of the movement all the way up. And that'll be that. Alright, and we are all out of initiative because she's still crying. Nice. My spiritual chicken is gone. <laughs> Trying to so... soothe her to sleep at this point. How many eggs do we get? <laughs> Animal <laughs> handling for Samuel. I mean, these are like 10 foot tall eggs. Oh shit, god. Damn it, I wish Parkin was here. He has levitation. Uh. I'd... Wow, it's yeah, so weird five. that Bargain just popped up next to the eggs. <laughs> <laughs> was that supposed to be an advantage? Uh, yeah. No. Well, then she just sobs oh, even saying, more no. and starts beating her hands into the ground. Yeah, uh, Wes is still hurt a bit. That's what I was saying, yes, too. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll I mean, unless you gave it advantage you. because she's crying, but... Cure wounds. Yeah, I'll do some math. Give me a second. You guys keep <laughs> talking. Okay, so, uh... How many eggs did they want? Two. 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 Two? Alright, I guess... Can we take more? 
Or we're all kind of too small. Are we strong enough to take more? I feel like two people per egg. Albert's pretty strong. <laughs> um, Samuel is not strong. We lack a lot of the strength characters here, unfortunately. So. Yeah, yeah keep in mind, these are 10 feet tall, so they're probably like 6 or 7 feet wide. We'll have to do a group effort. It'll probably take like two or three of us to pick up one egg. True. Yep. What's the role that you need to pick Cormal's up an egg? Buddies. I mean, we can we can get two eggs, three yeah, people like per egg, foot. and Cormal to they're Cormal like to just kind of make sure nothing like bad happens. Six foot. Wes, you heal for fifteen. You'd probably need four oh, people per egg, three people if they all have a strength above sixteen. All right, as a twenty. Okay, I don't have a good strength, huh? Starak has 14. I can make someone stronger. Oh, by how much? Well, I just make them have advantage on strength checks. Yeah. And their carrying capacity is doubled, it says. Yeah, so in theory, you do make them stronger. Yeah. They can carry twice as much as they usually can. Yeah, you could, you could have some, but that could allow somebody to reach the 16 minimum yep. requirement for it. And this lasts an hour, so. And maybe Elred then, since he's close to it already. Sure. Elred's already 20. Oh, wait, then who's 16? Or who's 14? Oh, That's Tower. Tower. Hi. Then oh, you need I one more. Tower. I have 15. Does a drag does a, a winged dragon with seventeen strength count? Uh if you have somebody guiding it. It's my it's Cormal's yeah. dragon. Yeah, that'll Tutunia work. Has, Tutunia has that much strength. So Perfect. So we could get them? We can get the two. Mm-hmm. So who did I just enhance? Dalric? Dalric. Alrek. Yep. Hello. You you suddenly feel twice as strong as you normally do. Oh, and Abigail has 18 strength. Wow. Hooray! So how many if we don't have the 16? Four people? Four people. Yeah. So then yep. we could do the second egg. Icarath, Abigail, uh, I guess Wes and Alvin or something. I don't know who's stronger. Or Callie might be stronger. I, I am know. not strong. Yeah, all right, we'll just do that then. I think I'm doing it. I have a strength of 12. Yeah, I have a strength of 10. I'm not strong either. Oh, well, I'm stronger than you? Damn. Yeah. I, I rolled... I actually don't have great stats. My only good stats are dex and wisdom, which are important for a monster. Bless you. Oh, yeah. Excuse me. Bless you. Well, isn't it great you're in a campaign where stats ultimately don't end up mattering as much? As the choices you make. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Except dexterity, because he Ex always makes us, makes us yeah. dexterity yeah. saving. Uh, dexterity 24 dex saves. You know, among, like, among is the best for Mattis campaign. <laughs> because I get evasion and, and all good deck stuff. We should have had a full <laughs> yeah, My like deck saves right. always suck. Alright, so we take the eggs back. So as everyone walks across the water, <laughs> I heard about a guy who did this once. <laughs> Wasn't his name like Jesus or something? No, his name was Callian. I could walk across water. Yeah, yeah that's right. It was us. It was blood and bubblegum and our yeah, horses. It, yeah, the entirety of yeah, I heard the entirety of uh, Party 2 did that in the end. Yeah. All right. We walked across the Fendal. <laughs> hey, Dora, we bought you eggs. We have two giant eggs for you. Oh, they will be perfect for dinner. Wait, we'll what? You couldn't get regular eggs for dinner? We you don't a... say anything. <laughs> They're <laughs> not dinner for us. 
we are getting paid once we prepare these. Oh. For the count. Count? For the, the count? count. The count. The Lord? In the Lord, in the manor. Lord Count. So, Lord can, count you, name? can you tell us more about him? How high can oh, you Oh, Lord Count Tremius is a scary man. What? Tremius? Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait a second. Grab your torch and pitchforks. No, stop! <laughs> if it's no, a tree, we can just burn it. Corm also doesn't say that. Alpha goes, What did, what did so, I say about... Oh. Totally no, unrelated to speaking. that. Doro knows we're joking. <laughs> oh, totally unrelated to that announcement and discovery. Uh, I do have to go. <laughs> <laughs> so Ikrath tries a mushroom to calm himself down because you guys are talking to Doro and he just pops out of existence, I guess. <laughs> Oof. Hi, Ikrath. <laughs> and Naxus shows up in his place. All right, I'll see you later. See, see ya. ya. Bye. Bye. say about making comments like that around people <laughs> i understand who's making though. the comment right now who who's making who was making that comment well, which comment uh, the whole about pitchforks and fire <laughs> yes <laughs> i don't know uh, what i was just that. saying but <laughs> Callion didn't say that <laughs> <laughs> Alred said something about, oh, if it's a tree, we can just burn it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. But I don't know who said pitchforks and fire. Uh, I was with Ario out of character. <laughs> oh, it's out of character. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, because I was going to say, if that was in character, uh, Samuel would have been putting you to sleep. <laughs> or trying to, at least. Go to sleep. <laughs> so they hand you the 10 gold. Nice. And they say, if you're looking for more work, I heard that... One sec. One sec. Wait, wasn't it 10 gold per egg? No, there's a No, bonus. it was there's 10 a bonus. gold. And you'll get the trinket as well. There's a trinket that we get. Who gets the trinket? Everyone? A trinket is given, and then people can choose who we choose who gets. There's a war forged on the other side of town who's been looking for some help finding a heart for a while. Uh oh. He lives in the citadel outside of the secondary gate. Okay. This is Wizard of Oz. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a tin man. I can't wait till we fight the lion. And here, as hmm. promised, is the trinket. What is it? And she hands over a little metal mosquito inside of a glass case. What? Huh? It's yeah. Jurassic Park. The oh. one's a metal yeah, I'm not na, 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 na. What does it do? Once per week, it can be summoned to life. To cause a distraction to an enemy. However, if it's smashed, it will not return back to life. Um, thanks? Okay. Once per week, a little mosquito could distract somebody. That seems pretty good, though. I mean, distraction is <laughs> pretty powerful in a fight. Yeah. And it's a free it's action. True. And it's a free action as well, so. And it's called Doro's Mosquito. Doro's oh, who gets mosquito. it? God dang it, Doro. I don't know. Well, Wes did kill the <laughs> duck. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure this out later. Yeah. If only you had a bag to throw it in. I know. Mm -hmm. Instead, I just have like a pocket. A pocket of holding sucks. Yep. A pocket of holding. Yeah, I guess we'll just hold on to it. Whoever will just take it. All right. Let's just chop it in half and give it to two people. <laughs> one I think that would constitute a smashed. One person gets the mosquito, the other person gets the jar. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, they have to work together. 
Okay, we're off to see the wizard. I mean, uh, we're off to see the Tin Man. Sorry. The Warforged. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where is, is there it? a golden trail that I'm not aware of? And as you guys are walking across, you just see this little kid wandering about the city. Hey, Randavius. Hello. How do you know my mm -hmm. name? Randavius. Oh, yeah, I know your name. I've never You're met famous. you before. We just know everyone's name. Don't worry. Stranger danger. Think of it as a lucky oh guess. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> God, this place is so weird. Let's find the Warforged, make some money. <laughs> this place is strange. Here. You are the one freaking out kids of people. Kid versions of people we know. <laughs> he's not kid version, that's him. Fair. Where are we going? Where's the Tin Man? Secondary gate, so if you go all the way down to this end... How do we even get there? Wait, how do we get to that gate? We yeah, uh, there's there. a gate right here. No. <laughs> it, it's, it's not at right here, I would assume. Is that not oh, the... Wait. Oh no, Orange. you guys would come around from the docks. You guys were lost. Go no, around go the, down beach. To the beach. Follow around the beach unless you guys want to climb. Now we'll go around the beach. All the oh, way over here. Beach episode. And back over here. Still a beach episode. There are dolphins bounce, uh, dancing in the water. You guys, is that normal? How do you gotta tame a dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> Watch out, they're dangerous. I'm collecting all the animals. <laughs> okay, Ash, catch them. <laughs> gotta collect them all. And you see two guards at the top of the gates here. And then oh this door is closed and locked. Oh my god, it's Aaron. <laughs> He's alive. Aaron, how's it going? Hey, hey. How do you know my name? We saw you got eaten by a snake. I right. have not been eaten by... Uh, are you on also, drugs? Also, you all have name tags. <laughs> you all, all have name tags. I have no name tag. <laughs> How high? No, he's he's too high up for me to cast pressure digitation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've come to see about a warforged. Oh, you mean the weirdo in the tower, boiler? Boiler. He's uh, like yeah. to be boiler, but it's boiler. Let's be honest. <laughs> boiler. <laughs> uh, yeah. Boiler. Boiler. Is he dangerous? <laughs> I wouldn't say so. He gets a little bit steamed sometimes, but there's not much to be worried about. Ah, uh, funny, Aaron. Always funny with the jokes. <laughs> I I hey, don't we'll know you who you are. <laughs> we'll see you later. Don't worry. <laughs> We're off to see the wizard. <laughs> the wonderful wizard of. No, this is the Tin Man. Of Co Coilint. Coho Lint. Hmm. Albert always knocks. <laughs> Albert knocks. The door opens. Albert is the one who knocks. Oh, we've heard that you might be looking for some uh, help. Yes, I need a help hot. Uh, I think we might be able to help you with that. I can. I Goose can heart. Pay you. No, it must be the soul of the mountain. The so gem for the the counts the counts tournament prize. And how much are you thinking to pay for this? Thirty part? gold. Thirty. Okay, that almost puts us at our fifty gold gold. Yeah. Forty. Do you know where it is? I believe the Count keeps it in his castle until it's the day of the tournament. He said a tournament prize, so we have to compete in the tournament and win to get, it up, to get the crystal. Yeah, that's If we're going to have to compete, I think we should make a little bit more from this. How about 40? 
The last lot all I turned up with on shore was 30 gold. He's giving us Fair. his entire savings, so he can't exactly give us more. It's all I have. I just want to feel something. Wait, <laughs> you can't blame me for trying. Wait, isn't the whole goal to get in the castle and we have to be a part of the tournament? Wouldn't that kind of get us in the castle and then wouldn't we not need the money anymore? Unless they run the tournament outside of the castle. True. Which is okay, probably well. the case. Well, if we have to go no, to the oh, tournament, shit, I've been talking. The war games are held in the war grounds southwest of here. The war games. Southwest. He describes this the... whole area basically. Oh, okay. You guys, I don't think he knows his geography. War games? Do you mean <laughs> like gladiator <laughs> fighting? Like a fighting tournament? Like army versus army. Oh, that's no fun. I'm counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's only seven of us. Yeah, it hardly constitutes as an army. Wait, how many people do we need for an army? Like a hundred? I mean, a, if I mean it's small about armies, this... it's small skirmish groups. It's like a small division. A division would be. You could probably get away with 20 people, but that's still a... Uh, well, technically a it's a battalion, no? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Or maybe it's a platoon. Yeah, it yeah it'd be platoon. more of a platoon. And then a battalion is what has several platoons. And then... Uh, <laughs> um, and then a division has several battalions. As much as I love discussing semantics, we should get going. <laughs> yeah, we could probably handle it. We just took on a two giant geese. What could possibly go wrong? Well, let's handle this uh, wall games. We'll, we'll, we'll try. We'll try to get your heart for you, Mister Boiler. I just want to feel something. For some reason, it just feels like I can never truly latch on to anything. <laughs> we will get you that heart. All right, the war games will start tomorrow at noon. Make sure to pre-register with your local officiant. <laughs> Who's the officiant? Offici Battery's not included. <laughs> Who is the officiant? They are they are housed at the entrance. All I guess right. we're gonna go meet this person. Mm -hmm. Another walk on the lovely beach. Alright, another walk. <laughs> and I would walk 500 miles, and I would walk 500 more. Just to be a part of the war games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so you guys are going there? You guys are going to the tower? Da, da, da. Yeah. <laughs> Can I help you? Jesus Christ. Hi, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, what are you here for the army tournament? Ow, I yell. The license and registration. Like, license what? And license what? And registration. Wait, wait, here too. License to the ventures to compete. Are you drunk? We were we <laughs> were told that we could just sign up. Are you done. drunk, son? <laughs> Respect your elders. Okay, I, the, we 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 forgot our license of registration at the at the end. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll be back. <laughs> okay. Um. What do you mean by license and registration? What's yeah, a license? get that here? Yeah, what's a license? Isn't, it's just isn't this where we're supposed to register? Does uh, anyone know what a license is? <laughs> I mean, I ha I write out licenses to for merchants, and I we give... let, 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 let's go somewhere else, and we can discuss this. That's true. 
Hmm. Where are we going? Shall we uh, go back to the tavern? Yeah, where can we get that? I thought here is where we registered. Shouldn't Apparently she be the one we need uh, We need our license and registrations. We should go we need get license it. License and registrations to register. Jeez. You have to register like... your weapons. Oh. All right, so you're back at the Chaos and Cupcakes Inn. Mm -hmm. Let me flip you back there. We're just going everywhere today. Marcus is going to walk up. Or, Marks is supposed to be Samuel. Yep. Um, Wait, did you change your name, or are you still Marks and you just changed it for this? I, I mean, technically, they're both my name. Oh, okay. okay. It's just, we were coming up with code names, so I just took my second name. Yep. So, Mark, <laughs> so, so what brings you back here? Are you going to actually order anything this time? Uh, How much does it cost? Because I don't seem to have much money on me at the moment. Uh, one gold for the... For, for as much as you can eat and drink from the buffet. Hmm. That's almost all of our money. <laughs> I, I, I just came to ask a question. Do you know where we can get our license and registration? Yes, you have to go down to licenses and wine. It's a combination store. This is... Very interesting gotcha. combination. License and wine. Alright, I guess let's go there then. Well, thank you, sir. Yes, it's run by kind of... I don't know. It's kind of a pain in the ass. Who's a pain in the ass? The owner. Oh, uh... This should be <sighs> so much fun to meet him then. Yeah, it, it, it'll be interesting to see if you find him and he's not on the floor, passed out. Well, luckily I have ways of making sure people aren't passed out, so let's see what happens. And watch out for his pet. Oh my god, he's sick that thing out and you go down fast. His pet? Yes. Slimy motherfucker. Oh dear. Don't know why the mayor lets him keep it in the house. The mayor? The Count Mayor. Wait. Count Mayor Lord <laughs> yep. Trevious? Yes. How many Count titles Lord is there? He gets a new one every <laughs> ten years. Oh dear. He don't, it, there's a ceremony, he eats half the village. I mean, it is what it is. He eats what? half the village? Yeah. What? Was that a, half the village? Oh, I should not have said anything. I'm sorry. Don't tell the Count, Duke Lord, Emperor. We're so being hunted Lord, now. Our lords, uh, our, our lips are completely sealed. Yeah, as long <laughs> as we can stay here and eat for free. That's... You know, no, no, certainly. Tell nobody. Swear it on your lives. Yeah, we swear. All right, we'll see you later, Markets, for our our food and, and board. <laughs> <laughs> see, just, and that's how you just, do it. Did you just blackmail that man? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Aren't you? You're the last much? person I was expecting to blackmail someone. <laughs> What? It's just a good opportunity. Oh, God. Remember, we don't have that much. All we have is 10 gold between the seven of us. So where's this place that we have to go? The uh, registration North and wine. License or and licenses and wine. wine. Oh, there it is. Da -da -da -da. There it is. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, so you guys, are you walking in? It is open. 
If yeah. the door is open, then yes. Yeah. But like, kind of walking in on guard. Okay. One second. I'm just doing a little bit. So talk about what you guys are talking as you guys are walking while I set this up. All right. So, okay. so best case scenario, he's passed out drunk. Mm -hmm. And we can get our licenses and whatever we need without having to speak to him and preferably for free. Worst case, and, yeah. we get into battle with his animal and burn his house down. Does anyone have... I am so confused on why Tremius is the freaking count here. Count to yeah, Lord I... Earl. Tremius. <clears throat> I kind of explained what, maybe how we got here. Tremius probably sucked us into this realm. <laughs> Fucking bastard, I'll burn him down. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, he probably sent breath. us here against our will, which is very, very much on point. Yeah, exactly. It's also going to make sense. Sorry, you guys, I just came back. What happened? Uh, oh, we yeah. Uh, you're headed to licenses and wine. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. We're at the DMV. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> this is going to be a total party kill. We can't beat the DMV. Okay. As we're walking in. Hello? There better be sloths in here. We see a oh long line going up. Oh no. To the registration Italian's office. Cold. Oh no. Italian, these people look kind of familiar, don't you think? Yeah, but they probably don't remember me. I don't know. Look these at people that statue right? up there. That's incredible. Oh no. It I... does not look like Lathandra to me. No, it looks like that guy. That bird guy. Oh, yeah. Oh. Let's find out how much this costs. It's probably going to cost us a penny. Wait, are we in the balcony according to this map? or? Uh, we're going to pretend that's all one contiguous piece. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to say, what's going on here? Okay. Yeah, that's just an arch. That's what we're going to pretend. Got it. So, yeah, it's a line. It hasn't moved. What are you guys doing? Wait in, in line. Someone want to wait in line for the rest of us, and the rest of us go sit down. <laughs> Marks is going to wait in line. <laughs> but he's also going to request a gold just to be on the safe side. You guys should ask these people how long they've been waiting. Hey, Trina, Excuse me, sir. Here. Uh, <laughs> it's not been too late. It's only been about three hours so far. Oh, my God. Three hours. Yes, and how a... about you in front, sir? Ah, uh, it's only been a few days. I'm almost there. A few I am days. very much concerned. We gotta get to the front of the line, you guys. Yeah. Uh, that or we just need to get our hands on a copy of the license and registration. Doesn't need to be ours. We just need a copy. Wait, why have you guys been waiting for so long? Well, there's only one person who can register us. Unfortunately, he's a bit of a grumpy sod. Hey, do you have to go back to the back of the line again? I'm already at the back of the line. I'll put you back behind all them too. <laughs> Shut your trap. Hey, yeah, can you move us to the front of the line, please? We're trying to get a license. No, so we got can this. Well, we're trying to compete in the event tomorrow. So are all of them. Late registration, not my problem. I, I I walk up to Adrian quietly. It's like, how long has uh the person in front of the line been there? Three oh, days. About three, three days or so. That's no, like I'm talking said. about Marco. Oh, it wasn't too bad. I mean, it's only been about thirty days and a few hours. Like, he, he got up there three days and a few hours ago. Oh, how long he's been up there? Oh, it's only been about three hours. Okay, that's that's better. 
<laughs> That's still not great. It just means we have to wait for him to finish so we can jump him. <laughs> oh. Ah, true. How about we just uh, help the person finish the line faster? That's a good idea. Hey, someone go ask Dane if they need help. Uh, do you want me to be the one to ask? Of course, yeah. Alvin. Everyone loves you. I, I, I can offer my expertise as, as well. I've uh, done this type of work before. I've got some excellent work in calligraphy and... Uh, uh, maybe forgery. You and uh. me both. You and me both. Mr. Uh, what is his name? My name's Dane. Mr. Dane, could I'm wearing you, out. Would you like some assistance? I don't think you're smart enough to help with this, but oh. <laughs> I do have a job. Yes. If you can take care of my my pet in the basement, I think. We can make a deal. You can be next. All right. How's everyone else? Air as in how? Ah, uh, oh, he I'm just sorry, needs please. a little bit of feeding. Okay. Just, I just can make making sure it's clear. Well, I yeah. mean, pulls out the the his uh, uh thing of honey. I've got honey. Yeah, and I could just make food. Do you have like a kilo pounds. of cocaine? I know oh. I can get one. <laughs> because it has, seems to be partial to it. Oh my god. Um, yeah, we know somebody. How, how does it feel about psychedelic mushrooms? Uh, has not tried <laughs> it before. Yeah, uh, do use it at your own risk. You do realize that that he has almost five kilos worth of cocaine that I gave him on his person, correct? Who? <laughs> Uh, Icaraf? Icaraf's gone. Oh, that is tr true. Mm. Yeah. Do we not have any cocaine? I don't carry drugs on me. What do you think? So, Meta, a month well, has been passed. True, that um, can I roll for, for Noxus? Yeah, sure. Even though I don't have the supplies, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Well, you could say that if you made it in the time that you could have given it to Alvin to hold on to to verify or its purity or some shit to be sold on the open market. So let me... Well, this is all a chance because this is literally a 50-50 dice roll for me. Can he make it? Uh, sorry, 50-50 plus one. Which is just a 50-50 because I had a minus one. Nope. No, you do not make it. So you'll have to convince yeah. Icarath to give up a kilo. Icarath's gone. I know. We're trying to figure out what would Icarath give. Is Icarath sleeping right now? Yeah. he's No, he's, he's, no, he's passed out he on drugs. Like, disappeared. No, Meta made it so he didn't disappear. He's just oh. passed out. Yeah. Let's just steal a kilo. Yeah, you stole a okay. kilo from Icarath. <laughs> Which, if he go. returns today, he'll find out. Yep. But for kilo now, drugs is missing. Okay, we so just you... convinced him that he 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 did all of that. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll just take a little bit more Good. of his other cocaine and just put it at his nose. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh no. Him. Make, it, make him think that he did it all. Someone have like powdered sugar? We could just convince him so, that that's cocaine. I, I come back. It's like got the cocaine. All right. Just well, don't so... ask how I got it. <laughs> uh, Dane, sir, where is the entrance to your basement? It's in the back. All right. Just Ooh, watch out for a strange fellow named Petrie down there. He's a little crazy. All right. Let's go. In the, in the back? Oh, like in the back of the building. Okay. 
Okay, let me... Now I have to find where I was again. Bottom left. As it opens up into a very disgusting, very well used, very not cleaned in a long time underground chamber. Gross. Oh, dear God. Did someone like clean this all up magically? I mean, it'd take me a while, but I can start working on it. The door up in the distance closed shut with chains wrapped around it. Oh, I don't like to look at that. So, a couple of Albert, long steel first... bars between the door handles. Can Edward search for traps? Sure. Um, What's I'm the role? Going... Investigation. Uh. Um, I'm going to say this. Now. Oh, wow, that's twenty. Um, in between each of those things are traps, trip wires. So, there's I just realized there's... where we were, and uh, I'm kind of excited. <laughs> Is anyone so... decent at disarming traps? Because have... we have a bunch of tripwires ahead. Jordan used to be good at disarming traps. What do we need? Thieves <laughs> cool to disable traps? You, you, you can use these or Tinker's tools for disarming traps. Someone has okay. Jordan's thieves tools, don't they? Uh, I mean, I have my own set of thieves tools. As does Alvin, oh. so. And I'm proficient in thieves' tools. Well, I guess so it's all up to you. I will. Sorry, I was working on something. Um, I will uh go to disarm the trap. I think we should all stand back just to be safe. Mm -hmm. You oh. managed to tie off the wire carefully to the stone, and you disarm it. Now you have so... two more. Nice. I'm going to say this now. So there's two more traps? Yep. Here a long okay. ways and here a long ways. Um, I have a theory what Do we're about to Do you clear that be. one? Oh, what do you think it is, Alvin? So, during all of you leaving the city... Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, the last one drops a giant statue... Um, on your head. Uh, and you take 12 damage setting off the trap. And one second, let me get the statue. I, uh... Oh, shit. Come back, come back. No, 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 no. Stop it. Fuck. During my, uh, time at the city, after all of you dis uh, departed, uh, when Kralin showed up, there was a large slime T-Rex that he came to call a Krakosaurus. A Krakosaurus. Noxus would have made mention of it as well. I uh, think we might be encountering that. So what does that mean? Do we just give it cocaine and we'll fine? Or... Do we get to kill it? It's his pet. Are you? Do you really want to kill it? Uh, we already killed the damn godlike muscular duck thing. Yeah, but that's not some guy's pet. That we know of. True. So I, uh. Yeah, you're... What I remember is it takes on this T-Rex form when it has crack. If it doesn't have crack, it's in uh, slime form. Oh, so can we just, like, give it crack and run? Or, like, toss it crack in? Crack food and run. <laughs> and uh, if it absorbs... Certain liquids, it gets bigger. Okay, cause... I'm back. Sorry. 
Craven told me it wasn't as big as it was when we encountered it in the city. It destroyed the entirety of one of the uh, House of Syrac Inn in Safe Falls when it fell off the insane asylum. So, uh, yes, I, I, I think I know what we're about to encounter. Just be prepared. Um, to, uh, escape quickly. And this is the point where the characters all are just kind of leaning into everything's the same, but a little different. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what are you guys doing? This is still one massive nightmare. <laughs> I'm going to walk up, ignoring the dragon statue that almost killed us. Yep. Well, killed them. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to investigate the statue. Um, It's a golden statue with little gem eyes. Oh, can we take it? If it's gold? Uh, it is roughly two tons. Oh, can we break <laughs> a piece of it off and take it? I mean, you could attempt to. <laughs> Who wants to try breaking this off? Cause I, guy could. I rock. Also, Cormo. Oh, oh, are you yeah. paying attention? What am I? Yeah, obviously. Okay. Because gold statue with gem eyes, glowing gem eyes. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Um. So yeah, I, I, I. There is the eyes, but I remember people getting absorbed into the statue, and I don't want to be absorbed into the statue. <laughs> uh, investigation, it just seems like gold and gemstone. Alright, investigation rolls. Um... Oh, shit! The eyes are magical, the rest is not. Uh, put them all. The, <laughs> eyes, the eyes are magical. Well, I mean, last time wasn't the statue magical, so. Everything is reversed. But if I absorb crystals and it absorbs something, it's gonna be a battle to see who has better absorbing. <laughs> yes, it's gonna see which one of you is gonna be better at absorbing the other, and that's not gonna be a fun time, I think. <laughs> but you do you, Cormal. At this point, I can't really stop you from trying to absorb gems. You'll just walk on the ceiling to it. And by technicality, if I was to get rid of the gems and remove the magical component, couldn't you turn the statue into... Um, money? Uh, well, what do we want to do with the statue? Do we just want to keep going past it? Oh. I'd rather not touch it at all. I mean, I'm down. And if we turn the statue into money, we can... Don't have to keep doing jobs, we can just bribe our way in. So what does the party do? I don't hear objections, I'm gonna touch the crystal. <laughs> I mean, it, it kind of always works out for you, so go for it. I mean, the I big mean, crystals that I touched were kind of painful, but that was the only thing. I think it's. I think this is your father's final word on this one. Um, I could identify it, but the problem is that takes thirty minutes, and I'm pretty sure. Be seeing Dane as he's uh, already grumpy would be angry if I was spending 30 minutes to identify what these crystals do. I mean, Dane's busy, though. 
He takes three to... hours to do to fill out one paper, so maybe uh, we do have some time. Would you want me to identify it? <laughs> I mean, you saw nothing. I don't want to split the party, but I we could have people eventually on the world while you deal with that. But frankly, I don't think we should. I can do a little bit of scouting. I can identify. If you move on ahead, I, I will be here figuring out what this statue does. And whether the uh, eyes are dangerous or not. If we absorb the crystals, then we can turn the statue into gold and have extra gold to be to use. Just uh, be ready to, uh, if I'm in the middle of identifying, you'll cause me to stop the spell if the thing starts charging at you. So if you uh, to give me a little bit more of headway of warning on that one. I mean, I mean, I have the have... cocaine, so if you run into the thing, hopefully that should help. All right. I will get to identifying this. All right. And I'm going to break into a terrible stealth. Yeah. And the door's not open yet. Does it have like, what kind of chains does it have on it? Uh, big thick chains. It would take roughly five minutes to completely detangle this mess. Okay, well, that's five minutes oh. that Alvin gets on. Uh, Realizing detect. that the door is tied up in chains because he wasn't paying attention. Uh, he's going to break stealth and uh, begin to unchain it. <laughs> yep. After five minutes has passed, you open up the next room. And, and then I'll... Break back into stuff. All right. Now, what are you guys doing? Uh, Let's go in there, you guys. Behind. You hear a thumping in the ground, and you can see the water shake. <laughs> well, we gotta find this pet, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or his friend, or whatever you said. It was his brother? I forgot what he said. <laughs> pet. Oh, okay. All right, so, so Alvin is staying behind. Alvin, do you want anyone to stay here with you for security or no? Uh, Como is going to stay here with me. All right. Okay. Wait, what are you staying back here for? I'm sorry. I'm identifying the dragon's eyes. Oh, okay. Sorry. Because if we can remove the magical component from the statue, then we can turn the rest of the gold into coin. And this is rose gold, right? Yes. Okay, so where are you guys going? You see a passage off to the left and a shimmering pink wall off to the right. In a sort of a hexagonal pattern. Someone wanna... Does Thalric have his wall back? Someone wanna sneak up there? Yeah, it's, it's been long enough that I have my wall back. It was only gone for like three months. I've had it back for a while. Yep. Okay. It's just there's been no real reason to use it yet. Yep. Yeah, I was just wondering if you had your wall back. Go yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Kalyan. Oh, I was going to be like, hey, you guys, how about we do... Why are we sneaking around? We're just going to go say hi to this thing and give it something. Oh, yeah, that's true. I mean, I want to locate it before we walk out and say hi, because if it becomes instantly hostile... Yeah, I don't want. I don't feel like fighting more things today that may end up just collapsing to the floor in tears. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, Samuel's gonna walk up here. Uh huh. So that's a glowing door. Uh, glowing wall with a hexagonal pink pattern. Okay. You know. Actually, I'm going to, when I get up out here, I'm going to investigate. 
All right. Looking for traps. Yep. Roll. Invest. No traps. I will continue on. Peek around the corner. You see a partially caved in room. I'm going to peek around this corner. You see another hallway. I uh, will investigate again for more traps. Um, no traps. Um, start peeking around these corners. You see an empty circular room to the left and a hallway to the right. Peek around these corners. You see a door and a chamber. I check the door. The door is open. I open the door. Uh, make a constitution save at triple disadvantage, quadruple disadvantage. Jeez. Okay, the pet is not in here. Got it. 420s. Yeah, eh, no, not one. I'll take it. You start puking your guts out as a absolutely vile scent, and you just see brown and green piles of sludge just completely filling this room as the wave of scent just blows over you. And Wes, make a constitution save normally. Oh, Sorry, wow, no, okay. at disadvantage for you. Con save? Yep. You start puking. Callion, Ooh. make it normally. I instantly closed the door after that. <laughs> it's like, yep, not in here. Oh, Kelly, <laughs> and you start puking. Thalrak, you also oh must God. make it. Wait, are you there? Or were you back there? I, I was moving up to move with the rest of the group. I was like right here. Okay, then you need to make it at normal. Okay. And then Albany and Cormall can make it at advantage. And this isn't, like, poison or anything. No, it's just really bad smell. Okay. <laughs> what am I rolling? Uh, Constitution and Advantage for Elvin and Cormal. Okay. And Elred, you just smell... It just smells really bad to you. I mean, Thalrak? No, Elred way back here. For Thalrak, uh, your result, uh, you do not puke, but it is atrocious. Cormal uh, starts puking. Um, and does Elvin roll? I'm rolling right now. Okay. Cormal starts puking and Alvin does not. Elred just thinks it smells real bad. So a lot of people are puking right now. How long do we puke for? Uh, After I close the door. About a minute, solid minute. So much throwing up in so little days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a mistake. I was kind of hoping to find someone in there. Uh... But no, that's the shit ground. <laughs> <laughs> so, I was debating about actually skipping it, but I figured someone we, could have been in there. So. There's a door right there. It? Is it chained up? It most certainly is not. I slowly open the door, peeking in. You see <laughs> the waterway go through to the left here. And you hear a weird gurgling that way. You see a door over here. And that's about what you see. I close the door because I'm pretty sure I think I'm close. And I'll walk back. I'll be like, I think I found it. And also, it's shitting ground. <laughs> I feel well, like did, did, I feel like throwing up breaks stealth, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would say that's fair. Well, it would have been a twelve, so. <laughs> so what are you guys doing? It's been probably another 
10 minutes at this point. Well, do we want to wait for Alvin to finish and then uh, we move on or? Well, what's this pink door up ahead you mentioned? Well, it's right here as I point. I will walk down there to look. It's a shimmering pink door with a hexagonal grid across it that just sh shimmers occasionally. I mean, I could try to dispel the door if you guys need. Or maybe we could just walk through it. I mean, a lot of us could probably dispel it if needed. Oh, you're I... welcome to try. I have no way to do it myself. Howard's going to shoot his crossbow at the door. See Ooh, if it smart. does anything. Okay, go ahead. Roll the hit. Uh... Roll damage. Uh, the crossbow bolt strikes it in a shower of sparks and then redirects and lodges itself into Thalarak's chest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. You Yep, bastard. just like that. <laughs> ah, damn it. And it burns. I'm sorry, Thalarak. How much damage did that do? Seven? Seven damage. Seven. And it's burning you on the inside. Oh god, it burns. Hey, at least it wasn't my axe. And my axe. <laughs> but first I didn't get to arrow to the knee, and now this. <laughs> Samuel's gonna walk up, and he's just gonna tap the door with uh, one of his fingers. Uh, your skin turns pink. Does he's it burn? A flamingo. Nope, it's just your skin is pink. Maybe we shouldn't go yeah. this way. This is a new color. <laughs> that looks sickly. Um... I am very much concerned. <laughs> and Thalric, like, tries to start trying to take the arrow out. Yeah, all right. It, you pull it out, and there's no blood, as it did burn the wound in. But the arrow isn't pink or anything like that? No. Thalric just breathes the arrow, and he falls. Oh, thank God, I'm not going to turn pink. All right. What are you guys doing now? Well, there is a way around from the looks of it, or at least another way. Um, we could also uh, cheat a little and skip the door. I have a spell that called Stone Shape that I can just rip a hole through five feet of stone, but these walls might be thicker than that, so. I wouldn't recommend it, um, just because we're on friendly-ish terms. Yeah, let's the go moment. destroy or... the guy's basement. You're just here to feed <laughs> I just start pet. remodeling. You're just you're here to feed a pet and you're just ripping out walls. It's fine. It looks better this way. Pretty that bad enough for stealing his statue, yeah. but he doesn't need to know that. Okay, fine. We should probably just wait for Alvin and then go back to that entrance you uh you told us does, about. Does Albert find a key? No. No key. He probably has the key on him. You do find some uh strange uh magazines depicting slimes though oh no oh no this guy's into freaky does, stuff does anyone know what this is it's like <laughs> gooey balls of slime <laughs> marks is or samuel's gonna look at it and then he's just gonna turn away it's like i've seen enough disgusting shit today <laughs> They didn't teach me about this at church. <laughs> I don't know what that table is or whatever that is there over there. I am completely done found it. I'm just glad I'm not turning pink. Yup. <laughs> Damn it. Freaking gave me a scare there when your whole skin turned pink. <laughs> mm, How's it coming funny. along, Alvin? Mm, uh, we're most of the way through at this point. Okay. Fun tiles just going to. <laughs> Ooh, I do. Samuel's just going to lean on the wall here. All right. Kellyan? What were you saying? I'm sorry. Nope, go ahead. He's just laying on the wall. You guys, I have a spell where I can see through a door to the other side. So, do you... I don't know if it'll work through a magical door, but I can try. Yeah, go ahead. 
Okay, I've never used this spell before, but I did buy the material components for it, which are expensive. It's called Clairvoyance. Also, keep in mind, consumption of items will all reset at the end of this. Okay. okay. Well, this doesn't consume it. I just have to own this thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so it, I create an invisible sensor, mm -hmm. uh, or either in a location familiar to me or an obvious location, such as behind the door. And I should be able to see on the other side or here. So I will choose seeing. You see your parents wrestling in their bedroom. Well, <laughs> what? In a haze of pink. <laughs> okay, I'll quickly unsee it. <laughs> Jeez. And I'll turn to the group and be like, uh, I don't, I don't know what I just saw. <laughs> I haven't seen my father for forever, so. I'm, I'm comfortable. <laughs> you guys are just staring at me. I'm not really telling you what I saw. <laughs> I just mentioned that I haven't seen my father in a long time. <laughs> Wait, Callahan, what did that have to do? Wait, what did you just see? What happened? Uh, I don't, I don't think we should go through that door. <laughs> uh, all right. I don't know. I'm very confused. <laughs> Only if we had like a door to throw at the door. <laughs> All right. Is there an... Go ahead. Is there another way we could go? Is this the only way? There is water going through a po uh, iron bars right here. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of sludgy water, though. At this stage, we should just wait for Alvin to finish his... Yeah, I'm yeah. always for waiting. Right. Or I could rip open the bars. <laughs> and we not destroy this <laughs> wait, person's wait, wait. basement. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are in the process of stealing his gold dragon statue. You so are. We're, not we're, we, we're stealing his shit. Right we're not here. destroying his house. I'm going to break this. I'm joking, of course, but I could just break this wall right here and we go through. <laughs> I, I could thunder punch it. <laughs> it's funny because this isn't even a dead end. We could just walk around. Yeah. <laughs> Like, yeah, it's a good spot just, this way. We don't want to go the way you told us is open. No <laughs> Make way. Make our own path. Okay, so I'm assuming we're just going to wait. For okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so the magic is... Um, you can tell it's not very powerful, but it is very, very old. Almost prehistoric. The gold is not magical in the littlest bit. The identified tells me exactly what the item does. Ma uh, the detect magic tells me what type of magic it is. The identified tells me the magic effect. It of grants the item. additional power to dinosaurs. Um, and dragons. Okay, so th this statue just makes dinosaurs and dragons stronger. The, uh, the crystals. That's all. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, eat them up, Carmel. <laughs> eat them up. Here we go. There you go. As the crystals are absorbed into uh, Cormal, the gold melts into a puddle on the ground. Uh, Alvin and Cormal need to make deck saves. And so does Samuel. What if I want to be a golden dragonborn? <laughs> <laughs> a, 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 a pink golden dragonborn? Okay, oh, so you guys are able to jump out of the way as it melts and hisses, and I don't know, Sam Samuel makes it. Wait, no, somebody hasn't made no, it. No, I need to roll Cormal. I need to roll Cormal. That was Alvin. I need to roll yep. Cormal. So, that's not supposed to be advantage, so that's 19. Okay, you jump out of the way as it melts down and cools and fuses to the floor and the tile. <laughs> I mean, we can still extract it. It's just going to take a little bit longer, that's all. Uh, I mean, portal. it's in between the cracks. It's a thin layer over the whole area at this point. I mean, you could do it, yes, but... You see Cormal walk up to Alvin and just go... Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> and he's kind of poking into Alvin's bag and pulls out a piece of raw meat and starts eating it. 
Um... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what are you guys doing now what's um <laughs> what <laughs> what are we doing now we're gonna go the other way <laughs> okay alvin cormel you guys are done um the statue yeah, is and... Weird, and uh cormel is acting like an animal now Wait, oh. did you act like an animal before? Yeah. Uh, has he gotten, I guess, feral? Feral? I, I don't, I'm not sure. But, uh, he is enjoying a piece of raw meat right now, and but he's not eating with his hands, he's just ripping it apart. Uh, what we'll happened? deal with that later. Come on, yeah. Cormel, this way. Oh, uh, we should what? probably make sure he doesn't touch the gate. Unless, unless Oliver is okay with that, and the results that will unfold. <laughs> I don't even know what gate you're talking about. That gate, even... as uh, I point with my uh, pink finger. What? Oh no, not your pink finger, your entire skin. Head to toe. As I as I point with uh my pink finger since I'm wearing oh, pretty much okay. clothing head to toe. Okay, making sure I was clear when I said it. <laughs> so go ahead. Yup. Yup. What? I'm gonna start heading down the hallway. Alright. Yeah, I'll follow Callion. Yeah, yes, Cornwall, follow me. I have more meat if you want it. Uh, Mark or Samuel's gonna try to get ahead and basically block this pathway. <laughs> what is that awful smell over here? <laughs> Do not open this door. Do not go in there. Oh, is that what Big no, before? no, no worries. Yes. <laughs> yeah, let's not open that again. Is this the door you were talking about, Samuel? This way. Yes. Do okay. not open it. I will Big not. Big no no. <laughs> All right. Was that the awful smell that I. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do not open this door. Otherwise, this will happen. As I point to the puke on the ground. <laughs> yeah, Cormo was throwing up next to me. Yeah, I was throwing up too. Well, that's what happened. That makes sense now. Okay, so Yo, do I need to rip this door down or? Thank you, Downhill Muffin. Yes, as he pushes the door yeah. open. <laughs> I could have made a hole in the wall. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> One inspire to Wes from Goji. Oh, nice. And because Downhill Muffin is here and said something, they win a free game. Yay! Hey. Congratulations! There you go. Redeem it on Steam. I have no idea what it is. It's a game from 1975. It is a oh, game. Let's find out. It is a game from... It's point 2018. Whoa. Oh, damn. Okay. Called Shiftlings. Yeah, fun. check your DMs in uh, Twitch. I just sent you a free game. You can redeem it in uh, Steam. All right, so you open the doors. Thank you for the piss, <laughs> Muffin. Um, and you see just a little tail of something pink slither along into that archway. That's probably the hat. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? Pink slithering thing we just saw. Alright, so can we drop the food in the cocaine and get out of here? I, I don't know. I've never had to feed it. 
Uh, does Elred see any traps? Um, Elred does not see any traps. I see a door over here. Should I open it? If you want. Oh, is that another pink door down there? It is. Well, this one Let's actually see. has a door. It's not just a wall. I mean this okay. thing down um, here. Yeah, that, there is a door there. A pink oh. door, though. See, Emil's going to try to open this door, holding his breath. It opens. Nothing. Just a room. Howard's going to shoot his crossbow at this one again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, let me here. dive behind something. I'm staying behind this wall. I think I'm in behind the corridor. <laughs> All right. Um, so you shoot the door again? Yeah. And tend to hit? Ten should hit a wall. So it strikes, it bounces off, and just flies over Kellyan's head. <laughs> so I assume Kellyan's armor class is over ten. Yes. Yes. Uh, Elvred, let's uh, stop shooting things at those walls. <laughs> yeah, that's clearly not working. I already got hit with one error of it. Well, <laughs> we want to make sure they're not going to explode on <laughs> us. Well, that is a good point. I do appreciate the safety. An explosion would hurt a lot more than a ricochet bolt. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get through those doors. I mean, if you're willing to turn pink, I guess... There is a keyhole a... there. And Samuel, oh. you look in there, and there is an absolutely filthy, decrepit fountain across over the, over the little river area. Right there. I mean, if you're not willing to turn pink, I guess it's fine. I, I walk up to the door. Yeah, you see a door I, handle with a keyhole. I try the door handle. You turn green. <laughs> <laughs> I am... Well, this is new levels of interesting. <laughs> as I show my But fingers. it is locked. It is locked when you try and open it. But it does try and turn. Okay, I'm blue going to trip. try to unlock it. it the you other turn way. blue and you don't unlock it. Auto fail. Yeah. I, it's wanna, just a... I, I, I just want to see what I would have got. Okay. Elrid, you, know, you think you see something in the fountain? How did you get into that room? I'm gonna search the fountain. Uh, roll investigation. Uh. What is this? See if... Uh, you see oh. something pink at the bottom of the literal shit literal. all right taking one for the team oh i'm God. gonna reach in and grab it uh, uh, get the rest of the digitation ready pink, but you come up with a pink key <laughs> <laughs> my arms full of shit oh yeah very much it's very the digitation what what's happening i don't know what's going on it's so uh, oh god oh. like <laughs> Elred, what the hell I found the key but also his skin's pink <laughs> okay Elred here i cast vegetation vegetation to clean his arm Thanks. everyone just got changing colors here i'm curious i i, I ask Elred for the key he gives it to him you turn blue <laughs> i'm already blue oh sorry you turn yellow <laughs> <laughs> oh jaundice I'm not a big fan of this one. I put the key on the ground and pick it up again. <coughs> you turn uh. chartreuse. What? Chartreuse. 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 I will be right that? back. Um, Sorry, it's it's a weird yellow greenish. Oh, that sounds awful. Eh, I do it one more time. <laughs> um, you turn. White with polka, with pink polka dots. Ooh, I like this one. <laughs> well, as I walk up to the door, you look sickly, I... so nobody should bother you. <laughs> I mean, you can only see my fingers. <laughs> you look like a like you're gonna be. You look like you're you're an attraction at the circus, to be honest. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> I open the door. Okay, the door does open with the key. 
and you see a hallway going down and a blue door. Huh. If you cross these barriers, I'm guessing that you change colors. Oh, you come around the corner and you hear a mighty roar. And everybody roll initiative. Oh, oh so that's nice. the pet. Wait, what was the other thing? I don't know. What was the other thing? Damn, it all rolled low, huh? And I'm going to have to add in Elred. Uh, 13.14. That's the exact same thing as you got before. <laughs> Consistency is key. There you go. You always know where you're going to wind up somewhere in the middle. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, Samuel. Is this like a door, a bar? What is this? blackness um over here uh once oh no that's just that's just stuff that wasn't cleared out okay i'm going to pull out the cocaine oh, so and this is a 20 cocaine. foot ga 25 foot gap even though it doesn't look like it i'm going to offer the uh giant slime cocaine um it does have the cocaine Animal handling. It is cocaine. It bites your hand. Roll con save. It bites your hand off. Oh, oh my god. And then Does it settles it down, and you can see it dissolve inside of it, and it goes to sleep. How much damage do I take? Uh, one quarter of your max HP. That's actually not a lot of HP. Uh, if only... Uh, and we're out of initiative. Uh, Yay! If only John Zob huh? was here, he'd give you an option. <laughs> <laughs> your hand is bleeding, however. Oh my god. He lost his hand. Oh, there's almost two hands in two sessions. It can be your non-dominant hand. Okay, so it'd be my character's left hand. Yeah, and it wouldn't. And it's not going to carry over into the main campaign. So, oh, okay. we're being a bit more liberal with things that can happen here. Oh, cool. I'm going to try to patch up my own uh, bleeding hand. You okay? Fuck that! I'm going to activate my mask, <laughs> take my rapier, and stab or not stab but put my arm against my rapier you know you have two clerics in the other room <laughs> and and a bot as well i'm going to activate my mask i'm going to pull out my rapier <laughs> and i'm going to burn my cut off hand okay yeah you do that but roll roll your attack just to just for the because okay yeah you pull it off Just to see. I want to deal sneak attack to myself. Okay. All right. So what are you guys Howard. doing? Does Howard find anything? Uh, no, it's just the a cracked dinosaur sleeping contentedly. I, I I walk out to the room. It's like, okay, it's calm down, guys. Uh, can we bring the food as he's raising his arm without the hand? What the hell happened oh to you? Oh my god, what happened to you? You gave it the cocaine, right? Yes. That was the food. Oh. It needs co cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, perfect. Huh? Get the fuck out of here. What? Uh, the Elred, as you're walking use, there, by through there, by the way, it's now grown <laughs> a lot. Oh. Does it look like it's about to wake up? No, it's still snoring. I right. would okay, I think it's time to go, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, this thing's getting pretty big. I think, uh... Close that door. Before. Close and lock that door and let's get out of here. Samuel, and leave the key, the key behind. Oh, okay. Oh, Alright, yeah. are you touching the key? No, uh, I'll, I'll do it. I'll I'll lock the door. I'll close it. Okay, you turn bright and, uh, neon green. 
<laughs> oh god. Ooh. And uh, I will uh Hand the someone key. else to make him <laughs> we'll change color. <laughs> <laughs> I will put the key on the floor right here. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, people. So how are you guys yeah. liking this episode so far? <laughs> 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 Hopefully it's fun. I have no idea. Here? You guys did it? Yeah, they did it. Yeah. Samuel just looks unconcerned about the fact he just lost a hand. Yeah, he's missed. Sam's missing a hand. Uh, you need help with that? <laughs> yeah, I've been through worse. Then losing your hand? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we did it. Yeah, so that you don't want to know. Okay, I'm then. Pretty sure regeneration is the only way to patch that sort of wound up. That's a difficult spell to cast. I don't know how to do it. Nor do I. Oh, by the way, is this uh, door open now? I, I'm assuming so. Yep, so you guys are all back here. Walk up here. We fed the, uh, the, 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 the pet. Dane takes one look at your hand and you're like, <laughs> Yes, would seem he got a little bit more than just the cocaine. Eh. Uh, it happens. <laughs> oh. Right. And, about your end of the bargain? And you guys spend the next three hours a person of your lives filling out forms and registrations and paperwork. So Samuel is uh, going to long rest during that period. 18 hours. <laughs> oh, can we long rest? Yeah, I mean, because it would be three hours per person, so it would work out that you'd be able to. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'll use long guidance rest. while that's happening to help me get through it. <laughs> after the first... Uh, well, Sandra, after... give me patience! Please. <laughs> After the first hour, you see uh, Corball finally goes, Huh? No, uh, after the first person, um, because it takes three hours, so after the first person plus uh, another hour, um, Samuel's going to take whoever's documents uh, did first and start replicating for other people. It won't work because they're for individual people. There, It's a magical document. Well, it, there's also a seal that he a wax seal. I don't know if you'd be able to replicate that and also change the text. Okay, well, I can create the paperwork, so all he has to do is do the wax seal and the. Uh... He still makes you take three hours a person, though. He's a spiteful little <laughs> bitch. Well, it's now time for the tournament since it took 18 hours. It's now tomorrow. Yup. I'm oh assuming we're long rested. Yeah, you yeah, guys got a long rest. During the... Ooh, I got my spells back. Cormo looks around and is like, I do not remember much of what happened. I just imagine Cormo stomping around this building like with his arms curled up. He <laughs> <laughs> was probably if, if crawling all over look the at ceiling. Marks, you'll, you'll notice a lack of hands. <laughs> no, Alvin would have put him in like a baby carrier and tied a little piece of meat in front of him. Bought <laughs> <laughs> a uh, bought a coloring book for him. <laughs> so see now, a person gave you a quest to register for the tournament. Who gave you a quest to get registered? Who gave you a quest to feed their pet? It's a nightmare. Owl on the island of Colin. It's like a real RPG. <laughs> <laughs> what, are we, what is this, the Mandalorian? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll only help you if you help me. So oh. you see, if you have your papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got yeah, the papers. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. She takes them. She reviews them. She signs. Here you go. We'll see how you fare in the war games. Uh, what question? What's that? Is this to the death? Naturally. Perfect. Great. I mean, if it's in the rules, then I won't complain. <laughs> well, 
Good thing we have clerics. Uh, so this is double scale. Or half or however it is. So if this is 22, it's actually 44. Got it. Yeah, okay. This is seven, so this is actually 14, 14 feet tall. Okay. And one second. How deep is the water? Um, it's like a koi pond. Eight Not feet deep. Enough. Eight feet deep. <laughs> okay, okay. Not deep enough. <laughs> deep. <laughs> No, I've suddenly become a waterbender, so I, I like the water. You guys can deploy on the tents and talk about strategy while you guys have a couple hours to prepare. Oh. Yeah, are you oh, already deployed? I'm fishing for Alvin. I'm going to find him in the shadows. I got him. <laughs> All right. Because I got to build the strategy this. here? Do we just yeah. attack in mass and in, in group formation? Marx is going to start doing his taxes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we probably want to do, uh, so we don't want to group up too much. Well, I think we have one clear advantage. Uh, Elvert somehow <laughs> made a clone of himself. So we, <laughs> <laughs> so we should use the double Elvert to our advantage. Should we, um, we're also I imagine if this is like a, but... oh yeah, we're missing that rack. If this is like an army effort, yeah, he's a, he's I think whoever could, who could attack uh people in groups that's probably our advantage if we could like you know <laughs> hit them all at once so i just posted my longest spell that i have but that <laughs> oh big pond of water i can just make a giant flood or i can make a giant tidal wave and just push everyone around nice that works or i can make a big whirlpool and just you guys throw people in there do it too I, just I, an I, idea I don't you know can probably can... spirit guardian to a bunch of people too. Oh shit! You can make a whirlpool. Does a mm -hmm. whirlpool hurt anything that goes in it? Uh, yes. That's the that's the last paragraph here. I wish they split the spell up into paragraphs. Maybe I can go in and do that. You can you can hit enter. Yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, that's a long spell. And it says when you're in the whirlpool, like you uh, first you have to swim out, which is very difficult, and then you take bludgeoning damage while you're stuck in it. But what I really like is that I can make the the water rise up and make a giant tidal wave that just pushes everyone. That's great. That's just one thing, though. Well, let's probably, let's make them come to us instead of us going to them, maybe. I probably shouldn't. Um, I was going to say, I don't really want to hurt Rex, so I was going to, like, summon him inside, but maybe not. Or Wes, maybe you can like sneak around and flank them somehow. That's true. We can make that happen. There's a lot of things that we could do. As we I gotta can, see who we're fighting too. I can summon Dexter and uh, Petunia to make it stronger for us. Wait, who's Dexter? Dexter's my eagle. Of course. I have Dexter. And Rex, and Abigail, and Keely, and Petunia. This is going to be fun. Keep going while I'm doing mm. things. Well, yeah, we're going to have to prepare for them having some sort of AOE, so we probably shouldn't group up too much, but That's not true. split up to the point where we can't assist each other. Well, yeah. if... Oh, sorry, I was just gonna say, if any of them are concentrating on something, maybe we could send that mosquito after them. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and distract them. A perfect situation for the mosquito, I guess. Fortunately, that, uh, Ikraf has been, uh, comatose recently. Hmm. Where's Dalrak? The man does drugs constantly, I'm pretty sure. Dalrak so, is a, not here right now. Oh. Like he's AFK? Yeah. Do we want another body? 
Nah, you should be fine. Whatever okay. happens, happens. It's all gonna work one way or another, so. Mm -hmm. I'll probably have to go in a little bit too, but I think I'm good for the moment. Yeah. But Wes could just stay in there and fight. I mean, he's a monk. He's easy to control. Just punch. Just punch. Mega punch. Is your punch at third level yet? Uh, let me see. Because level one is is D four, level two is D six, and level three is D eight. Uh, D six. Okay, so you're still level two punch. Mm-hmm. You get D eight <laughs> at level punch. nine, right? Yeah, he gets level yeah, three at, at, at level All nine. Right. So. so you'll yeah, have to imagine uh, horn music. <laughs> the battle! I'm, I'm picturing the intro. Begins! And everybody needs their own initiative, and there's going to be a lot of it. Wow. Um. There's Cormal, and then I get Alvin. Oof, Corn. We have to fight Rendavius. Um. Oh no. And then, uh. Oh no, we're um, gonna fight all the old members. Why is. Why is. Why is Razazuli's brother in there? Oh, that's what his name Giggles, is. Giggles. It's a rap. Yeah, Raz is, his name was Razazuli. Because I remember I wrote I wrote the song for him. There we go. I forgot the name, that's why. Razazuli oh, with that boom rot. Um looking for a soul. I gotta add in Elrid. Sorry, I am back. So what are we are we rolling initiative again? Yes, yeah. gotta get yep. yourself on. Elrid, what'd you roll? Fifteen point one four. Alright. Oh my god, I haven't seen Biggie Small since <laughs> Session four, Jesus Christ! Oh God, he's back. I it was session five. Oh, session five, yeah. Because we fought. It took us two sessions to beat the dungeon. Yeah, we fought Bart. We fought. Uh, we fought. Uh... I don't know if you've gone over this whole list yet. We fought Mini the Mama. Randavius. Uh... Oh, that's what that was. Sorry. Um. Wait, no, that's not 16. That's... Wait a second. Is the original album That wasn't in Birdie. Here? That was Meaty the Mama that you guys talked to. Yeah, Meaty the Mama was the one we <laughs> talked to. I always forget she that was, name. She was uh, session four. Oh my god, the freaking... The Guardian of the Forest is here. Oh, no. Well, we know how to fight the Guardian of the Forest. We're just going to walk up, touch him with Curse, and he can't do anything. Oh my god, was it really <laughs> in this fight? Was there really here? <laughs> we have Farah here. Yeah. <laughs> God, you know what I just imagined this is gonna evolve into? What? The anchor fighter scene in uh <laughs> Anchorman two. Hey, yeah, does, Anchorman, no, this is an anchorman. Oh, this anchorman this is the first one. Hey, yeah. hey, first... hey, Dragonheart. Does yes. that does that does that uh Nivla avatar look familiar at all? Yeah, it's the original Alvin. Yup. <laughs> Right out how my son is the original uh, Noxus, so. Yup. <laughs> oh, wow. And the battlefield is revealed. In a second here, we're going to go and get the whole map all at once. Cormel versus Jordan. <laughs> Wait, so is uh, Novla a bard by chance? <laughs> Novla Nev is a bard. Oh, there's three groups? Yeah. Randavius is like a referee. No, Randavius is just <laughs> his own team. That, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm so scared of him. Corvall's yeah. going to either attack the uh, J Gigs or Randavius. <laughs> you guys, maybe if we sneak out this door over here. <laughs> they won't notice. <laughs> yeah. That is definitely close. <laughs> 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 Damn, they got a lot of movement before us. Uh... See, aren't you guys glad you all came for this adventure? <laughs> uh, uh, we all just die here. <laughs> it's all double speed or double uh, distance. Double yeah, double distance. distance. So we have it sorted by people. 
And it's Cormal's turn. What's going on? Oh, the war God, games are starting. And you see, standing in the tree, over up here, yeah. yeah, in a plant throne, oh no. All right, I gotta go for a while, so just make oh, okay. punch and shit. Yep. <laughs> All right. Tree us up in a tree. Yep. Now let's see this putty studied. <laughs> and Carmel is going to start right off by summoning Petunia and Dexter to his side. All right. And we'll then step out. Why is there so many people? <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Petunia and Dexter will just fl will f will t fly uh, next to Cormel, then up in the air. And since both of them have the similar flight speed, they're both sitting about 30 feet in the air. All right. That's Cormel's turn. Cormel can fly? Oh, Dexter. Dexter, yeah, Dexter and can, Petunia. Can, Petunia can fly. All right. Passive perceptions, everybody. 17 19, on uh, 15. Cor on Cormal and 15 on Alvin. 13 okay. for Thalry. Well. Keep in mind, if we get line of sight. Yep. Oh no, Jordy stealthed. <laughs> we lose. <laughs> um Poof. Huh? Oh. What? And Her then Jones went stealth. Oh, Rip disappeared as well. Shit. Yep. It's uh, it's a places and things. And then let me look. Wes, make a wisdom saving throw. Wes is the one person who's oh, not here. Wes, just... Wes does not make a saving throw. Wes goes back here. We're fine. It's balanced for people. Um, I guess Cormal will make a wisdom saving throw. You're the most open. Everyone else is kind of in the tents. Is it a spell? It is a psionic Cause... thing. Oh, shit. Because I've been forgetting to do something with Cormal where he gets a, you gave him the advantage against magic. Oh yeah, no, this is a this is a mental thing. So I just had to ask. All right. Uh, you feel a crushing weight on your mind, um, and you take half of twelve, so six. Hello. So on a two d six, you got two sixes. But so you take six damage, you feel your mind being crushed, and you can Maybe. actually hear the armor screaming out as well. Oh, you... oh you're gonna die now. You over there, you're gonna die, just letting <laughs> you know. <laughs> and Randavius lifts his hand and you see Rezazuli lift in the air and then Please fly through the me. air and smash into the tower and fall sideways and takes fifteen damage as you see God there's so many layers and shit. 
Riff suddenly appear and fly off into the water, splashing headfirst. And that's that turn. <laughs> uh, Tanoctalon gets in front of Farah and Wizard Willy and holds action, and it's Samuel's turn. Okay. Samuel is going to collect the right tool on his thing. I mean, he's going to go here. He He's on the ground, right? Razazuli? Uh, he's in the water. How deep was the water? Eight feet. Eight feet. Is he sticking out of the water? Like an elbow. Is he considered prone? Yes. But... Okay. Probably you would negate an advantage from prone because he's underwater, so... I think it's a wash. Remember double movement on the map as well. Yeah. No, yeah. I know. Yeah, double everything is on the map, so he is 42-ish feet away from you. Oh, so everything's at half. Okay. Yeah, so we have half dis or distance. Yeah, so you like if you're 25 feet, you can only move 12.5. Yeah, basically. Oh. That's a good way of doing it. Mm. Okay. Um, I'm going to go to this tree cutting action stealth. Um, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Wow, that's a poor roll. Yeah. Um, and, uh, I'm going to hold my action. All right. Elred. Mm -hmm. It's the war games. Mm -hmm. War. War never changes. I feel like this is not the best. Let's go find a better list to look at this. Demon sounds like something that'd be good for battle. Yeah, this is good. So what is Elrid doing? Elrid is going to use his action to do double movement and move there. All right. Do you have anything else? Nope, I have it. All right, then we go to Rezazuli's turn. And Rezazuli is going to swim crawl out of here and just pop up. I just drowning and coughing and choking and and not happy. It's our X turn. Okay. Valrak is going to move up near Cormal. And he is going to cast once again the awesome spell of blessing. But he's going to cast it at level three. That's five targets. Yep. Oh, that was my idea. So, Pormal, Elrid, Samuel, Talion, and Alvin all have been blessed. All right. All right. Bless thine safe return. Let calf and front serve your highness. And that is my turn. <clears throat> Cormal, Thalrak, Petunia. No, Cormal and Thalrak make um, constitution saves. Oh, 
23. Okay. 19. So you guys cough and splutter as Wizard Willie tosses a vial that shatters right above you and douses you in acid. You, you guys manage to hold your breath and not inhale any of it, but it burns your skin as you guys take only five damage. Chat didn't work! And it's Elvin's turn. Oh dear, there's a lot going on up here. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see here. Jalian, what's your plan here? Uh, I was thinking of blessing, but... That's not gonna happen. The water idea is not that good, so I was thinking of you just buffing everyone up with something else, like Beacon of Hope. Okay. Then Alvin's gonna use his concentration to activate Spirit Guardians. Alright. Remember to half their thing. Yeah, I will. Yep. So my Spirit so I Guardians. I actually remember how this map there. is working right now. Uh, and, uh, Alvin will give Kalyan an inspiration to work with. Okay. Uh, also, Kalyan, by the way, something, a little note about my inspiration, because of the change to Bard, if you, you can add my inspiration to any damage you do with a spell, or any healing you do with a spell now. So just keep that in mind. All right. Because of this. Jeez, how big is that fireball? Fireball! This fireball is 20 foot radius, which means it'll be a 10 foot radius. A Zephyr, it has the power up. Ah, shit. Kind of like the the Megumin's hat. That's like a... That's a 20 foot radius without... That's a 15 foot circle, so it would be 30. Okay. And at what part is he casting it at? He is casting it right there. Okay. Right, we're in the center. I need to double check something. Yep. Okay, so that's... T um, my my two creatures are out of the range. Okay, because of the flying? Yeah, they're 30 feet in the air. Okay, each. so everybody else needs to make deck saves, I believe? Correct. Mm-hmm. Oh, it doesn't even need bless. Nope. Uh, well, there goes my first turn. Wasted. 12. And I need to roll Alvin. That's oh. fine. Oh, wait. Meta. No. What level spell? This is Fireball, correct? Yeah. Return to sender. Oh. I'm using the shield. <laughs> You gotta link whatever it is. It's the shield that you gave me, the silver polished shield. I don't remember polished... anything about it. You have to refresh. All right, it. I'll, I'll, give you the, I'll give you the. I'll give you the. Te that's what I'm reading off to you. It reflects one spell, fourth level or below, once a week. I'm using it. I'm not making that mistake again. Okay. So it returns to sender. Wasted by nat 20. <laughs> okay, so I gotta make the saves here. One, two, three. Yo, that's the... That's such a clutch move. It yeah. is. You basically just casted fireball on them. Uh-huh. You see the fireball <laughs> part around Randavius as he just goes... 
and the flames part to either side. Biggie Smalls and, and Vladimir take half of the damage, which I got to roll. Thirty, so fifteen for each of them, and thirty for Reverse Elvin. Who falls unconscious? Little does he know the worries that he'll come across in his adventures across the world as the fire breaks across his body and he falls to the ground. Hey, it's okay, Relin takes our place. <laughs> Instead, we're just... we The misery's ended quickly by a hellhound. <laughs> Armor class of Dexter? Dexter has an AC of 13. Uh, 19 damage to Dexter as he is impaled by a six-foot spear hurled by Farah across the distance. Um, I imagine that would probably cause Dexter... Well, let's find out if Dexter passes a shock check first. Yep. So that's going to be... Nope. Nope. Falls to the ground. Fall damage. Dead. Spear returns to Farrah's hand as it dematerializes. And she says, Thor Ragnarok, more like Bor Ragnarok. And it's. It doesn't even make any sense! <laughs> I want to kill her for that. I want to kill them for that one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And then we'll try and wake up, I suppose. Uh, does wake up. And what's the radius for Spirit Guardians? It's 15 feet, so 7.5. Cast Spirit Guardians. And bless. How can he cast two concentration spells at the same time? Oh, wait, time? no. Wait, are you on? Who blessed you guys all then? That's Thalrak. Oh, what has Elvin done? Elvin does Spirit Guardians. That's it. That's it. Then it says yep. all other Elvin does. Kalyan. Elvin doesn't even know bless. I don't Hello, know. sorry, I'm back. Okay, it's your turn. No problem. Um, hmm. Everyone's blessed, right? Yes. Except for Unfortunately, Thalric. you cannot double bless. Yeah. yeah. So I will cast, uh, first I'll have to walk up to the center of the group. Like around here. And then I will cast Beacon of Hope. So everyone, any creatures, so that includes, like, I guess Petunia. Um, <laughs> uh, all of you guys have advantage on wisdom saving throws and dead saving throws. And you regain maximum number of hit points possible from any healing. Um, it says 30 feet, so I think everyone's win 30 feet of me. Not Petunia. You could get everybody. No, I'm right here. Oh, you, oh it's 30 feet radius. Yeah, so it's 15 so yeah, each you're way, fine, so yes, you can hit everybody. Yeah, you're fine. Yeah, and once I hit them, I don't need to be in range anymore. Yeah. That's just for casting the spell. So yep. yeah, uh, I don't know if you guys want to put a symbol on, or we'll just yeah, we'll it. do it for that too. You guys are buffing up for the war games. Yeah, I noticed we have all the buffers here, but not. I'm trying to think. El of what oh, I'll do the El I just everybody I'll do... just stack buffs on Elred. He just needs to hit for like 82 damage or to round. Let's do the single wing along with the bless. Uh, 
Okay, so the single wing will, will be Beacon of Hope. So advantage on wisdom saves, that saves. And uh, when you heal, you just roll the max dice. You don't have to roll. And that's the end of my turn. All right, Cormal. So you want to play like that, huh? <laughs> you want you want to be the asshole? Cormal <laughs> <Horrible> language. <laughs> <laughs> this is a dream. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna tell your mother when we get back. It's because uh, I need to change this radius real quick. The coral throws down the the spirit, and so if you're anyone's missing HP, regain six HP now. Uh, but that's going to stay up at the start of each uh, turn. You guys will gain 1 HP. Oh, 6 HP. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That was good. <laughs> is that all Cormal is doing? No, Cormal is then immediately turning towards uh, Farah. And how far away is she? Yep, she's close enough. Ignore that. Uh, did you go unconscious because of the... Oh, yeah, no, you, you're you fine there. Um, where's my thing? So, I'm gonna shoot Farah. Okay. She pissed me off. So, that is, uh, 27 to hit. 28 to hit. Uh, you hit. And that's 7 points of piercing. 7 points of piercing as the arrow lodges in her thigh. You'll pay for that! Oh, yeah, will I? 20, you hit 24 to hit. Oh, you'll definitely pay for that, kiddo. Yep. You guys are real big targets. Easy for me to hit. Uh, and then, uh, oh no, I can't con command Petunia, so Petunia will just take the dodge action. Okay. And that's it. If I can't command her, she does put dodge action. That's how it works. Okay, Rip. Rip, old buddy. He's going to crawl out here and see Elred standing there. And this is is this he's, he's not gonna he's not gonna go for that how far can he get here with his dash action bullshit wait he's trying to get away oh yeah oh yeah no he he would swim out away from you i'm guessing because of that yeah he probably would have gone away much. this way and gets up here Edward's gonna yell entrance. after him. Howard! You would have come up here. Vladimir's not smart. Um. Rand Dave. Uh, Elred, make a. Strength save. You know, plus four to that. Or a D plus a D four. Twenty. Twenty. You are rocketed back in a straight line out. Uh, deck saved by Samuel. Sixteen. 16. Uh, you are able to dodge to the side as Elrid. Just... I mean, there's a tree between me and him. Is there? Oh, then you blast he's, yeah, into the tree. Yeah, he's hiding behind the tree. Oh, then you blast into the tree. And just slump to the ground and take... Nineen damage. Good grief. What was the save on that? 
Um, as Randavius is holding out his arm toward Jill. Well, so. he's not going to tell you what the save is. Yeah. <laughs> as you hear Randavius yell. And you see his left hand go out towards Petunia, who needs to make a save. Strength save. Okay. So, yep. That's not it. It's just going to be at normal. Yo, PGA, thanks for the four, four month sub. <laughs> Thank you, person, right. for the thing. Yes. Thank yes. you, PGA. Yep. <laughs> um, <clears throat> because I can I actually figure out how to mute me talking to you guys and only talk to them so I can not interrupt you guys. Uh, 20, yeah, you get blasted. Who about here? And take nine, seven, 16 damage. Petunia is. Where did Petunia go? Tumbling double? in the air, over here. Holy shit! <laughs> this battle's gonna be over by the time Petunia gets back. <laughs> I can just reactivate my bonus action to teleport her back to me. You see Tenochtitlan's headband glow, and you see water start to explode from its mouth, and it hits the ground, and it freezes, and... Real reflective ice barrier is erected. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. <laughs> You're a big old bitch. Alvin, <laughs> you gotta have a talk with your child, I swear. <laughs> Trust me, I will, but right now we're trying to win this competition. So, yes, uh, Samuel. Uh, for the time being, I'm going to remain hidden. Um,. Actually, I wouldn't be stealth towards them anymore, but I would be stealth towards them if I won't, if I move this way, right? Can they see through the ice? Not really, no. It's very shiny, reflective. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm going to hide behind this tent here. I'm gonna five foot step to get there. All right. And uh, I'll hold off my action just in case a uh, sneaky uh, assassin decides to sneak up. <laughs> and uh, that'll be my turn. It's all good, turn. A sneaky assassin fighter. Uh, just half my movement to stand up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Take a five foot step back. Yep. Don't forget, doesn't the Phoenix heal people one HP per turn? No, six. six, six because it's max now because of the six uh, HP per turn. Yeah, everyone gets six so HP. So make sure you guys are turn. healing up if you guys are on yep. your turns. Yeah. If you're missing HP, you get six HP each turn. Yep. And then. Can I running long jump? You... Cross? Um. Because that 30. would be like. Well, you'd have to sprint, so you get your 15. What's your base movement speed? 25, so I have 12.5 12. 12. left. 25. The... Yeah. Which I'm in it's range. Jump. I have a strength of 20, so I can jump 20 feet. Yeah, you can, you can do that. Okay, 
I'm gonna running long jump across. There. All right. Taking the uh, island, he's gotta take the center island. Hasn't he seen the Hunger Games? <laughs> Control the center. Um, Come on, team, move. <laughs> do I still get movement? Um, no, that if was I, all your. No, movement. if I, no, if I like forfeit my action to. No, you back. already had to forfeit your action to get that because you remember you lost half your movement, then you stepped back. Yeah. yeah. You already used the okay. dash action. Yeah. Yep. And that's that. I killed Creepy as a Oh my I god, Corona! <laughs> oh my god, the fact that he's thinking that is very scary. Oh, uh, Razazuli. Dalrak. Would you rather. Right. Do, do you guys like it more when I do things with creatures or when I just say, hey, it's your turn on creatures and then they disappear? Well, honestly, I. It's a little scary. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, Wes is back. Hey, Wes. Welcome back. Hey, guys. what I miss? We can add a you lot. in. A lot of nothing. No, we're... <laughs> um, Dalrak did reflect the whole fireball, yeah, which yeah, is you, cool. That you was cool. Dalrak basically oh, pulling a reverse Uno card. Wes, you get to roll initiative. Uh, I Wes, you have, you have Beacon of Hope. Oh, we on. pulled you out, and then... Adapted you want me to roll again or, yeah. or same initiative? Yeah, okay, just I'll roll again. again. Uh, so better from, where I'm, better from where I'm at, am I able to see Vladimir? Probably, yeah. Okay, I just want to make sure that I'm able to see him. Yeah. Okay, let me just double check the range. What does Beacon of Hope do again, by the way? Uh, max healing on any healing. Oh. And you have advantage on wisdom. And death saving throws. Yep. So just, yeah, roll your initiative right. and we'll chuck you in. Okay. Yeah, some of us are blessed too, but we wouldn't. Yeah, have... I, can't, I can't do that. Yeah, there's too I many. I have to recast so... it. Oh, thanks. That's fine. Uh, uh, initiative. And I still have an inspiration from is... the Twitch. Question, there, but... is Vladimir wearing <laughs> armor? Uh, no. Just robes. Just robes? Okay. And he's not holding anything metal? No. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna cast Sacred Flame on him then. Okay. Has to make a dexterity saving throw. Of? 14. It does not. Alright, so he is taking 2d8 of damage. So he's taking 7. 7 damage as it burns and it licks at his feet and he screams in pain. Is that do you have any Yeah, more? that's my that's my no that's my turn. That's okay. it, that's all I get. Oh by the way, Wes, uh mm -hmm. Jordy went stealth and we don't know where he is. <laughs> oh god, okay. <laughs> the enemies went stealth. I don't know where I thought somebody was missing. Wes Cormo yeah, and Samuel Oh god. Please make Constitution saving throws. God, I love being hit by coincidence. Ooh. 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 Uh, I'm sorry, Marks. It, it's just unfortunate. That's, oh my god. <laughs> Is it a spell? No. Oh, okay. As a, you see another vial lob over the wall and burst in between all three of you as it billows out and you each breathe it in you guys all shrink to half Oosh. your size <laughs> you made oh a mistake oh my god Cormo's voice you know can't what? get higher and take, that's an advantage and take mm -hmm. oh no, they 14 got damage um, but for all checks involving strength, um, or dexterity or those things, you will now be doing them at disadvantage. 
What? Dex and this is for the next three for the next three rounds. Just because we're small, we get a disadvantage on Dex. Yeah, yeah. because you can't cover as much ground. You're oh, I see. Little people, because you can have the half the movement speed. That makes sense. You're tinier. So it's three what's rounds. This, what's this wall going on here? It's a big oh, shiny I mean, wall. No longer stealth. And it's Alvin's turn. I promise I'm not mad at gaming, Matt. <laughs> yeah. That's just that's just what they've been doing this whole time, is just lobbing it. That's their strategy to lob over the wall. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I figured. I mean, I figured <laughs> I was missing stuff. <laughs> um We could just go around it. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Well, probably should start lesser restoration, people. I could do that too. Yep. I Don't forget to well. heal six points every mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Oh, for I'm the healing spirit. Hurt, so. Um. Yeah. So I'll start with giving a lesser restoration to uh, Samuel. All right. So I'll expend a, a slot. Nice. It, he goes back to normal size. Yay. And uh, Bardic Inspiration. I'll go to Thalrak. Um, would you mind teaching all those people over there a lesson? I'm quite irritated by the spell Fireball. I don't like anyone who can cast it. And I give Thalrak an inspiration. Wow, Yay. Alvin hates our party members. <laughs> <laughs> I got inspiration. That's 1d8, right? 1d8 plus and 1. as Alvin saying that, Alvin, Callian, Wes, Cormall, Samuel, why is there two Wes's? Uh, well, there's two Wes's. There's little Wes, that's all I see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> little Wes. But already, oh, it's somehow it you, somehow you got on the GM layer. Oh you yeah, probably you probably put him on the GM layer. I don't. Yeah. Somehow it's actually okay. Okay, let me drag this thing out again. God damn it! Oh my god, that tool is my least favorite thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because even when our own team uses it, we get hurt. Mm -hmm. That's a 17 album. So everybody inside of that. Oof. As Alvin's saying, I hate fireballs. Wow, I had a 22. <laughs> and I can't return to Sender again. Nope. Damn it. I hate oh. being little. <laughs> <laughs> I, that was kind of <laughs> oh, <go up. laughs> The fireball oh. gets killed. I got him. <laughs> Reverse Uno card. I already got a 16. Got a 9. So a anybody be uh, below a 16 is... What if you're on 16? Then you take half. Okay. Well, I you take, below. Yeah. If I you take need it, half yeah. automatically. So 10... 23 23 damage and it is uh 11, 11 if you're having it if you made your save and it's double that if you well i have it because of my abilities wait callian it's it's isn't it it's a deck save no, that was to keep concentration on Beacon of Hope. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I gotta roll my own concentration, too. So Alvin take your damages as the fireball blows this up. This spell is trash. <laughs> hey. 11 or 22? Uh, 22 if you failed? Yeah, okay. 20, 23, yeah 22 23 if you failed, 23 11 if you, failed. If you made it. 23 if you also, failed, don't forget you can add the d4 it. if you didn't add it to your roll. Yeah, I rolled a 1. Elred, Elred, did you add a d4 to yours? Yeah, I got. I okay, you did. Me. Okay, so you got. Thank God for evasion. Saving me. Yeah. Saves. Oh. Okay, no more beacon of hope, everyone. Oh, it's gone. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Every single time I cast it, I lose it the first oh, time God. I cast it. 
Damn it, I, I needed that. Uh... That spell is cursed. I'm so Fine. sorry. I, I, I never using feel that spell. bad. You, you see Cormal when he gets hit by the fire. He's like, what happened? Hmm. The worst part is I'm just playing some of these people like Vladimir like they would have played them because it was a player character. Mm. Yeah, he would just always cast fireballs, right? <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. If, yeah, you saw some of them. Against cells. his own party. Yeah, I yeah watched you them. saw it. You know, know what he's doing. Ridiculous. I was like, what the hell is this guy doing? So to give you guys, uh, Carmel's actually immune to fire damage when Petunia's out now. Oh, oh so, nice. So Wait, she doesn't, it doesn't matter if she's like off in the fucking... No, as long as Petunia exists <laughs> in this playing with me, I my resistance goes up to immunity. So I don't I don't take any fire damage. Yeah, and I and I just take automatically half damage, and if I save, I take quarter damage. Wait, so we still get the healing, right? The six. Is that what the green thing is? Yeah, that's, yes. the, that's why. Now you have, roll well, you no time. longer get six. Yeah, I have to oh. roll. Oh, okay. Could be one. Elred. Yeah. So roll for save. Elred's health. I can. <laughs> why? Four. So Farah rears back <laughs> and throws her spear at Randavius, who waves his palm, and the spear turns at a 90-degree angle and lodges itself into Elrid's side before disappearing and returning in her hand. Okay. Dealing six damage. At least it didn't send me flying. <laughs> Um. Hey, little dwarf, little dwarf, little dwarf. Hey, little dwarf. <laughs> Nil Nivla, and make a wisdom saving throw. Who? Uh, Elred. Ah. Uh. Vicious mockery. Vicious mockery, you. Yes. Yeah, so you take one damage. <laughs> and your next attack is made at oh, disadvantage. Oh, and your next attack is made at disadvantage. What time of day are we? Uh, middle of the day. Noon. And it's your next attack next round. So if you don't to get to an uh, ability to attack, you don't take the disadvantage. Yep. Oh, my luck, I'm going to get right up next to him and Randavius is going to send me back to spawn. <laughs> Return to sender. Unfortunately, there's no way for me to stealthily get across without line of sight. <laughs> and even then, every time I try, they just freaking throw something at someone else and I get hit. <laughs> yeah, a lot of unluckiness in the tactics here today. I um, still don't know where Jordy is, too. <laughs> Did he just run away? <laughs> I'm waiting for him to pop up so I can hit him with something. He's pickpocketing people right now. <laughs> he just stole my wallet. <laughs> Joke's on that's him. Why I our, gold. That's why our golds are missing. It's because Jordy was here. <laughs> can you unshrink me, please? That'd be nice. Oh, I could do that. <laughs> I could unshrink you, but... I have a better oh. idea. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast. This spell is 120 foot range, which is pretty long. <laughs> um, so no more spells from this area because I'm gonna cast silence. <laughs> so, in this in the area where this party is down here in the bottom left. Uh huh. Uh, there's a cone of silence, and spells mm -hmm. such as fireball require verbal components so they cannot <laughs> cast the spell yes, that's a solid choice i could have done silence yeah you could have done silence too yeah i could do it oh yeah i forgot you have said too uh, <laughs> sorry sorry about that i was just <laughs> upset because they keep hitting me <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, it's okay, out for so blood. <laughs> the the circle for it is 20 foot radius mm -hmm. uh i'll put it around this house they have so okay. i hit all these people in the bottom Yep. I don't know how to draw the circle, or if you want to do that, but... You can drop put fireball, a fireball in, and then... Yeah, we'll do that. Fireball. <laughs> yeah, that's probably about right. Yeah. Okay, and then on that note, I uh, that's my action. Yeah, that's about right. And as my bonus action, I'm going to move away from the groups, so I get to stop getting hit with stuff. 
Yeah, it's about time we start spreading out at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have pretty good range with some of my spells, so I don't have to be that close. So I'm going to go down here, and uh, that'll be the end of my turn. All right. Cool. Cool. So here's the only downside we're going to be facing with the uh, fact of spreading out. That makes us more vulnerable to Jordy. Yeah, I don't know where Jordy is, but <laughs> <laughs> when he um, pops out, I'm I'm a uh, I'm a kill him. <laughs> so wait, uh, by the way, hold on. It's not before... Jordy. It's tickle me giggles. Yeah. Uh, before we actually <laughs> move forward, I need to give this to. Uh, that's four healing to you, Callian. By the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ooh, everybody, dang. don't forget when it's your turn, you're supposed to be taking your six HP. No, no, we're, no I have to roll, now. to roll oh, now. Oh, it has to roll now. Mm -hmm. We're no longer maxed, so I have to roll every single time. Because meta, you had to cast one too many fireballs. <laughs> mm -hmm. What can I say? Shit happens. <laughs> to, to, to everyone out there, it's just like a, 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 a lizard is running around over here now. <laughs> yeah, with Cormo being so small. <laughs> Cormal, which means so that means by the way that means Cormal only weighs four pounds right now. <laughs> oh my god! He could be Actually, eaten by weigh, a hawk. I weigh three pounds, and I Cormal jumps out into the water and swims swims up to this lily pad, stands on it, <laughs> and gross. he's going to he's going to shoot at Red Davius <laughs> with That's his little teeny bow. Wait, no, he's got a big bow. So this tiny conflict. guy like pulling back this giant bow. Take this! <laughs> you hit. 11 piercing. As you see him double over and start bleeding. Oh. Oh. And he pulls his hands away and looks and there's blood on them. And then he looks at you. And he just stares. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> he stares. Fires another arrow. It misses off to the side. And as my bonus action, um, within 30 feet of me, so one second, I need to put on an aura for Cormal in his tiny ass form. Um, so I'm going, you see Petunia pop up right in front of me, and she flies straight towards him. <laughs> And attacks him. So Petunia, make goes a, for a bite. wisdom saving throw, Petunia. Okay. Fifteen. Um, make roll a d four. Okay. Lucky. Um, unarmed damage for Petunia? Unarmed damage? Yeah. How much unarmed damage does she do? Yeah. Uh, four? Okay, so Randavius holds his hands out as Petunia comes in and she feels her mind burn and then she cannot see anything and everything goes black. And she just decides to continue, and she gets, she's disoriented, but she picks a direction, your two, and it's right into Randavius and bl pummels into him as they both topple to the ground. And okay. takes four damage. Um, yeah, that's how much damage we do if she's not biting. Yep, yep, nope, she is just slamming into him at random. Oh, and then also that means I forgot to do this for her. Because as she shows up, she gets my healing. Yep. All right, that's my turn. Cormo, make a deck save. At disadvantage. I, uh, yep. Uh, 17. Cormo, you're dragged under the water. Oh, oh god. No. I guess that's where Jordy is. 17, damn. Wait, Jordy gets his water? Since when could he swim? <laughs> and you take one drowning damage. Little does he know, I don't suffer any penalties for underwater combat. <laughs> 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 I 
I legitimately don't because I have a swim natural swim speed. I suffer no underwater penalty. Okay, oh my God. so you don't really know where you are because it's murky. I am moving where people are going to be, but when you if you break free, then you'll find out where you are. You just moved him to the GM layer, right? You didn't delete him? Yeah, yeah, he's just on the GM layer. Okay. Just making sure, because if you deleted him, you would have deleted his initiative. Nope. GM layered him. Can I use banishment and send people to the GM layer? <laughs> <laughs> Get sent to the GM layer, scrub. To the GM layer, buddy. By the way, Rip cannot hear anything while he's in that so zone, too. Okay. He can just walk out of it, but yeah. Or disappear. <laughs> <laughs> that works, too. He went to the GM layer. Wes, it's your turn. <laughs> I, too. I told you I've been working on making combat more dynamic and... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, well, um... So, I, you said I'm smaller, so my movement is half, right? Yeah. Compared to the screen. Well, half, uh, half, so one quarter, because the screen is already yeah. having it. Yeah, so I can only move like 11 feet right now. If you're a 40, then you could move 10. He's 45. If 45. you're 45, then you could move well, 11. 22 and a half. 11. Yeah. 11, yeah. You could dash. Oh. Dash to 22, of Oh, course. that's true. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything, so... Oh, I can do... Okay, so... A bonus action. Um, He's uh, little less just running. Step of the wind. So I'll move to 22 feet. There's shadow under this, though. He needs well, to be a shadow himself. Yeah, oh. I need to be in shadow, too. Oh, yeah, then that's not going to... Well, I'm, I mean, I guess you could try and get back to the tent. I don't know. Why am I telling you things? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just want you guys not to die. There's probably enough shadow for small west to uh, get in the shadow. I mean, he can probably get into Alvin's shadow. That's true. Since he's small enough. That's true. Also... I just realized because someone asked how could Jordy swim. This isn't Jordy. This is tickle me giggles. Tickle me giggles. Yeah, this is reverse Jordy. The one who's not part of party one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get into Alvin's shadow, and then shadow step myself to this other shadow. Oh wait a second, hold on. Gotta measure that first. I might not be able to do that. If this is reverse Alvin, then Alvin's then this Alvin. Uh... Okay, I could. Uh, it's literally reverse Alvin. All right, so here, Nibla. Bamf, yeah. Yeah, here. <laughs> uh, that was. I'm oh no, the shadow's here. Oxus you gotta be in there. there. Oh, okay. Because it's noon, so it's like straight above. This is just a. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, so that was. It's high noon. So that was five feet no. to Alvin. <laughs> so I have. Somewhere in the world. I have six feet of movement left. Six feet. Okay. I'm just trying to see what oh. what I could even do as a mini West. Mini West gets um, okay. three HP by the way. Oh good. Okay, um three HP. Okay, so with my remaining six feet of movement, I'll go <laughs> right to the edge here. Wait, an opportunity has been given to the dwarves. <laughs> we can toss the wee one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Wes is what? So he he, he was halved in height. So he went from 5'10 to... That would what, make like you... A, that would make you... 2'11. 2'11? <laughs> oh my god. So Wes is like, oh, so this is what my family feels like. Um, and then I will s take a sling attack at Randavius from here. All right. Oh, that's not supposed to be a disadvantage. It should have been at advantage, shouldn't it have been? Because he's prone. Oh yeah. Is so, that true, Alvin? No, if he's prone, he's, he's prone. He's at disadvantage. Oh, yeah. disadvantage oh, so. range, but advantage melee. Advantage, oh, this... Yeah, melee gets advantage against prone. So targets. yeah, no, it was a disadvantage. Oh. Not that it mattered, yeah. and you miss. Okay, then I'll do it again. 15. And you also miss. Ah, oh, damn it. As you see, I hate off to the side. Someone make me my size again. Uh, that's all. That's, that's it. 
two more rounds until you're big again. Yeah, it's a lot. I'm, I have a lot of or like, Dalrak or Kalyan can just lesser restoration. Mm -hmm. That'd be very helpful. Yep. Elred, make a wisdom saving throw. Stop it! <laughs> They really hate Elred for some reason. Uh, line of sight oh. is what really hates Elred. That's almost a twenty. So blessed, Elred. Thirteen. Uh, it could help. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, knowing my luck. Well, uh, Biggie Smalls has access to something that he doesn't use the voice com uh, department. Yes, he does. It's psionic. Psionic is me is brain. Yep. Yep. He's a he's a mind. Twenty-seven player, so. damage, Elred. As you feel your mind crush and you are forced down to one knee and that's not half of your it's half max. Of, it's half of max. It's not half of max. Though. So you're fine, but you're, you like black out for a second. Yeah. My shock checks like 43. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Um, uh. Petunia make a constitution save at, Disadvantage. Okay. Sixteen. Okay, Petunia. As Randavius puts both of his hands together and pushes on Petunia who goes flying all the way over there and takes 27, no, yep, 27 damage. Okay, and then, that's a standard cost. Before Randavius stands up and runs over this way. And Petunia is still conscious. Randavius is not prone, but his thing is broken. So he's just going <laughs> to pretend he's not prone. There we go. And it's Tanoctaloctalon's turn. <laughs> and... You see the barrier grow. Ugh. Samuel. Anyone ever tell Sorry, you? I'm just fixing one small thing. Just give me one quick moment. Yep. Anyone ever tell you solid structures crumble under the sound of the thunder? <laughs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cast... Um, we'll say here, so I believe that should be in range. Uh, how much healing do I get? Oh, right. Okay. I'm going to cast level two fog cloud. Okay. So... Yeah, basically, uh, the area is heavily obscured. All right, and you have that dialed down to 10 because of the difference? No, he's uh, double twoing it, so it's at 20. Okay, so 40. Yeah, so it's yeah, 40. 40 feet. Okay, cool. So Samuel is going to bonus action, cunning action, dash for... Right here. All right. It is heavily obscured for you too, as well, right? I think. Looks it doesn't say uh, it's, anybody's immune to it. Yeah. The yeah. only the only one is mm -hmm. like if you took the 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 wall of mist. Okay. When when you do that and you tell people it's an illusion, they can see through it immediately. That's the only way you that something like that would occur. Okay.
What? What? There we go. Well, it's not completely dark, is it? It's just it's like heavily obscured. Hard to see. I mean, you would know the general landmarks, but I don't have a way for mm -hmm. half transparency. Samuel? Ah, uh, that's my turn. Okay, Elrid. Elrid's gonna start with that. Oh, and... Uh... Oh yeah, you get three healing. Oh, that was a terrible roll. And then add your fighter level. Yeah. So you get 12 HP in total. Because you get two from... You get the nine from your second wind and three from healing spirit. And turn that off. Okay. Um, Can I walk through the fog? Yeah. Because I can't see where... Yeah, you can go through, That's like, what? here. I was going to... Use his action to move all the way by footstep. Alright. Mm. That's that. And... Wow, you guys got lucky, everyone, except for Alvin, who needs to make that dexterity yeah. saving throw. Sorry. Oh, God. why is there just darkness? So much. It's foggy. Nice. Hello, Arthur's final friend. 16. Alvin, you get clawed and bumped as the ground erupts beneath you. As Razazuli comes to the surface and slams you to the ground in a choke oh slam. Oh, so this is what you would have done if we fought. So you are prone and you take Oh wait. Yeah. Never mind, I'm good. 15 damage. Right. And are you are knocked like the wind's knocked out of you. And it's Thalrex's turn. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, seeing Alvin being in a world of not so fun time, <laughs> gonna come over here. And I'm sorry to all who are blessed, but I think this is a time that blessing needs to be removed. <laughs> We're going spirit guardians. It's casting at level three. And the blessing has fallen. And now Razazuli needs to make good a saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Okay. Of 14. He does not make it. Alright, he's taking 3d8 radiant damage. And his movement speed is half. Taking 12 whole damage. 12 damage as he's beaten upside the head with your stiff hammer. No, not with my hammer. The spirit guardians are bashing them. Oh, yeah, I thought the spirit guardians would look like hammers. No, they're... What, what do they look like? Warpin angels. Wouldn't that be a hammer with wings? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Racist. What's going on? Meta just said that dwarves can't be angels. God damn. Wow. No. So rude. 
Uh. <laughs> Exposed. <laughs> On the anniversary, too. God damn. Uh. 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 All right. Beating him with dwarven angels. Uh, <laughs> Do you have any other actions? Nope, that's it. Just movement. I moved all my movement and then bashing Razazuli with the Guardian Angels. Thalrak, Alvin, and Razazuli make constitution saving throws. Constitution saving throws. Thalrak and Alvin shrink down to half size and take four damage. God damn it! Oh, wait. Another uh, I need the healing, by the way, Alvin. You didn't give me my healing. There's another vial bursts in between you. Wizard Willy really has been the MVP of the match so far. Okay, cool. So Man, that basically right. just negates almost all that damage. Yep. Alvin's turn. You uh, mind you are half, half size. Yep. Alvin will stand up and he looks at Razazuli. He says, Your mistake was coming here to me. I'll step forward to him. And he will now need to make a wisdom saving throw. All right. As I bestow a curse upon him. Oh and no, he makes to ensure and to ensure it is it a natural twenty? It is not. Then I am going to activate cutting words, and now he loses a six on his saving throw. Okay, so as I am able to cut four, his three six. Okay, one second. So twenty. What do you lose as a six? It's a 17. Then he makes it. Yep. Damn it. He matched Ready it. Ready can by yourself. 19 plus huh? 3 minus 5. 19 plus 3? Yeah. Minus 5? Yeah, the roll plus the modifier minus your 5. Minus 6. six. It's a minus six, man. Oh. I remember it's plus it. one. Oh, then he misses yeah, it. Yeah, so he, then he gains the, as we all know what I choose. He now needs to make a wisdom saving throw at the start of each of his turns. Otherwise, he does nothing. You'll need to remind me of that. Uh, I don't I don't need to inspire myself. Cutting words is a, is a, a, is a part of my ability. It just means I don't have ah. a reaction next uh, yeah. this next turn. So... I sacrifice a reaction to activate cutting merge, which means my next reaction is gone. Gotcha. Yeah, that's not a self-inspire. That is a part as another thing that I can use as an ability. No, I was saying too bad he can't self-inspire, but I didn't realize. As in, like, add to your... I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can't add to spell save DC. Yeah. I can add to spell save damage, but I can't add to spell save DC. By the way, uh, meta just for description wise, heavily obscured. Anyone who's heavily obscured is treated as blind. Yeah, so basically that's what this is. Yep. So, I'm just letting you know. Oh no, thank you. That's a good definition. It means I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing here. I mean, in a clunky, yeah. chudgy, kludgy fashion, but. Yeah, it's it just it means any attack against a target is at advantage. Any attack that the target tries to make is at disadvantage. And any ability checks that require sight automatically fail. In this instance, I think I would rule that attacks against people in the fog would also be at disadvantage. But that's not raw. That's just, I don't think, I think it's stupid for that not to be that way for this. So that's the way it is. Well, I mean, it kind of balances out in the end, though, if you think about it, because... Yeah. Well, if you're standing outside the fog and trying to shoot into it, how do you know what you're exactly. shooting at? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're shooting from the outside, you'd be at disadvantage, but the person on the inside, if you know where they are, would you would have advantage again, so it would neutral out. Either way, uh, Farah does not have 
anything you can see her doing. You don't know what's going on. Um, Sorry, just moving things. And <laughs> Callion. So I, I, I've lost sight of half the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I should heal too. So just. Sorry to bother you. Uh... Um. Gormal. Yeah, Cornwall, sorry. Um, I oh, guess I'll run back yes. to my friends over here. <laughs> Your tiny friends. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's small now. Four I healing. can make four one healing. of them big. You get four healing, Kellyan. Okay. No, I was just thinking, like, the people who came on this island... We are like none of the damage dealers. <laughs> That's true. That's true. true this yeah. fight is going on forever because we can survive <laughs> forever, but we can't do any damage. Should I just attack this guy or make you guys big? Attack the guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot at this dude. What's his name? Uh, Resolutely. Resolutely. Yeah, I'm hitting him with a guiding bolt. Well, I mean, there's Elred. <laughs> what happened with Elred? He's a damage dealer. Yeah, but oh yeah, slow. But the problem is that our damage deals are all melee, and they're they yeah. haven't been able to get into the fight at all. Yep. Yeah, and then you yeah. double this map distance. Yeah, we're yeah, just fighting so from big. a mile away. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm sh shooting Zuli over here. Yep. I think that hits. You don't have bless anymore, keep that in mind. Oh, okay. You I'm hit sorry. either way, though. But you do hit. 15 radiant. As Next attack you... on him has advantage. No, it doesn't. Hey! Because you blasted his head off. After I shoot that guy in bold and blast him away, I'll look up at Tremius and be like, hey, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> and yes. I'll run back to my friends over here, I guess. Or should I stay together with you guys? I don't know. I'm going to get shrunk next. Don't, don't, true, yeah. don't stick around here. You're gonna get I'm gonna move slightly closer to the fog. <laughs> we, we need to like we need to like get out of where Wizard Willy knew we were because that's he's literally going off of memory where we were. Yeah, I don't think he can hit me all the way over here, no. but uh, I'll stay over here. My turn is done. Because Wizard Willy's just been throwing at our spawn constantly because yeah. they can't see through the ice, neither can we see through it. No. So, and Cormo will make a strength saving throw. Okay. Where is Cornwall? Underwater. <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Cornwall's in GM layer. Cornwall, <laughs> take an additional one drowning damage as you are still underwater, unable to break free from whatever it is that has you in the murky water. Well, I know what Cornwall wants to do. What is Cornwall going to do? Uh, so first I need to do that. Cornwall heals six. Okay. Um, so as my bonus action, Petunia's D is sent away. As my action, all the way across the map. She yeah she's no she's like sent out of this plane of existence. Yeah I know no I meant currently she is all the way over here. Yep. <laughs> and as my action, she gets to come back into existence within 30 feet of me yep. as I expend a spell slot to re-obtain her. Okay. And this time I'm choosing her underwater form, which gives her blind sight while underwater. So she now has swimming speed. Okay. And has joined me underwater. Where's and your Petunia? Can you drag her out? Uh... Yeah. And she's back to full health. She's right here underwater with you. All right. And she can see whatever's uh, grabbing me and dragging me down. You see Tickle Me Giggles. And I've, choos uh -huh. cho I've chosen her form as lightning this time. Okay. 
Um. <laughs> so she's going to go and attack him. Okay. And does not hit. You miss. And that's my turn. All right. My turn? Nope. Uh, so Petunia dips, ducks, dodges, and dives and dodges again as Tickle Me Giggles slashes out repeatedly, letting go of Cormal and then swimming away. Petunia will get an attack of opportunity if Petunia so chooses. Uh, obviously. And that's a miss. Misses. And there is Cormal. Are you guys keeping track of your three turns for being small? Cormal's mm -hmm. got one more turn. Okay. And then... Kathleen, what's your armor class? Kathleen? Kathleen's not here right now. Oh. Does anybody know what Kellyanne's armor class is? Um, it's like 18 or something like that, I think. Something like that. Okay. He's got, the, he's got a, one of the highest grade armors plus shield. Alright. Eighteen damage to Callion as Rip appears behind Callion and stabs him in the back with his sword. And Wait, where, where was Rip before that? He disappeared. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Oh my God, how many people disappeared? Wes's turn. Ew. Um. Hey, little Wes. Oh, I, have, I literally have no idea what to do, so I'm just gonna move forward um, as far as my 11 feet could take me. <laughs> um, well, you're not back to normal size yet. No, so, so 11 feet is so yeah, as far as a quarter like... of mm -hmm. max? Okay. I could, I could do 45. Okay. Um, and. I don't know. I'm going to sling attack in this direction. I can't see them, right? So I don't know. Okay. Roll the hit. Is it disadvantage? Yes. Yes. You 11. hear a bonk off of a door. Okay. There's a house over there. And they're inside the house. Oof. Ten. Yeah, I mean... Also bonks off the door. Um. Oh, I should have just kept moving for my action. Uh, not too late for that. Um. All right, I'll bonus action step of the wind, and take another eleven feet of movement toward where they were. Okay. So that is There's a house. And it goes completely quiet when you reach there. Yep. Can I get inside the house with my 11 feet? I don't think Where? so. You're outside. You're outside. All right. That's it then. All right. Oh, wait. Where's my um, healing? Oh. Yeah, because you started in the aura, so you still get the healing. Mm -hmm. You guys but hear a loud now. scream. And half Still. of the ice wall shatters into little bits and bursts away. Oh, nice. I was trying to go there, but then the ice wall came up. Oh, my God. <sighs> Tanoctalon breathes fire at Randavius. 
Oof. Who takes it full head on. And he is charred and falls to the ground, scorched to the bone. Oh shit. And Davius falls dead. Well, that's one team down. <laughs> Wait, I got roll concentration for my silence. Oh yeah, yeah, you got hit. So DC 14. Of course not. When do I ever concentrate on anything? <laughs> so let's say it's not actually quiet. It's quite loud over there. Yeah, it's, well, <laughs> there's no noise actually coming from over there at all. Yeah, I'm all gonna left. draw concentration. So the fog starts to dissipate. Okay. Do we see anyone? Thanks, roll twenty. No, we see less. <laughs> Oh, great. The fog made them run away. <laughs> and just to annoy them even more, I'm going to recast Fog Cloud at second level. Okay. On top of the other crew. <laughs> <laughs> so now they can't see. So, guys, nice. how do you feel about dynamic combat these days? Oh, now we can't see them. <laughs> you guys are going to run this? away, too. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying this, anyways. I am. Okay. Yeah, everybody else is I'm gone, getting now. killed. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> well, are you having fun being killed? <laughs> <laughs> no. Sean, it's okay. We'll get you soon enough. This uh, is a pretty bad fight for, uh, for Wes, so this is. Yeah, our game. melee have done nothing, and then they're just yeah because they keep getting, if we get close, they just run away. Well, they're on, on me. Beaches. And I'm and I'm mini, so I can't really move that far. Yep, I would have been uh, moving around a lot more. Still my turn. Okay, I haven't moved yet. Or used my bonus action. Come over here. So I'm going to start moving over here. Bonus, uh, cunning action dash. I'm going to enter the fog. Okay. Reveal area. So I'd be about there. All right. And that'll be my turn. Celrid. Elred, you hear Callian scream out, Come help me, don't run away. <laughs> <laughs> don't run into the fog. Okay. <laughs> you can also see him just get stabbed in the back by Rip. Oh, how much healing do I take? Oh. That was for sound. And then you gotta get it for Elred, too. The Elred ran outside. Not... Elred now enters it. Now he gets it. Yep. Uh, it's five healing for Elred. Oh, by the way, you might want to re reveal a little area here for oh, Cormal. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to come out. And that's all I can do. All right, Thalrak. Mini Thalrak. Yeah. Make sure well, you keep track of your turns. Yep, I got two left. Oh, and then... But uh, hearing Callian complain, or not complain. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been stabbed! If you get Stop stabbed complaining, in the yeah. buddy! Yeah. Um, Alvin, how hard are you? I'm half health. All right, Elrod, Elrod you're hurt as well, correct? Uh, 46, 87, half health. Okay. It ain't gonna be much, but we're doing healing word at fourth level or yeah, mass healing word at fourth level. Damn, so that's <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my it, god. Does, it does um you guys get six. 
both of us. Action, though, Alvin, so Alvin, Alvin, Callian, Elrid, and if the Phoenix needs it as well. Phoenix doesn't have a health bar. Okay, then basically Elrid, Callian, Alvin, and myself. Because I can't see Formal, Petunia, or Samuel, or Wes, wherever he's off okay. in the building. I'm not in the building, but... Oh, I'm oh, far. then... Okay, hold on, let me make sure you might be within range then. Nope, you're just outside of range. Ah. Uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> but everyone else is in range, so I can heal you perfectly fine. So you guys get six. Thank you. Uh, then you might want to step, take a step away from spawn. Yeah, you still have your action, too. Oh, yeah, I should, huh? And you have your action still, so you can do Sacred Flame if you wanted to. Oh, yeah, Mass Healing Word is a uh, bonus, bonus action. Yep. Alvin, do you want to be fully sized now, or do you want to wait? You can't fully size me. Lesser Restoration? Two leveled spells on the turn, not allowed. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Sacred Flame's fine, or... You could use your action to dash, or but just. Uh, I'll, I'll to... move to because I have what eleven or twelve point five. It's basically six meter or six feet after that. You have six feet. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'm gonna sacred flame the poor bastard. Rip has to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Has to beat fourteen. And I apologize, but he does. That's fine. I. I did what I primarily wanted to do with the mass healing word. Alvin, you hear something shatter behind you. <laughs> Alvin, I it's your make, turn. I won't make a, uh, a snarky comment on that one. <laughs> <laughs> as much as Alvin wants to make a snarky comment, he won't. <laughs> it's your turn, Alvin. So yeah. how I'm do you respond? Walk up, walk up to there. Wait, no, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna help Kalyan. Um And as mini Alvin, I'm like You're quite the coward for attacking the party who's being focused by both groups at the same time, boy. As I activate vicious mockery against Rip. DC Four damage to Rip. Group. And his next attack is at disadvantage. Ooh, nice. All right. Yeah. And then Alvin also heals by 5 HP. Ah! <laughs> what? You could cast fireball without having to see, right? You can tar chose a Kelly and it. Rip, Elrid, and everybody else that's in here. Make saving throws. Biggie Smalls. He was here. Vladimir? Which saving throw? Sorry. Uh, Dex Holy save. Shit. Okay. There's a lot of people in there. Holy shit. Kelly, and keep in mind, you do have a uh, my inspiration still. 16. Oh, okay. Uh, should I use the inspiration? What is it, D8? D8 plus one. Oh, I'll just use it then, sure. 33 if you <laughs> fail, 16 it's, if you uh, succeed. 16 or higher succeeds, you take 16. You take 33 if you fail. And Biggie Smalls gets launched out of the window, charred into the pond. As does Alvin, well, Nil Nivla, as does Vladimir. Oh, all these people are over and here? And the house Holy is God. blown up on fire. To get killed. That's um, crazy that they're all there. Oh, and Rip takes 33 damage and falls to the ground dead. Vladimir Holy blew shit. up his own oh party. <laughs> Yo, who shot the fireball? Thank God. Yeah, who did that? Was that when so, did I ever speak bad about fireball? That was great. Killed himself? <laughs> No, maybe it was someone from the fog. That's what no, I was thinking. It was Vlad's turn. <laughs> Vlad That's catch crazy. fireball on the, himself. That's pretty stupid. A suicide bomber, damn. <laughs> it's Killed just... his whole team. 
if you had watched the episodes from Party Two, you'd understand. Oh, it, it makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah, he oh, would no. always shoot things that would blow up on them. Oh, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. So what <laughs> happened out of character is there were powder kegs in the top floor in the attic. That's where they were stored, and he threw a fireball out of the window with fucking black powder kegs all boom. Well, fireball doesn't necessarily work like that. Doesn't it just appear in that space? Not like you chuck it. Yeah, but he didn't go very far. Yeah, they were still. Oh, in range. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> fireball creeps around that corner. Yeah, and fills up the Dude, entire. Yeah, they were space. still in range of this fireball, so it hit you guys, and then it hit the house, and then it went boom. Yeah, fireball yeah. hits all corners. Yep. Oh. I wasn't sure if he was like trying to chuck it further away, or if he was actually just casting it on. Himself. No, he just cast it on Callian because oh. he wants to hit Callian. Oh, gotcha. And fucking killed this entire party in the process. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, that actually did happen. Like, that was back in the days where you couldn't die just because, like, we hadn't gone and everybody hadn't agreed that they could die yet. But if we had been able to have people die, that would have been a party wipe except for one character. Wow. So, this is based on true events, just like a Netflix special. <laughs> I like to think as Vlad falls into the water, you hear his last whisper be like, it was worth it. <laughs> the Not fog really. dissipates. Not really. Oh, good. She can't fog. Oh, no. Callion. Yeah, that was her auction. Yep, that I'm was sorry. her whole thing. Okay. Um. Well, now that Rip is dead, <laughs> and the house fight. is on fire. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, house on fire? I don't care about that. <laughs> I'm a heal Elvred, so I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna use my holy symbol, and uh, Elvred. I'll split the healing between me and Elvred because I still need some. So Elvred, you heal for twenty-five, and I heal for ten. And you also heal for five. Nice. So I healed for fifteen then. Uh, Elred, you healed for 25. Yep. Um, and then after doing that, I still have my bonus action. Mm -hmm. We're back to full size, Wes, when we come when it comes to our next turns. Also, your holy mm -hmm. symbol turns rose gold and now gives plus one to healing spell, like plus one heal wow. to healing spells you channel through it. Oh, that's awesome. That's really good. And that's well, a all my healing items. Items. Yeah. Oh, let me test that out then. I'm going to use bonus action. Uh, Alvin is in range i think yeah so alvin you're hurt right yes i am missing so. uh 21 HP. also if you have not gotten will... an item yet at the, mm -hmm. we need at the end of the session please remind me okay, okay. yeah i haven't got i'm gonna cast the healing word on alvin there's still time for items to come up naturally but we haven't gotten True. there yet that's actually 10 healing with my blessed healer feet uh, not feet my feature and then also plus one from the rose gold, I guess. So you heal for 11. <laughs> yeah. That puts me to 55. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll add that in somehow. Uh, and then it's the end of my turn. It's so... also your amulet's now Lathandra's Fiery Remembrance. Ooh, I gotta write that down. Which is obviously referencing <laughs> the fire. <laughs> Speaking of Fiery Remembrance, I'm running away. I'm gonna run right next to uh, Alvin. <laughs> like right over here. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. It's Cormal. As he returns to normal size. Whoop. Oh, so on the beginning of the turn, so this turn, I turn full size too. We're, no, we're you were. Moment. Were you affected at the same time as Cormal? We're at the same time. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah you would be on your time. turn. You'd grow back. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um. How cold is this wall? It, I, don't, I don't know. Try and touch it. <laughs> how, how cold is this wall? <laughs> <laughs> Did you touch it? Yes. Um, your hand is stuck to it. It's that cold. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, and you are soaking wet. Yeah. That makes yep. a, lot, a lot of sense. <laughs> okay, Cornwall's just be like, Fine, have it that way. Where can you go? Uh, how? Where's the wall go to? Just to the surface of the water. 
Okay, so Petunia's gonna swim underneath it. Okay. And she's going to. Oh, she can reach. So, uh, Cormol has a has. Oh. <laughs> Tickle me, gigs. <laughs> to Petunia's like, ah. Oh. Well, that's a change of plans. But Tickle Me Giggles is, looks like he's about to attack. Yep, okay, so then Petunia's just going so, to yeah. back. So Petunia swims over, sees that, backs up, and then climbs out of the water. <laughs> and is going to start running next to uh, Samuel. And that's Petunia's turn. All right. This formal can't do anything because he's stuck to the wall. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just testing something. <laughs> oh, and then Cormal, because he's still in range, and he gets to heal himself. So that's about 5 HP for me. And that's another turn on Phoenix. Uh, as Tickle Me Giggles jumps out of the water. One second, GM info. Comes up behind Wizard Willy and slits his throat as he falls to the ground dead. Oh god. This really is a fucked up battle. Before you see him bustle back into the shadows over here. Wouldn't Pharaoh get an attack of opportunity? She would. And she attacks him. Slap and him hits on the him ass. And slaps his ass with the spear, <laughs> cutting open his chaps for oh, nine god. damage. As his and ass bust. is now hanging out. The magic underwear has been damaged. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Who has the magic underwear from Jordy, by the way? I don't know. Who Currently does? in the depths of lava. No, we we picked it off of his body. I remember. Us yeah, somebody did. I don't Elizabeth know. had it. Elizabeth had it. Oh, you Elizabeth had it. Okay. Oh yeah, no. So yeah, no. The magic, sh the the magic underwear is gone. It is gone. Yeah, it's, it's... yeah that fell into lava. <laughs> and it's Wes's turn. Okay, so I'm I, I grow back to my normal size. You're back to medium. Where are you, so I can big you? I'm by the house, bottom left. Oh, there we go. And you got Great! 22. Yay! Uh, Twenty-two point five movement. Yes. Don't forget your so healing. I'm... Wait, no, you're no, out. You're I don't heal. The aura yet. But he's yeah. going to be. I am going to. So I'm gonna. Uh, I'll prep it. Just... Yeah. Okay, that works. See, I'll go to the edge of the aura on the other side. Yep. You get five right HP. here. Five HP. Perfect. Five HP, and I will. Uh. Perfect. I will okay. take a sling from here to Farah. Callie and Dragonheart will be able to help you with that. He's super cool with that. He just knows how to make things work. Yeah, I was just trying to play with around with stuff, but <laughs> sixteen and only are you attacking? Farah. It bounces off her dragon scales. Ah, this goddamn sling. Oop, I hit the wrong thing. Uh sling again. Twenty-four for sling. Uh you hit. Nice. Alvin really wants to get into close range with Farah to ask her a question As it during this. Bounces combat. off her snout for eight damage. <laughs> okay, and um, probably should have done that first if I was going to do that. Okay, so I will stay here. I won't do anything for my bonus action. All right. Biggest Smalls is dead. Rip. Okay, cause I'm sending you a message. Samuel Petunia uh -oh. West deck saves. Because I have something that looks like this. Yay, no more disadvantage on decks. I need a roll. Petunia. Yay! Okay, so, so you both... Where is Petunia? There's fire is. damage. Petunia's not immune to fire damage. Okay. She's immune to lightning damage right now. What's the DC? The DC is 16. <laughs> she just barely missed it. So Petunia's the only one taking damage here? Well, ha no, you guys are taking half damage. We both have evasion. Yeah, so we don't take no, any damage. No <laughs> damage then, so then she's taking... 32 damage. Ow. 
of fire damage as Tanoctalon breathes out the flame. And it's Samuel's turn. And Petunia's I'm, in, I'm out of seconds. No, she's not. She's fine. Okay, there goes that idea. Um... Uh... As you can see, Randavia's dead body in the corner. Yeah. That's horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Uh, move up to here. As you're moving, that body just dissipates. It does Randavia I'm going to dissipates. Oh, actually, uh, no. Oh, yeah. It's summer. Fuck. They're both probably resistant to fire. Uh, okay. I'm going to throw a dagger. Uh, 19 to hit. It bounces off her scales. Yay. Okay. Uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. Elred? Yeah, that's all I really can do. Oh. <laughs> Darek. Alright. Going to do lesser restoration on myself. Boop, 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 boop. So now I am back to normal. And for my movement. I'm gonna start making my way downtown. <laughs> Round the ice will so I can blast the butter da 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 da. Wizard Willie's dead. That makes it Elvin's turn. Tiny Elvin. Mm -hmm. Yep. So Tiny Elvin is going to walk over to here. And then Yep. Uh, Alvin is sick and tired of that wall. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm shattering it. Nice. It blows to pieces. However, yep. Thalrak, Alvin need to make deck saves. Okay. Is there just like a piece of it stuck on uh, Coromal's hand? <laughs> yeah. Ow! <laughs> um. No, yeah, Coromal doesn't need hand. to make a save. Just Thalrak okay. and Elvin. So Thalrak? Dexterity save. One second. Sorry, she like froze up for me for a second. That's fine. Oh, that one. takes six damage and Alvin takes twelve damage as the shatter is also reflected back and intensified off of the mirror wall. How much damage? Uh twelve to you, six to Thalrak. I just wanted to go inside, I don't care. It's Alvin's turn anyway, so we you, get to... you you activated their trap card. Mirror wall. <laughs> Mirror wall cuts my damage in half and makes it so I can't attack. <laughs> well, this is the mirror wall from the anime. Sorry. <laughs> that's actually what it does. That's actually what it does in in the, the anime as well. Well, not in the first one, wasn't it? It reflected it back. It, it reflected it back, but it then it caught the monsters' attack points in half, and then oh. when they and then immediately after my attack. Uh, she would do some bullshit amount of damage because they only have 2,000 <laughs> HP during that time. All of a sudden, a harpy flies in. It's fine. Her and her freaking hypnosis <laughs> uh, perfume card trick. That's Alvin's turn. <laughs> okay. Armor class, Wes. 19. 
Okay. Twenty-four damage as Farah throws one spear. It impales you in the stomach. It rematerializes in her other hand, and she throws it again, and it lodges itself in your shoulder before it rematerializes in her hand once again. Holy shit! And you are bleeding heavily. Damn, I'm hurt bad now. Kalyan. I need a dagger version of that weapon. <laughs> a returning dagger. My turn. Yep. Okay, I'll use all my movement to run up. Like, hey, Thalric, nice to see you normal size again. <laughs> um, oh, do I also have to heal this from Healing Spirit? Oh, yeah, yeah Healing heal. Spirit. Everyone gets, everyone gets healed. Y'all get healed. <laughs> I think I'm in, in this zone. See, the downside of casting that spell is you have to keep rolling, dude. Yep. You can't You're not pay HP. attention. This is the most rounds of combat we've ever had. Yeah, mainly because the freaking distance is bonkers. Um, well, not really. Map. I mean, to scale wise, it makes sense. I'm just checking the range on some things. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Like, Wes, you're hurt, right? Yeah, bad. Cornwall's hurt, I'm assuming. Cornwall is not hurt by much. Oh, okay. He's I'm down to 11. He's 65 out of 72. 11 out of 50 for me. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunately, you're a little uh, out of range, but I can uh, bonus bonus word. So I'll uh, I'll sacred flame uh, the lizard monster here. Okay. Uh, so let me just roll that in one second. Okay, so nine radiant if they fail the DC. It fails 16 and they take it. nine damage and scream in pain. It's the first damage. You yeah, that's what you get. Don't be, don't be complaining. <laughs> okay, and then bonus, bonus action, uh, healing word Wes. Nice. Okay. So let me just do some math. I just was playing around with the modifiers. I'm also going to use Lethandra's Holy Choker of <laughs> Zealotry. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Add one extra d4 of healing, so. Nice. You can attach that to your healing abilities as well. I think I just did. Yeah, you did. There you go, 11 damage. Uh, healing. Healing. Healing, healing damage. Healing. Eleven healing damage. Healing damage. <laughs> nice. And then I also I also Great. heal whenever I heal someone else. So, uh, let me just check how much. I heal for three. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Cool. Four HP to start off, and then Cormal is going to step out of the water. And as he's ridding his bow back at fair, he's like, I'm back! <laughs> and, but before I let loose, I go, Petunia, charge! And Petunia rushes up to her to attack. So Petunia is going to go for a bite. Doesn't Miss. hit. <laughs> yep. And then Ooh, nice. okay. but that's fine. Because it gives Cormal the advantage he's looking for. Oh, that's not supposed to have that bonus, but it's still a 27. Oh, uh, you hit. Okay. Eight damage. Uh, as it lodges in her eye and she falls over dead. Oof. Nice. Why did you have... God dang it! And I'll fire a bow shot at the thing that I miss. You miss. I shot and then I miss, and that's my turn. Okay. And it is Wes's turn. Alright, so I okay, could Wes, yeah. you get is if I can find the healing spell, there it is. <laughs> Six HP. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, so I am going to run to the mind god. Uh the guardian to of the, the guardian of the forest. <laughs> Alright, I can make it because I get 20. Yeah. You get 22.5. 22.5, oh, that's a little too much. Uh, then there. 
That should bring me in range still. Okay, and then I'll put the sling away or curl it in my hand or whatever because it's just a piece of cloth. And I'm going to punch this thing. Okay. Oh. You miss. Okay, I'm going to punch it again. You hit. Nice. Eight damage. Eight damage. As the scales bite into your skin and you take two damage in return. Okay, and I'm going to pump in a stunning strike to that punch. Okay. Uh, so I think they have to make decent. One second, let me just... You said two damage I took? Yeah. Yep. It's a constitution save. They failed it. Nice. So they are stunned. They're stunned. Ooh, they're stunned. Nice. And then I'm going to... And that's just a special thing I could do, so... Key point, two more flurry blows. Yep. Do I get advantage? Or am I? Yeah, right? If they're stunned, no? Yeah. Stunned, yeah. You get advantage. stunned is advantage. Uh, yeah, advantage on attacks. Yep. So let me roll another one. You hit. 25. Six. Take one damage one yourself. Okay, I'll do that. Ooh, hit. 17. Nice. A 10. Take three damage. All right, so four more damage total. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. And that will be my turn. As the scales are just sloughing off of it, you continue to beat at it. It's done, so I believe it can't do anything, right? Incapacitated, mm -hmm. therefore no actions, no reactions. Samuel. Yeah, for one turn, yep. Ha -ha. Right. Is it until the end of its turn that it's stunned, or the beginning of its next? Um, the wording on stunning strike off the top of my head. I think it's until West until is the end turn. of my next turn. Yeah. Okay. Right, um. Oh, you're gonna stun it too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. Oh my god. So I'm gonna walk up and then use my uh, uh, misty step. So he takes uh, three fire damage, okay. or equivalent probably because he has resistance. And then. Oh, you're in the range now, so let me roll for your healing. Congratulations, you get two healing. Yay. And then... I'm going to... Attempt to stab it. You hit. 23. Okay, uh, get my sneak attack. Uh, that'll be 26 piercing. And it falls to the ground, dead. Nice. As you cut yes. through its throat as it lunges down for a strike. There's only one person remaining. Oh, that's right. Who's left? Jordy? Jordy. Where the hell is he? Come <laughs> out and face us, coward. <laughs> Where are you, Tickle Me Gigs? Definite, definitely not Jordy is hiding out there. <laughs> Just to give an idea, I'm keeping an eye out on this direction. Okay. Is he in the water, you guys said? No, he no, ran that, behind the... He ran to the house. Yeah, oh, okay. Matthew's over here. If he's in the That'll water, be the end of my just turn. the water out. Elred. <laughs> Elred, uh, one... HP. Three. Um... Uh, I don't know what to do. If you walk into the aura, you get three HP. Just, 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 just take at least take a quick little step. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to move in on this house, or and also watch towards these tents to see if he's gonna. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, that's it. That wreck. All right. Dark is gonna continue moving around, and he's just gonna sprint. HP As he goes, okay. He's just gonna be like right in front of Alred. Uh, All right, and as you complete that, you hear Trina's boom. Cowards have no place here, and you see a tree erupt right there. Jeez, is it? Is wait, was that toward directed at us? No, no. Um, and you see Jordy impaled on it. Well, definitely not Jordy. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> uh, is he alive? 
Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to cast a guiding bolt on Jordy. Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> there you go. Alvin's back to normal. Oh, thank God. Were there any more healing spirits left or no? Yeah, there is. There's and so you I'll see I'll this thing it. spin open in the center. Wait, this thing? Yeah. Hey guys, I think we need to go inside. Okay, so let me roll real quick before and pick up my knife, by the way. I can't I believe you guys actually did it. Of course we did. You're the best. Is that, is that meaty talking? Yeah. 15 Ooh, HP that? to everyone. Wow. Ooh. I'm tempted to cast nice. silence on meaty, but I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, was, I was half tempted to as well. Let me do, but I was going to do blindness. Oh, God. And I can make them deaf. Yeah. <laughs> oh we can double whammy them. Boom. Alright. You guys ready to go inside? I don't know what's in here. Let's go. I, I'm ready to go. So inside is just an altar holding a strangely pulsing red ruby. Oh nice, that's the thing we need. Oh, the heart, yes. Radiating I'm gonna, red. I going to cast Detect Magic on it. It's very magical. <laughs> it's extremely magical. Does it tell... What class of magic is it? Life. Or school. Life oh, it's magic. life. Ooh. That's so evocation. Like, it is a heart. Like, yeah. You. <laughs> is anyone gonna. Get, you know, Hold them all. Hold them down. Quarm all. Oh, we need this. So I'm this always time, love you, but at the same time, we need this. Quarm <laughs> do you want to escape the dream? <laughs> yeah, because I need to kill Tremius in the real world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so like thought. His priorities are still in line. So who's gonna pick up this uh this gem? <laughs> I would. Not, it's it's life magic. I hey, would Wes, think that our, our cleric of life would do it. Your cap, your dragon cap, has turned rose gold, and your range Ooh. has improved by one for stiffness. Nice. Wait, what did you just do? My my dragon cap on my staff turned rose gold. So now, Ooh, nice. now I'm trying to think what word it was before. Uh, I think 7 to 20. It'd be 7 to 20 now because it was yes. 8 to 20 before. That's great. I will uh, I will pick up the heart then. All right. Callian grabs the heart. Congratulations to the winners! Possibly tomorrow's dinners! And the crowd shuffles. <laughs> so Tremia still sucks here, yes. <laughs> oh. Hey you guys, let's uh let's head back to that guy to give him the heart. <laughs> Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'll see you on the other side. Bye. <laughs> you guys get ten gold <laughs> thrown at you by fans, by the way. Hey, that's just wait, wait. So we each get ten gold? No, ten gold total. That's ten gold total. So that puts us at if after we finish this mission, that's fifty, 50 gold. All right. Wow, so weird. We got the exact amount of gold that we needed to get inside the castle. Right? That's why That's why it's called a one-shot, because things have to happen <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> Hopefully you guys had fun with that arena combat. Oh, yeah, that was, mm -hmm. that was interesting. That was tedious. <laughs> I, would say, some... I would say tedious. Yeah. Like, it was really hard because we didn't have our sorcerers and wizards. Yeah, shoot. you guys yeah. had a lot of your so... long range missing. But it was yeah, supposed yeah, to be more tactical. Yeah, what like, was that? If we, had, if, if we had had our like, big heavy range hitters, it probably would have gone a little bit quicker. But at the same mm -hmm. time, I liked that it was different. Yeah, it was supposed to be large. It was supposed to take a while to get around. People were supposed to be hiding and things. It was supposed to be like a war game more than a combat mm -hmm. game. 
Mm. All of us were out in the open the whole time, but we just out damn tanked everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, our group can't die, but we can't kill anyone either, so... <laughs> yeah. We, we live lives. We make them blind. Yeah. <laughs> we play the long con. Yeah. Well, I could have done more damage if I wasn't so short and small the whole time that I was in there. I could have moved a lot more. I could have done more damage as well if uh, my position wasn't compromised. Yeah. That was unlucky. If Cornell right. was level 14, he could have just been flying around the whole battlefield because <laughs> he would have ha been riding Petunia the whole time. <laughs> oh, at so, that point, I think anyway. I could run in water too so, and run up 14 walls. would have given me blind sight for 10 feet. <laughs> so, good. Boiler does hand you over Boiler. the 30 gold mm -hmm. for the heart and he sticks it inside himself and you can see what appears to be a genuine smile light his face for the what appears to be the first time and he says i finally understand all that i could have done and achieved in life what have i missed are you a real boy a now <laughs> you're a real boy <laughs> are you a real boy <laughs> i suppose that i am uh you're welcome boy lie <laughs> we'll be on our way. <laughs> I have an intention. <laughs> okay, okay. So what do you guys do it now? Uh, we'll go back to the other door, right? And give the 50 gold to... Come on up the wall. Come they let you the through wall. into the palace. Is this the same day? Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Should we, should we have taken her? Ah, who cares? It's a dream. Yeah, I strangely don't feel tired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the one thing I love about monks is that, like, I could go a while. And if you guys heal me enough, like, the, the short... The, taking a long rest only is, like, um... So I don't get exhausted. Otherwise... I could go on for a while just by being healed by people. Bottom yeah, line, you just I don't have need any short magic. rest, right? Yeah, I just need short rest for my key points. I I recognize this map. <laughs> I recognize this map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this Damn is it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no! I knew we've been here before. I know what's going. In. We're gonna I know fight Miss Lindsay. <laughs> yes. Good, in I'll this room, get my it's revenge for no, no, in this room, no, they're called Mr. P oh my God! Instead of Miss Lippy, it's Mr. Pib. <laughs> Mr. Pib. Oh no. <laughs> Mr. Pib. I'm just afraid of our. Meta, if we do have to fight a version of Miss Lippy, I will literally spend the points to name it Mr. Pib. Oh my god, it's Mr. Pib and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, let's go in. Elrid, if you will do the honors. Is it unlocked? Yeah, it most certainly is. Okay, Elrid opens the door. Everybody roll oh, initiative. Oh, you did not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, initiative? Oh, God. Oh, no. What happens at my house if you're an unwelcome <laughs> guest? <laughs> yeah, like we've just been talking about. We're welcome. We're welcome enough. <laughs> we paid to get in. Yeah, exactly. Is our money not good here? Nope. <laughs> All right, is, and then I got to add Elrid in. 1.14. Not the same goal. <laughs> and then real quick with the surprise round, Miss Lippy attacks the person who opened the door. <laughs> Should have oh, knocked. No. Should have knocked. Should have got one shot. Prepare to be hit eight times in a row. I mean, I think What's we're your almost armor like class? sixteen. Okay. How's your armor only sixteen? It, I don't know. 
We gotta get better <laughs> armor. Come on, right. Calvin. Right. Okay. I'm trying to upgrade my armor. 16, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's only five hits. I should really organize these dice at some point. And Elrid, you take um forty three damage. Oh. As Hydra heads burst out and tear chunks out of you. God. I feel like we're nope. going to make it out of here, but I kind of hope we all die and that's how we get back to reality. <laughs> no. <laughs> Snap back to reality. <laughs> there goes gravity. <laughs> all of us get our necks snapped. <laughs> well, we're closing in that... on the end of the storyline, so... <laughs> oh, my God. Yep. Not Hopefully easy. it hasn't been too tedious revisiting everything you've already done before. Time to usurp the throne! <laughs> Cornwall the dictator. <laughs> Meta, it's, it's no Mr. Pib. It is. It, you're but, not, we don't see the name. Oh. No, yeah. But it was I'm, already I'm, there, but yep. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I'll pay the there points you go. if needed. <laughs> and it's Mark's like, turn. Points. Can I roll everyone? I pulled the, the wrong no. thing, but whatever. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna hold my turn. If Cormal becomes ruler, he's gonna give everyone a puppy. It's Cormal's <laughs> turn. <laughs> but he's gonna take everyone's gems. Yeah, uh, give me my gems and I'll give you all the pets. Um, <laughs> what is Cormal doing? Hmm. I need to roll something first. Marvel straight up is straight up attacking Mr. Pib. Oh, you're not the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. Yep. Uh, so that's going to be. Yep. Everything's fine. Miss. You... No, you hit. Oh, I hit what? Yep. <gasps> it's not as, as, as you lop be. off a head. Oh, that's not good. And two heads take its place. Oh crap. Um. Shh. Am I supposed to stop attacking now, or do I just keep cutting until it eventually gotta dies? And, gotta cut and burn. All right? Is that how you stop the Hydra? Oh yeah! Pepper breath! <laughs> <laughs> you miss though. <laughs> oh. Well. And a small little fireball arcs off to the side and starts a table, a side table on fire. No, I guess it's just a bad side! That's a 25 to hit. You hit. And that does one fire damage. <laughs> As a part of it. So that's uh, one fire damage, ten slashing. So you cut off one head and it cauterizes and now it's back to eight heads. Nice. Fix my mistake. And it's Wes's turn. All right, quarter staff out. Gonna run up. Pib. All right, and I'll attack. Oh wait, I gotta roll. Yay! You hit. Well, no, you're stiff. Oh, I shouldn't and be. And you hit. 19. 19. It should be 19. It hits, right? Yeah. Oh. And you bonk it over, it over the head. Okay, and that is for... Ooh, 10 damage. 10 bludgeoning damage. Okay, uh... Ooh, gotta do it again. 
Oh, wow. You're you miss. Yeah, oh, yeah, He's you're soft. soft. You're soft. soft. You could really say, though, Wes, that it's the quarter staff. Time. Wes, huh? I, I think you could really say, if you kind of reflect on it, that the quarter staff of stiffness has really grown with you. <laughs> yeah, it really. <laughs> it's really grown on me. You know? <laughs> uh, it's grown in you. <laughs> it's grown, oh my God. It gr right in your hands, even. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I see you hit for six I... damage as you whack her with a soggy noodle. I just gotta grasp it firm enough, you know. And sometimes when you when it's when it's hard for too long and you hit you a lot, get that friction and it kind sleeve. of, it kind of, you know. Yeah, it gets gets weak for a while. It needs to rest. You really should look to uh, get some oil to put on it. Oh, that's a good idea, Cormo. Uh, I'm gonna flip <laughs> Flurry of Blows. Yep. I'm gonna <laughs> punch and kick Miss Mr. Pip. You hit. You hit. All right. Cool. All right, and eight and seven. Fifteen uh, damage. Knocking. Mr. Pib unconscious onto the ground. Oh shit! You served the food. Wow. Okay, that was easy. Come on, guys. I cleared the way. Wait, I gotta you heal Elrond. Hey. <laughs> yeah, somebody's gotta heal Elrond. Elrond. I'll never actually get to properly use my magical light. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have the stun. You go for thirty-five, Mr. Pib. The one um. time that I had the perfect use for it, it gets knocked out. <laughs> I forgot the stun too. Didn't matter. All right, we're all good. Let's keep going. Let's find Lord Count Mayor Earl Tremius. Emperor. 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 <laughs> Emperor's in there as well. <laughs> oh, Formal God. deserves to win. Let's get out of here. Okay, you guys climb up the stairs, and you guys obviously mm -hmm. reveal. One second. Over. Oh. Also, do you guys like that every map that you guys have been on, except for the main city, has just been a revisit of something you've been at before, <laughs> repurposed? Yeah. That's great. I mean, it should be for the anniversary. Yeah, exactly. Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> and you see the double doors standing there before you. Elrid, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we throwing Elrid into the fire? I don't... Every time someone opens a door, it doesn't end up being good. Cormo, how would we check your room first? My room's not here. Elrid just opens the door. Oh, God. Um, so, Cormo, do you open this door real quick? <laughs> Is there a copy in here? There's an know. inverted oh, color good. dog. Oh, I know you. But it growls at you. And backs away. You're, you're a mean doggy. You slammed the door shut. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, roll initiative, everyone. Uh, your final initiative. I just imagine it's like, um... Like Tom and Jerry, he just opens the door, dog starts growling, he just shuts the door. <laughs> Oh man, we all suck. Yeah, we got bad initiative this time. Oh my god. And this is my little before me. And Elrid will add in. Oh, Tremius rolled bad too. Nice. Nice. 12.14. But with the surprise round that was given by just opening the door. <laughs> Elward, make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> oh, my favorite. Not bad. I saw that name. Yeah, just <laughs> they're, they're not. They're just actually just chilling in the corner because I don't want to have to replace them down when we go back to this map <laughs> in normal mm -hmm. realm. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a Bowser or Princess Peach situation. <laughs> we have to save Terry. So, Elward, you get slammed backwards, hit the glass, <laughs> burst out of the glass <laughs> onto the sidewalk. Jesus Christ. As Tremius just punches you into oblivion, leaving a trail of green leaves trailing behind you like razor leaf as you take 
15, 16, 20 damage. And then you take an additional six damage from the fall. So 26 damage. <laughs> you can't catch a break, can you? I would really can't. I'm going to hold my turn until Elred finishes his turn. It's Marx's turn, so you're holding? I'm holding till Eldred finishes his turn. Yep. Elden? Oh boy. I guess this is the one time where we get to go no holds bar on, on the person that we really don't like, Malka, is it? I, yeah, that's that a training was the, session. That was the point behind this to let you guys kill Tremius. <laughs> if kill you can. <laughs> well, or we all uh, die. Let's, uh, or you all die. It. Either way, the adventure ends. Yep. <laughs> yeah. It's the oh. final countdown. <laughs> so Alvin will move up to here. And I will. Tremius will need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. As I release my cold breath. He does not make it. So he takes. Oh, it's a dexterity saving throw, but uh, nine cold damage to it. Nine cold damage as you freeze his roots. That's not what I wanted when I was talking about frosted tips. Oh, was I, was I <laughs> supposed to aim for your head? My apologies. I'll make sure that it goes rolling to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's my turn. turn. All right, Elred. <laughs> oh. Oh. So, I'm, like, there. Yeah, so that's, like, 30 feet-ish right there. You could take a five-foot step and be in range. I'm going to take a five-foot step. I'm going to swing my great axe. <laughs> oh, you miss. And swing again. It just bounces off the tree bark, and then it slaps in the second time, and you can hear wood crunch underneath as he takes 12 damage. And I'm going to action surge and swing a third time. You miss. One last one. And you miss. Oh my god. Tremia as they just bounce off of Tremius's hard bark. Then Marx has his hold turn. You can't penetrate his wood. <laughs> Ooh, la, la, la. That's what she said. <laughs> um, but you can certainly make it smaller by chilling it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any other action separate? <laughs> nope. Uh, Thalrak. You just joined. Uh, Mar uh, Marks has now. a health turn. Oh, Icarath, you're coming back just to kill Tremius. Yay. Just Marks has a health turn as well, meta. So keep that in mind. Can I fit underneath Tremius so, as in, like, walking? Roll initiative. Um, Yes, you could. Okay. I'm going to walk under Tremius to get behind him so we can get Icarath flanking. Icarath is right there. Uh, hey, Icarath. He needs to roll initiative. I'm back. There it is. 18. Oh. Be right there. Hey, how the hell are treat? How the oh. hell did the craft get here? What do you mean? I've been here the whole time. No, you haven't. Uh, well, Icarath, you're missing a kilo of coke that you think you sniffed. That's just that's just Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> but it's Saturday. In other words, Mark stole a kilo for uh story <laughs> reasons. Oh yeah, you really mission. need to go back and watch this episode, Ikarath. Because I figured I would. This has got so much cool shit. I mean, oh, some some people are in disagreement over some of it is cool or tedious. <laughs> but if you guys are still going, I'm assuming you all have been having a blast this whole time because I was gone for almost four I'm hours, a blast. which is longer than a normal session for us goes. Yes, that's true. Yeah, and we had been going for a while before I left. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've been playing since oh, like now we're on final boss. Anyways, I'm going to bonus action activate my mask. So I you guys can see that um Marks begins to glow a red as I go in for my attacks. Attack. Ooh, nice. Alright. 
Uh, 24 to hit. That will be... Uh, 21 fire damage. 21 fire damage is that licks up and deals an additional amount of damage. As he burns and screams in pain and then he drops to the ground. Make a deck save. That uh, will be a 24. You're able to jump out of the way as he almost sits on top of you. Before bouncing back up off the bed. This is a very strange fight. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're fighting the large man on the bed. And that the was still her on the bed. Who's trying to butt pound some of you. In Alvin's room. <laughs> yeah, Alvin, I think there is some underlying psychotic message here. <laughs> hey, you know what they said about the monkeys jumping on the bed? <laughs> <laughs> One fell off and bumped its head. <laughs> yeah, I've always thought that song was about crack cocaine. <laughs> I thought they cracked their heads. And that was a euphemism. Doing crack? <laughs> this whole time I've been doing cocaine, I've been picturing monkeys. Are you telling me I'm written wrong? <laughs> Alright. Tharak is gonna move up. And he's gonna do the thing that he likes to do the most. Spirit Guardians. Trimus better make... Oh, better fail that wisdom saving throw. Let's go. Does not make that wisdom saving throw. All right, three D eight. Let's hurdle. Let's do it. Come on, good rolls. I'll take it. I'll take a lot. As you beat him with it's dwarf radiant angels, damage as well. Dwarf angels, and you rip off one leg, and he falls down to the side and groans in pain. So he's kind of like this now. <laughs> Well, I thought you were going to bump your head, but losing your leg is just as good. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Kellyan's turn. Oh boy, I've been saving this one. I'm casting Guiding Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! And should I upcast it, you guys? Yes. Yes. I'm casting it at fourth level. Let's go. <laughs> Ooh, wow. I've been holding the spell slot all day. <laughs> No! no! <laughs> well, I didn't say what level I was casting it at. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, you don't it... actually choose when you roll the attack. Whatever. No, okay. you you choose it on damage if there's an attack roll. Yeah. <laughs> I did say it, so I'll take it off. Okay. Um, of course. And I'll be like... Dang it, I must get closer and I'll walk up. <laughs> Why are we all gathering in the same spot? Oh no. And that's the end of my turn. Alright, which brings us to Wes's turn. Yay. Oops. Alright, trying to distance. Okay, perfect. I can get in right here. And I will hit it with my quarterstaff. Yay. Solid again. It is. 16? Um, you miss. Oh, wait, I still have my inspiration from earlier from the uh, Twitch. How much yeah, is that? That's a four. That's okay. ID four. From Voltaire. 18? And you hit. Nice. And I will pump in a stun. Stunning strike. Con save the uh, 15. Uh, stunned. Yes. All right. So he took 15 damage from yep. that last one. I will quarter staff again. Hit. Uh, oh, that's a oh, yeah, stiff. Hard. All right. Uh, advantage roll. Yep. In this alternate plane... The quarter staff is always stiff. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it doesn't 15, always But hit. it misses. Damn it. All right. Uh, he's still stunned, though, so that's good. So flurry of blows. Let me just check that off. Uh, okay. It's the, it's the Tremius Pinata. Mm -hmm. Yes, 24. 24 damage. So, oh, yeah, you hit him. 10 damage. 
All right, as he and groans and his other leg falls off. And now nice. he's dumped. 18. You hit. Six more damage. As one of his arms rips off. Nice. Um, I didn't use all of my movement, so I kind of want to move out of the way. I will... Yeah, I'll move to that side. I'll move right over here. And that'll be it. Cormal. No, you can't come out of the room. You're being a bad dog. <laughs> no. I rolled a natural one, so. I want to come out. Oh, that's, that's yeah. He rolled a natural one, so no turn for. Dreamies Cormal. don't get to do shit. Marks. Maybe sure. Hey, Marks put is Icar going to because he's he had a nineteen point eighteen. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. Gonna... You'll go at the end, so Icarath gets to go. Sorry. <gasps> oh, favorite. Um. So Icarath just appears, I guess. You show up high as fuck on cocaine, stumbling in and be like, yo, what's the problem? And then you see Tremius missing two legs below the kneecap and an arm. That doesn't seem very nice. Oh, what did he do? We're getting all anger out on him. Oh, I'm angry as fuck about <laughs> things. And to God, I'm angry about fuck. Go ahead and take um, your anger out of him. Okay then, Mr. Tremius. I beseech thee to burn in hell. Advantage. He casts Burning Hands. Burning all of us? He, no, he's, he's aiming it up. The, the oh. cone is going up and trying to hit Tremius in the face. That's fine. He, he's stunned, so I think everything should be at advantage. Yeah. Auto, it, that's an auto failed dex no, it's save. Dex, yeah. stunned. Oh, it's a dex save. Oh. It's a dex save. But 15, it's an auto so, dex. okay, he burns and chars, and the light goes out of his crystalline eyes. Yay. That was only first level. I meant to cast that at second level. Oh, well. <laughs> and it's not... they are still glowing green, though, the crystal eyes. Oh. It's been a long time since I've used Burning Hands. Oh. I haven't done that since Icarath hung oh, out shit? with Cyrus. Yeah, that's we got wow. some crystals up here. Cormo, come here. We got glowing what? eyes. He's already dead. Ah. Yeah, but his, his the eyes crystal are eyes. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you absorb them. You take an additional twenty crystal points. Uh, your armor is permanently green. Uh, uh, it's like green tint. Um, uh, except for it flashes pink, turns to pink when you're angry. Um, and green when you're happy and it's clear when you're neutral and I have a mood ring you now. get plus one to animal handling <laughs> <laughs> and plus one to animal handling okay <laughs> also has anybody not gotten a trinket or item or modification oh, oh, yeah, has that. elred uh, um you find a bandana Wait, did Icarath just kill him? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Icarath shows up literally at the end of this one shot to burn <laughs> Dreamius' head off. And it's just like, so what now? <laughs> Good job, dude. Yeah, he was almost dead. Know, he had 100 HP and he was at 94. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Um, so, uh, Elrod, you get a headband um, that allows you to focus and extend your range um once a day on your re-roll of one to be a re-roll of two as well he already has re-roll okay re-roll of three okay <laughs> once a once a day oh like on the damage roll yep and yeah. it's uh got a cobra on the front and it's black and yellow sorry buddy yep that's and it's called the cobra that kai that headband <laughs> <laughs> yes. in in the back it says no mercy <laughs> um, did Alrak, did Alrak get anything? No. Uh, Icarath, your loot does plus one li when lightning damaging through it. Nice. And Thalrak? 
You get rose gold tassel thingies for your mustache. <laughs> Wait, you're gonna call it a mustache? How dare you? No, look in your picture! Oh, oh that, okay. The thingies that go in your beard. You get, and you get plus one to charisma checks. Oh. Wow. And one loot point to Ikarath from Kalyan for killing Blow. <laughs> oh, that would be nice if I was a freaking charisma <laughs> user. Yup. At all. Yup. <laughs> yeah, that was something for my hammer. <laughs> well, don't forget, we still have the finale of the whole fucking season, season one coming is, up with Blue. You said they're just rose gold? Yep, rose gold, as is everything here. And then I think everybody's gotten hit. Has, uh, yep, uh, you gotten it. Did you get an item, Marks? Marks did not. Marks' mask has my... changed to rose gold, but it gets plus one um, for uh, stealth checks after uh, between the hours of sundown and sunup. That actually seems useful for him. Yep. And Matt, is this plus one to my charisma score or to my ability? Uh, to anything that uses it. So, like, saving throws, whatever. Okay. Chat, skill checks, whatever. All those things. You're just fucking working it. Okay. And Callie, you got your thing enhanced. Wes got your thing enhanced. Yep. Cormal plus got one. armor enhanced. Alvin, did Alvin get something? No. Um... Alvin gets a pocket watch. A rose gold pocket watch. Ah, I can keep the time. And you don't know it yet, but it will allow you to communicate once a day uh, with Terry. Okay. Like a sending spell, but only works with her. And Icarath already got a thing. So, okay, we're good on that front. So we'll continue on. So he falls to the ground and the fires snuff out. I do have a request. Yes. About mine. Instead of just making it plus one um, magic item for, for lightning, can it just be a plus one focus for him? Uh, well, it's just plus one for damage for lightning. Everything is supposed to be kind of small. Okay, that's fair. Yep. That does tell me exactly how I need to modify my shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would be for, yeah, it would just be for like your lightning spells that you channel through it. Electric guitar style. So you guys, we did it. Are we gonna wake up now? Was this all a dream? Yeah, we just kind of mushed in here and killed Tremius without any thought of what would happen. <laughs> Maybe we should have asked them. I mean, this is legitimately what I... I mean, this is not what I did to... You don't know anything. <laughs> As the world starts we to get fuzzy and fade around you, and you guys start to get sleepy and fall asleep where you stand, and you wake up, one motherfucking second. Where is this? Back on the boat. And you guys have the things you have, but there's no damage. Everybody is perfectly fine. You're waking up in your beds. What the nothing hell? has nothing is different. <laughs> nothing is different except for those items that you have. All your gold is back, your bag is back. But those trinkets you picked up along the way that I said was permanent are permanent. Wow. What happened? Guys, we... Hey, guys. Who am I next to? Uh... Th Tharak. Tharak, did you... I feel like I had a dream with you in it. And you were there? And you, and were, you there? were there? Kalyan, Icarat. You guys were there, too. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Did we just kill Tremius? It was a great dream. I think so. <laughs> Ikrath, I can't believe you killed Tremius. Are you what now? Were you not there too? You, like, how did you know? I don't know. I feel like we all had the same dream just now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I don't know. I feel like everyone we've ever met was there, but they didn't know us. Cyrus was there too, wasn't he? Like a baby and 
like super dark still. Yep. Friend Davius was there. Oh, okay, man. yeah, I was there. But whose stream was that? Because that wasn't my dream. I don't know. No. You sure it wasn't your dream? You seemed to get pretty well in that dream. Everything worked out for you. <laughs> I mean, like, so I remember you guys, and then I remember there just being like a hammock, and then all of a sudden I was setting a bush on, I was setting a tree on fire. It's mm. kind of, I think I phased out in the middle of it. But I don't think I don't I think, think that was, was my the, dream. I think it was Elvred's nightmare. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Elvred yeah. got beat around. Elvred was getting beat up the whole dream. <laughs> I, w I don't think Elred was able to stay at max HP for a very long time. <laughs> the whole time. No. You okay over there, Elred? Yeah, that's honestly the first time I ever had to make almost death throws. <laughs> oh my god. In a dream. <laughs> that's what happens when we kept sending you in first. Because <laughs> everyone else in your party was Send too in the scared battery. Going. <laughs> well, uh, you guys ready for tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow's gonna be epic. We gotta, we gotta forge the pick. And you gotta, you gotta fend off the dogs. That's the easy part. The Hounds of Baskerville. <laughs> Basically. So okay, thanks, Sherlock. Everyone for playing. Thanks everyone for watching. This has been the special anniversary episode to celebrate one year of this campaign being run. Since it was just Dragonheart, Matt, and Thalrak. All together with me. With the little town of Rokoge that everybody's fucking been through and nobody wants to go back there. But somehow they keep fucking going back there. <laughs> and tomorrow we have the forging of the Pick of Destiny. At... Six That's a stupid PM. name, and Tarak will not have it be the <laughs> At 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Thanks for playing, and have a great day. <laughs>